and we're live. It's auction night, man. Done the eighty. You know the way only eighty four can do it, man. We're gonna bring you a very, uh, you know, extraordinary night, if I may. We're gonna bring you some bangers. We're gonna bring you some keys. We're gonna bring you some lots. We're gonna bring you some spirited conversation because I got the likes of this man back there, but I ain't bringing him in yet. That was just a taste, bro. That's just a taste of the Masked Avenger. I ain't letting him out the bag just yet, dude. He's ripping, roaring, right? Crack skull. I ain't letting him loose on you <laughs> just yet. Uh, thank you, everyone, for showing up. Uh, my boy, where are you? I'm fucking exhausted. It's been a wild week, and I just want to address my homie, my new friend, dude, Archangel Sins that I met from Z Collects. Uh, buddy, I did not ship out um, <clears throat> a couple of the prizes yet. The prizes from Z Collects, I don't think I've shipped out yet. And my apologies for that. Uh, but one thing's for sure, they're going out. Brother. I tend to I always send you a tracking number for that. So <clears throat> apologies for uh, you know your, your weight on that. But it's coming to you. And I'm going to put some extra goodies in there. Um, all right. Let me bring in. My compadres for the evening stacked and jack lineup. So here they come. Let me first introduce my co host for the evening, the Master Avenger. Yo, <coughs> what's up, everybody? Dude, hope you're getting ready for some nice books, nice deals, best auction on the planet, dude. My homie Comic Head 84, dude, he brought in a couple heavyweight. Hitters, dude, with some big old crazy books. So this is gonna be a good fucking night. Hope y'all having fun out there in the chat, dude. Indeed, man. <clears throat> well said. Well said. Uh, let's not forget the Iron Sheik, my friend. Break your back, make you humble, put you in a suplex, make you kiss your own ass. He said. Uh, he was dropping fire, fire bars all night. Ha, tui. It's Iron Edition. Big first. What up, homie? Hey, what's going on, guys? How are you guys doing? Hope you're having a good night. And uh, we got some good stuff for you. Still a performance last night, my friend. Huh? <laughs> Still a performance last night, my friend. Oh, thank you, man. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, bro. Bro. brought me on, dude. That was, just, that was a lot of fun. I had, I had a good time. I probably told 10 people about that fucking book since it happened. Dude, whoever thought of a goddamn war bond on the front of a cover? Dude? Yeah. Like, <laughs> mind blown, brother. Yeah. Stumbling upon that was just crazy, man. Real crazy. Yeah. So I, I, I'm very fortunate I found that. So and it's never leaving my, my collection. I'm never selling that sucker. It's going to stay with me. That yeah. 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 That's a good one. Definitely deserve that win. Top notch entertainment, promo cutting, and top notch books. So can't lose there. And last but not least, NWO affiliated, Mega Power Hour alumni, OG in the game, legendary collection, all around kick ass dude who just might, you know, well, I was about to say, just might put a hole in you. I don't want to threaten. He won't shoot, he doesn't shoot people. He shoots <laughs> targets. He's placed, you know, uh, targets and whatnot, explodes things all around badass. Lawrence, the king of comic dumb. Hey, everyone. What's going on, man? Hey. Great to see you, man. You too, man. You did me too much credit on that, man. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, you know, I'm probably not. Yeah, I don't work this up, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Ruben, Barbarian Kung Fu, Unruly Simeon, Better Ray Jim. Which I like that name. Better Ray Jim. Uh, <laughs> you know, they get you at the end. Uh, Vita Slatter, Card Talk Variant, my brother. Archangel Sins. Oh, yeah. So you got Porch Pirates. Yeah, I hear you, man. Um, I'll definitely put a toe tag on that thing when I send it to you. Uh, Tim, the comic collector. Magic Lasso. Gorilla Todd. Comic Mag Musings. My man. Ruben. Meta Rog, Tony and Y Jr. Appreciate your attendance, man. Mr. Garrow, Mr. G, Big B, Ben Compton, Chris Barrett in the house. Um, Agu Ramos, Spidey fan, Punisher 26A. 
also known as 268. Um, Funk, Comet, Big F, no, Big O, F2. His name is always makes my eyes cross. Big O, I'm with you there. Then FGCU. What is that? Maybe that's a, a stand for something? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> FGCU. I would say it's uh it stands for Farmers Garden Central University. Is, did you graduate from an agricultural school? Farmers Garden Central University? <laughs> Yeah, there'll be top notch humor like that all night. Um, <laughs> Justice for comics, Jaguar, Goat 99. <clears throat> Jojo, Jojo, I just saw you got Star Wars 1. I saw that on the grand. Congratulations. Yeah, good book. Right. Big book. Yeah. yeah, she was smiling ear to ear, man. I love seeing that. Copy NYC, King of New York, Patrick Kelly. Oh, thanks, Pat. Pat just, I couldn't help myself. It was a book that I was uh, enamored with on an auction prior to this. But we'll, you guys can see that at a later date when it arrives. Um, da, 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 da. JP budget collecting. Oh, here we go. I was close. Florida Gulf Coast University. Damn, he was close. <laughs> I mean, I got the last word right. I knew it was, a, I assumed it was a school thing. Dunk City, bro, he said. Dunk City. Huh. And Mike Rogers. Okay, man. So, <laughs> I didn't even intend to click that comment, but I'm really, that's hilarious. <laughs> I will keep the date. Tomorrow. Oh man, uh, I tell you, I need this more than ever. That little five hour boost, jet fuel, baby. Yo, 84, dude, you glossed over a kind of stupendous uh, event last night. You you won the cover championship on top of your boy first winning the hunt championship. So we got co champions here. Yeah, NWO night, man. We rule everything last night. <laughs> I suppose I did, didn't I? Yeah, dude. Yeah. Even though I felt like it wasn't my best. Yeah, but you know, it's pretty good. Yeah, that that gangster cover was tough to beat. Yeah, gangster cover was awesome. Uh, that was that promo was. I think that might be my favorite promo now. <laughs> the first one was. And now I think I like that one. Oh man, thanks. Yeah, I busted that, and that was like a seven a.m. driving to work promo. <laughs> I like the length there. of it. It was about five minutes solid. It was fucking good. I know, as I was watching, I was like, oh, it's too long. It's not making me cringe. I was like, this is too long. You were into it, though. It's hard. It's good. I didn't know he was going to really play like that. I, was, I don't know what I thought. but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You really fucking madness, played it. Yeah. Once the madness gets going, dude. You know, I'm just commuting to work and... Being an irresponsible driver, cutting micro <laughs> madness promos while I should be <laughs> eyes on the road. Ooh, look at that! We got a couple people talking about spinner rack envy, Lawrence. Oh yeah, yeah. Get your heart out. <clears throat> I'm riding spinners, dude. They don't stop. <laughs> so. um Enough with the, the bullshit introductions. Let's get down to business, shall we? Um, this is an auction. We are here to put books for sale. Uh, you know what I'm saying? We're going to put up lots. I got everyone's PayPal address on deck on the banners for clear and concise, you know what I'm saying? Visuals, shipping. Um, I guess we didn't talk about this beforehand, but generally, um, one to, depending, eight to ten books is like an eight dollar shipping. And then, once you get above ten books, we're going to put those in a nice medium priority flat rate of fifteen dollars. We can get up to fifty books in that bad boy. 
So that's that. And slaps, 15 bucks. Also shipped. And I think we can all agree we can get two slabs in that mug for fifteen dollars. So that's the shipping you can expect. Oh, I'm seeing some numbers in the chat. Five. What up, slabs and statues? And we got a six from Garrow. What do these numbers represent? I don't know. <laughs> oh, seven. Here we, go. we got another one. Seven. <laughs> <laughs> You fucked me up with that. I don't know. <laughs> um, okay, man. So let's get to it. Uh, who wants to go first? Anyone uh, chomping at the bit or want me to crack this thing? You guys roll. I'll catch up. You guys are fucking. Right? Now they just put numbers in the chat. God damn it. Yeah, they, they're just screwing with us. <laughs> okay. Here's my PayPal. Scrolling down there, that means I'm gonna go first. Here we go, man. Let's get this party started. So, do it, man. Pop that cherry, brother. Do it, man. I'm gonna pop that cherry. Hey, real quick, too. So, we're yeah. gonna have a couple of giveaways throughout the night, too. And so, um, uh, we'll show those as they come. But a giveaway we're gonna do later tonight uh, that I have is a slab we're gonna give away. We're gonna give away this 9.0 last of it. So this is going to be, you know, this is not going for a whole lot right now, but it's going to climb in price. They have an HBO show coming out, Last of Us 2, the video games dropping, I think, in June or July now. And with the TV show on HBO, if that starts cracking, this is going to go up in value for sure. It's a 9-0, very first comic of Last of Us um, slab. This is one thing we'll be giving away tonight, and there'll be some other giveaways later. So just stay tuned and hang out in the chat. You'll get a chance to win this. First, dude, that's that's the first time I ever heard of first was he was giving shit away. He gave away that Secret Wars 8. Yeah. First time I heard about it. And Kenny had that first auction I was in. I was like, hey, I want to send you a book for your next auction. And he's like, oh, yeah, sure. So That's true. That's kind of what began all this. <laughs> you fly dog. Look at Jack saying that's a stealth key. Ain't wrong. It it's is. Ever, ever do. If that HBO oh, show turns out to be a banger, it's just going to go. Oh, the, the chat is erupting. Yeah. I can only mean one thing. Uh oh. Big Man Cave Comics. The up, Golden Age of <laughs> Truly a marvel among men. Uh -oh. <laughs> Look what a motherfucking cat dragged in. 90. Oh, no, not that guy. Fishing <laughs> <Fish, you know, laughs> <laughs> I was talking about a fishing hobby over there with Lucha. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'll give them away too. I think I'm going to give away. Uh, I don't think I'll have anything too fancy, but I will be giving away a Comic Head 84 sketch cover uh, drawing. Boom! Yeah. Um, in a way. I got mine right up there. It's going to stay on my shelf. <laughs> oh, yeah. I like the way that one came out. Um, I think it's awesome, man. Killer. Cool, man. I, that was I think the best way. fucking one, dude. That, <laughs> that's my favorite now, bro, is that one you got first. I think I might make that a tradition, because I think on the last option I gave away a sketch card, too. Yeah, you so. should, man, because they're always awesome, dude. You're too kind. Look at this fat stack of books. Oh, this dang, man. You dropping yeah, a, a master load. <laughs> <laughs> Pause. Um, <laughs> we got... This lot here, I'm gonna, it's uh, 22 books, 22 sequential issues, if you will. Uh, it's a run, a.k.a. a run. Um, yo, I'm going to start it at a, a Crazy Eddie deal of uh, $15. Let's call it $15. And what we have is Spider-Man Deadpool. Spider-Man Deadpool number Ooh, 2 nice. through 20. Three. I think I've ever okay. read that one. Number two through twenty-three. I like those covers, though. Wow, oh, bro, oh, it's, it's a good fucking run, man. It's yeah, a solid run. run. Two. I'm wondering. They're all pretty mint condition, I must say. Three. Four. Hmm. Five. Six. 
feel like playing video games yeah. against each other. Yeah. They're pretty comedic. You know, if you guys don't mind, I think for the sake of the viewer, I'm going to... Yeah, you want to make you big? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I'll make you one of these. So $15 starting bid. Boom, oh, number uh, nine. No, I'm sorry, six. And upside down nine. Wait a minute. Are these not in order? God damn it. <laughs> fuck up. That was nine. How embarrassing. Six. Number six. That's a cool one. Number seven. Number eight. Tony and my junior is asking, is the story any good? Biggie said it was awesome. Yeah, it's it's dope, bro. Spider-Man, it's kind of comedic, you know what I'm saying? But it's fun natured. It's not really like a real I mean it, it attaches comic to issue to issue, but oh. there's no real yeah. Yeah. There's no King of there. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah. Penn and Teller cover appearance. Look at him stabbing Penn is stabbing Teller to the stomach with a sword. I wonder if that's the first time they've been in comics. It's good. Interesting. Wow, that's you know, awesome. I know. I, that caught my eye, too, because I'm a huge Penn & Teller fan. Yeah, I love their stuff, man. <laughs> and one thing to keep an eye on as I show these books is keep an eye on the center trade dress thing because they always, like, tweak it for each one. Okay? Oh, okay. And this one, the Christmas special. Mm. Nice. House, number 13. Oh, hold up, hold up. I think that one might be a key, bro. Oh, I didn't run these through the... Through yeah, the I think there might be that Major X cameo in there somewhere. There so, was Tony, one. so Tony came in with the 15. He dropped the first bid. Yeah, Tony. Yeah, run it, run it through the key generator. I didn't even check. Nightcrawler. I'll look it up. I could be wrong. Uh, number 15. It's like featuring all the monsters. See, like Frankenstein, Werewolf. Well, these are really dope covers. I'm, I've got to look this run up. I really like these covers. In this character, on this cover, that I, I only knew from the cards, from like the 90s Marvel cards, because I never really read a comic with him in it. But when I saw him, I recognized him. You guys know who that guy is? Nah, it looks familiar. Oh. Who is that? This is a fairly obscure Marvel character called Slapstick. Slap. Oh, that's it. That's it. Yeah, I never so heard of got, him. It looks familiar. Yeah, you, got, you got a rare slapstick appearance. This cover right okay. here. Check out number 19. It like departs. I don't know if it's a variant because it kind of departs from the usual trade dress. But number 19, no more jokes. No more jokes. That's dope. That's really yeah. cool, too. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty that might be the coolest one. Make this thing say, yeah, he's the car carrot top of the Marvel world. <laughs> there you go. I don't think they're changed the key. It's 47, but they're still good. Yeah. Number 17. Almost looks like Spiral. Okay. version of Spiral. Number uh, 16. I'm sorry if someone is going out of order. 16. This one. What number is this one? This might be a number one. I'm confused. Monsters Unleashed, number one. Nice. You know what's funny? What's the name of this guy? Maybe Rombu? Look, you got Rombu's foot crushing Spidey. Right. Look at that reading old tales to astonish. Nice. <laughs> it's like he's got a couple of issues. Of, yeah. He's got strange tales, too, down there. The... I forgot that monster's name, the big white eyes, big red blob looking thing. Pretty funny color. Nice little yeah. deep cut. Number 21. Mm. You guys got any pictures Murder of World. that? You guys got pictures of a mid roller coaster? You ever do that shit? Yeah, mm -hmm. we used to do that at a couple of theme parks we went to. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got a Six Flags picture. This was my boy. Right in, you know the Superman ride at Six Flags? You ever hear that? Yeah. Uh huh. They give you little capes to wear, super many capes to wear during it. So I got a picture of me and my boy doing this during the thing. Capes <laughs> flowing. <laughs> it's a pretty cool picture. <laughs> we're getting to the end here, the last two. Um, number 22. 
And last but not least, pretty cool shark cover. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, yeah. Boom. So that's the one, guys. <clears throat> um, nice little chunk of Spider-Man, Deadpool, 22 issues, all sequential, all great condition. Fifteen dollars um, is the is the bid. It'd be fifteen dollars ship uh, shipping. So this is thirty dollars shipped right now for twenty three books, twenty two books. And we got fifteen dollars from Tony. Anybody else? Get in on this auction. And one thing you guys are going to know about this auction is one thing you're not going to see is me sitting here. For ten minutes, do we have any other bids? Do we have any other bids? Do we have any other? Bids? No. We keep it I get it. We're gonna keep it moving, baby. Uh, Fifteen from Tony. Uh, let me know now or forever hold your peace. I didn't see any countering bids, so it looks like this is gonna go to Tony. Going once. Going twice. This shit is sold to Tony and why? Congratulations, dude. Tony, thanks for breaking the ice for us, brother. <laughs> yeah, true. Thanks, man. God damn, Chris Barrett got the fucking corona. I'm sorry, Chris Barrett. Oh wow. Wait, what? That's what I'm interpreting, but I'm a little slow. He said he had the flu earlier in the year. I don't know if that if he said he, that he had the flu. Everybody got fucking corona. So I hope you're doing all right, Barrett, dude. Yeah. Wow. Sure. Yeah, I hope you're doing good, man. All right, so I'm going to start out with a Batman book because I got way too much Batman tonight. People asked for it last time, so I'm going to bring it this time. So we're going to start with Batman 251, that Neil Adams cover. Beautiful book. This one is a, is a lower grade. It's around a 5.0 to a 5.5. It does have a crease uh, down the back, and I'll show you this. I'm going to start the bidding out on this at $100, and we're going to do $8 ship, though. I'm going to show you the back. It's a hundred dollars starting bid. It's a big old book, y'all. Anybody is wanting that book, you're not gonna find it. Probably ain't cheaper at that grade, I'm sure. Yeah, great book. So if you see down the back here, the back's not in bad condition, but you look down the middle, you can see a sub crease right down the middle of the book. But mm -hmm. otherwise, uh, the book's not in too bad of condition. Hundred dollars starting bid, eight dollars shipped. But um, the cover presents really well. It is complete. Everything looks good. Looks nice. Yeah, and it, yeah. It, it fares very well. Shit, um, bro. Condition wise. So for mid grade copy, it's, it's a good book. Wow. You know, Neil Adams hits up when cons come back. He's at cons all the time. So it's another book you can get signed and add in your collection. Wow. Gee. Got DS at a hundred. Yes, it is an epic cover, Beta Ray. Um, one of Neil Adams' most famous covers. There's a couple other ones that are probably that famous, but it's a really good cover. Yeah, one of my all-time Neil Adams covers. Yeah, you know a lot about that book, eighty four. I remember you spitting some knowledge about that thing. I think. Yeah, I mean, you know that that book is very important to the Joker as a character. You know, it's, it's when they brought him into the modern era as the sadistic killer that he is now instead of the more goofy golden age right. style joker you know so i like to call it first you almost want to call it like it's almost like a, a joker key because you know how they have like first silver age appearance of this one and that one yeah it's not really a silver age appearance joker book but i would say that's like first bronze appearance of joker if you were to play it you know follow that logic you could say that's first bronze Joker. Yeah, and it's you know those Joker covers even in the past they go for good money just because they're Joker appearances. But yeah, this one is different, a different style and more common than what we see to Joker now. I would like to know what, um, how, like before that issue, when was the last Joker appearance before that? Like how long was he gone before he came back in Batman Two Fifty One? I don't know the answer. I don't know, but he came correct, dude, and he's been often emulated and tried to be duplicated, dude. But 
you could tell that was a definite switch in the character, I feel. I remember we reviewed this at uh, on Grader's Notes, and it got very high marks. The, the writing holds up, too. That's good. Am I... Did someone die in this one? Like, did Batman have to kill someone because of what Joker did? Or I don't know, dude. I should read it. I'm lazy. <laughs> no, not like that. Um, okay. Is the... Let me get... Let me uh, address the chat a little bit. We got what's the bid at is one hundo. I'm always going to have the current bid right here on the screen. Uh, Comics Labs. Does the crease in the back break color? Um, I think in a few spots, possibly, yeah. In a few spots. In a few spots. Still a steal at a hundo, Jay Hood says. Shout out to Highly a Comic Bro, my brother. What's up, Jay Blitz? <laughs> I don't know about that, Mike. <laughs> yeah, I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're going to let this go just for a little bit longer. If nobody jumps in, it's going to be DSs for 100 bucks. Okay. I'll hit the imaginary 30 second timer. Yeah. I'll actually bring a timer out soon. Yeah, that's cool. Here we go. JoJo knows what time it is. JoJo's jumping in with a 105. <coughs> Ooh, JoJo's on, on fire this weekend. She's trying to get her Star Wars one and her yeah. Batman. Tony in with 110. Tell me why. The gears are lubricated now. Man Cave at 120. Yeah, JoJo, okay. you just brought the wave. <laughs> <laughs> Highly at ninety dollars. It's so a pricey just, book, dude. I know you had. I love the chef. One twenty-five. Yes. I personally need to upgrade my copy. Mine's got a little tear, a little bite taken out of the corner. <laughs> And find too, you know, High Late was mentioning this earlier. A lot of these aren't centered very well, so you'll find the 20 cent up here. The circle will be printed further out and actually be kind of chopped off a bit. So the way it was printed, I've seen a lot of them kind of pushed out more to to the right here. So one thirty five, Man Cave, I think, got his in first. Yep. Mm -hmm. With that nice book, man. <laughs> Lucha is my friend of me. <laughs> One thirty-five. So Tony, you're still in. DS, you're still in. I don't think JoJo folded yet either. Uh, right. I haven't seen a fold yet. Mm -mm. Tony in with 140. Man cave right back with 145. Notice the chat now tonight has been pretty on par. Like the chat last time was uh, kind of lagging behind, but it's popping up on StreamYard pretty quick. Fifty. <laughs> yeah, man, there's DC circles. Yeah, I've seen one that's been pushed out a whole lot. This one's actually, you get everything complete on it. So JoJo's out. Man came at 155. Still got Tony and uh, DS. Tony with 160. I think a lot of people want to upgrade that issue. Yeah, man, because I know like he, it's I a good book to get signed. A lot. Yeah. yeah, it's a good book to get signed and nils around a lot when the cons are going on. So getting upgraded and getting it signed is is always a plus, man. One day you're not going to have that opportunity, so do it now. Yeah. Man Cave at 180. DS is out, so it looks like Tony and Man Cave are the last two chopping at Man Cave's at 180.
Yeah, apparently I've heard that commented a couple times here of the the centering being top notch on that copy. Yeah. You can't even really find low grades for that cheap anymore. That thing either. Tony went 185, then Man Cave 190, you know, 200, 210, Man Cave. Man Cave wants this one, man. <laughs> I think there's still room to breathe because low grades are, are over 100. I mean, you know, yeah. it's, a, it's a mid grade, bro. It's a good book. Yeah. Yeah. Did you give a rough number grade to that? I missed that. Yeah, I say around a 5.5. Five, so for the. Yeah. I mean, I've sold six O's um, slabbed in the past for 400 or more. So, <coughs> yeah, we got uh, Tony and Y, high bidder, two and a quarter. Man, Kay's contemplating what he's going to do. Oh, he's up at 2 30. Oh, look at, there he is. <laughs> Break your back, make you humble. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, spot on. Spot on. Fucking I, I didn't expect anything less, though. The fuck, you tell you what got me over on you, goddamn it, first. What was this that? Mother, this motherfucker had the metal. Yeah. <laughs> I got the metal in hand. It said first on it too, so that was just perfect. So I just got that one. <laughs> oh, yeah. Tom was like, "This was a extremely entertaining show." So I, I think that I think everybody enjoyed it. <coughs> Two thirty-five, Tony N. Y. Junior. And that episode, Biggie, you and I did with the uh, Jack Kirby stuff has got really good reception. That first episode turned out really well, man. So that's great. Uh, dude. That's excellent, man. Everybody's had really good things to say about it. Oh, that's great. Hold on. Have, have I seen I don't think I've seen it yet. You haven't watched it yet. Yeah, you haven't watched time, man. You've been busy. Yeah, I need to check that out. Man Cave is out, so I'm going to call this for Tony NY Jr. So $235, brother, $8 shipped. There's my PayPal below. Congrats to you, dude. Congrats, Tony. You shut the door quick on that motherfucker, dude. He's like, bang. Yeah, I mean, they're the last two going. Nobody else is hopping in. So, all right. Keep the thing moving. Congratulations. Wow. Boom. Hey, big Okay, we got. Oh, let me make it scroll. Ooh. Oh, my boy. <laughs> look, at, look at Lawrence. Hell Ooh. yeah. This thing's probably a fine to a very fine. That's that's the best I'm going to go. It's got really just a couple little dings on it, and um, everything's good with it. And uh, I'm going to start it at thirty bucks. What are you starting it at? Thirty bucks. Let's see oh, where. 30. Yeah. Man, that'd be a steal with that book running out with it. You don't see that book for less than forty anywhere, dude. Thirty bucks, guys. Starting oh, yeah. bid. Secret Wars number eight. I mean, this book is going to stay hot and keep growing. Spider-Man's got room to grow. Things are going on. Jay Blitz. Oh, we got Jaguar in at 30, then Amazing in at 50. Jaguar in at 55. Yeah, this thing's... <laughs> A couple little dings on it. Looks pretty good to me. It's Can you bring good. it a little closer on the spine, Lawrence? Yeah. Yeah, I'm not seeing any like. Looks pretty good. Yeah. Thank you. Jay Blitz at Jay Blitz 57. 57. I think of all the black costume first appearances, that might be the coolest one. Yeah. I'll go with that. I would agree. Especially because of all the carnage in the background. You know, he's like in the front, but there's a shit show going on in the back. 
Yeah, I enjoyed reading this 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 run too. I actually enjoyed it a lot. It's a very popular book, dude. Everybody wants to have this goddamn book. It's if you're fucking collecting Venom or Black Suit, it's one of the staple issues, dude. I mean, only thing a little better might be Amazing Spider-Man, wherever the fuck it is. But funny thing is, number two. Funny thing is, I was gonna sell one tonight, but I didn't really want to sell it. I want to slab it and keep it. And now that Lawrence popped this up, I'm definitely keeping mine. I'm yeah, like, thank you, give me a way out to keep mine, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Get mine slab and keep it, man. I did not want to give it up. I was on the fence. <laughs> it's such an amazing book, man. It just it is just beautiful cover, and I just good spidey key to have it's cool man i love black suit spider-man and venom i think it's must-have shit jaguar in at 61 now and jay blitz is out wow i'm lagging way behind on this amazing in at 63 i'm checking i'm reading it from uh the, the chat on the actual channel on my phone so it might be a little bit quicker So Jay Blitz is out, so it's just Jaguar and Amazing going right now. Jaguar is now out, so it looks like just Amazing's at 63, unless anybody else wants to jump in. <clears throat> yeah, Ruben, we got nice books for you all night. It's gonna it's just gonna be a barrage. Just keep coming. Mm. That is true. We hope. Yeah. <laughs> that is Mike Zach, isn't it? Is it? Yeah. Zach and John Bain. Yeah. Yeah, that's one of his most famous words, dude. For sure. All right, we done with it? The most famous orange cover. Did everyone let me see? I think everyone that was in it folded. Blitz folded. I think they all folded. Jag. Well, no, Jag. Jag folded. Yeah, I think everyone folded. That was right. ten. Looks looks like it's sold to the Murfinator. That's where it's going. Boom. Big Lawrence's uh, PayPal right there on the bottom there. Hmm. What'd you think of that first round, Biggie? Yo, those were some big boy books, dude. I think they got sold at appropriate prices. Don't don't hold back with my homies, though, dude. They're not giving these books away, man. These are some fucking top notch level shits here, and they are. I feel like they're under undergrading, just to be kind. You know what I'm saying? There you have it. We're gonna get after each round. We're gonna get biggie feedback commentary after each round so thank you for the round one check-in we'll check back with you at the end of round two <laughs> i don't want to brush out so hard, but yeah um, i'm gonna crack the uh i'm gonna pop the slab cherry um murfinated asking shipping uh lawrence do you i mean i'm i'm an old school guy you know what i'm saying i think right. that didn't the shipping go to like shipping went up, but didn't it go? To, am I not mistaken? The eight dollars and five cents, something like that. Um, I haven't really um, been shipping much, so I don't really know. Right. I think it went up like a nickel, bro, or maybe a quarter. And the you know what I'm saying, like, covers, brother. <laughs> I'm the kind of guy that I round down for the people. You know what I'm saying? So shipping well, went up. I know a lot of people do nine dollars shipping because of that incremental increase. But I say let's round down for the people. Eight dollars shipping. Yeah. Amazing's asking about his total for the uh, the Secret Wars, seventy two total. Yeah. Or seventy three. That's seven. Eight fifty. Yeah. See, it's like eight fifty and fifteen oh five. You know what I'm saying? Well, I'll type that in the chat. Eight dollars, fifteen bucks. We're going to eat 50 cents for the people. Um, all right. We're going to pop the slab check. I heard Jay Blitz say earlier, he says, who's got the ASM 300? 
I don't Uh-oh. have. I'm not putting it in 300. I don't have the first appearance of Venom. And I don't necessarily have the first appearance of Carnage to introduce to you here on the on the auction block. But I do have the first appearance <coughs> of the latest Cassidy. A sweet 9.6. Nice. No, Hell new, yeah. new case. Beautiful book. First appearance of Cletus Cassidy, as we know. Becomes Carnage, becomes Woody Harrelson. Um, starting bid of 50 bucks. Looking for a starting bid of 50 bucks for this, you know, some would say up and coming key, you know? Yep. Yeah. Get it before that uh, movie well, drops. Undervalued, a lot would say. Undervalued. Yeah. I would say undervalued is, is an appropriate it's, term. It's, it's one you could regret after a month or two and then bang you know what i mean like oh no i got two in at 50. good to see my boy Kachun. and uh that's right biggie did a-okay this to metarog that's a good point metarog's such a gentleman dude every time he sees that damn book he says i okay him thank you metarog bro and as we let the you know the bids come in uh because it's not a lot of condition Oh, I like that back cover. The Nintendo game. Love that. Sick, great, tough levels. But as as these bits come in, I would I would pull to the chat. What's your favorite Woody Harrelson acting performance? You know what I'm saying? He's coming mm. in Carnage. He's in, and I pull this to the chat as well. Favorite Woody Harrelson performances? I enjoyed him in Zombie Land. The first one. I haven't seen the second one, but I enjoyed them in the first one a lot. Zombie Land's a good good pick. Um, how about a nice subtle role in um, No Country for Old Men? Oh, yeah. Um, and Great one. Western dude. I'm <laughs> with Archangel, dude. White men can't jump. Nice. Yep. Nice. Cheers, Chris. Oh, that's that's a deep cut, yeah, or old school cut. Anyway, he was on the sitcom Cheers. Oh, that's it. I think Sam I am just nailed it for me. True Detective, bro. I love that show so much. Um, I really were a fan of True Detective. Yeah, I think anybody that doubts Woody Harrelson has potential of killing Carnage, that they need to. Chill out, bro, because he's a, a highly acclaimed actor, brother. Man, people were tripping when Heath Ledger was going to play Joker, including myself. You know, I was like, really? You know, that's not going to work. You got you got to give people some room, man. A lot of times people just get into a specific character and they just go crazy with it and it just works. So you never know. You got to give it some space to, to see what yeah. happens. I will say, though, man. The, I have strong faith in his acting chops. I'm sure his performance will be fine. But yeah. man, his look, you know, and I'm not even, so we saw the the post credit scene with him with the crazy wig. Yep. That was, that was a little jarring. Um, and then they, I saw set, they posted like a set photo of him on the set of the movie. And it looks like they got rid of the crazy hair. I think they got the, they understood the feedback from viewers. But he still looked a little crazy. Like the clothes he was wearing, he looked like fucking Ace Ventura, bro. Um, yeah. <laughs> it was a little crazy. Um, Yo, is that Locust fucking Lawrence? Hmm? That's them fucking bugs, ain't it? That's that Ohio shit, dude. No, there are peepers out there in my little uh, pond out there in my little. Yeah. Uh, I knew it. Let me just recap. I know we had fold from Tony. I feel like there's maybe three people in it. Let me just double check. Um, Punisher, top bid at 70. Okay, I think it's been between Tony and Punisher. And Tony is now out. So we got Punisher at the at the top of the mountain uh, at 70 bucks. So 
you know, like I said, you know, I get antsy to drop that gal for you guys. Oh, snap. Grand Master Stash dropping the stash at 75. Wow. Make them humble. Grand Master, I did send out your prize, by the way. I did get a good chunk of the 1K celebration uh, slab winnings. And Grandmaster Flash, Stash, can you confirm that you received them? On the shirt, eighty. Yeah, what book you got? There was so many books on there. I forget which one Grandmaster got. Was that the last auction or at the giveaway? Uh, yeah, the, the one K. Oh, Ram. Oh, not yet. Shit. Yeah, that bitch went out. Eighty dollars for yeah. Grandmaster. We'll wait and see what you. What's your next bid? I feel like uh, with Spider Man. You know, what I mean, I feel like Amazing Spider Man keys is definitely the most valued out of all the runs. Too like you know, sometimes some spectacular keys don't really hit as hard as them Amazings do. Oh, and also, you know, I I should mention as well. Even though I haven't seen him in a while, this is first full appearance of Cardiac. You know what I'm saying? Oh, really? This is cardiac. Nice. Who, my my connection to Cardiac makes me think of my childhood because this was like right when I was first picking up ASM. It was around these cardiac issues. Um, like I was thinking because I always loved his costume anyway. His design is pretty badass. It's like a bunch of flat line. Uh, what do you call those? Oh, yeah. Life I don't know what they call them. What you're talking about. Anyone in the medical field can tell me what's, what they call that. Yeah, e man cave. Life. You're in a chat. <laughs> EKG. We got EK. Is it going to be EKG? No. So, so we got shirt 95. Are you in the house? Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, is there a doctor in the it's an emergency, please. <laughs> EK, oh. Those things always um, give me, uh, remind me of Taz's intro when it goes, boop, boop. you know, they had that at the beginning before, dun, 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 you know. <laughs> oh, look, I got excited to click electrocardiograph. I forgot. I clicked off the bit. Hold on. Yeah. Um, Punisher. Punisher was at 95 and Grandmaster. Folded, and I think it was just those two. I forget. I can't do my usual chat shenanigans and just be clicking on comments. I gotta <laughs> be professional. I gotta stay yeah. focused on the bids. I get sidetracked. Even. Um, okay, do we have some folds first? Did I miss some folds? No, Grandmaster did fold, and him and, and um, Punisher were going neck to neck on the bidding. So I don't okay. think I don't think anybody else was in that I can tell. Grandmaster folded. Punisher. Okay. All right, you know what? I'm gonna give it five seconds because I think that's an appropriate number for this book. I don't think it. I don't think it needs to go much higher than that. So going once, going two times, one time, two time, three time. I'm dropping it for Mr. Punisher, 268. Right there is my. Uh, <laughs> Congrats, Punisher. Congrats, man. Big first edition. Oh, yeah. All right. So I'm going to drop a nice little key oh, here. Ghost yeah. Rider number one. This is a 5-5. Five five. The reason it's a 5-5, five five, if you look at the spine and what I'm kind of giving it there is, and um, you'll see right here the spine has just been got some wear, color breaks here. Where it's been rubbed off or just scuffed or, or something, but and there's a few spine ticks on this as well too. Um, but overall, um, this isn't bad. I'm gonna take this out. So this is gonna be a seventy-five dollar starting bid for Ghost Rider number one, eight dollar ship, guys. Starting bid seventy-five bucks for Ghost Rider number one. This loud mylar. 
I'm show you guys the books here. Give you a little bit of a look at wow. it. Yeah, a little lower grade book, but what did you start the bidding at? Say that again. What did you start the bidding at? I started at um, seventy-five bucks. Oh, that's ridiculous, bro. It's at one fifty now, but yeah, first son of Satan, y'all. This is Ghost Rider number one, one of the big keys of the Bronze Age, brother. This is fucking nostalgia in your hand, a piece of magic. You know what I mean? Like fuck. Punisher is asking for your uh, PayPal, Kenny. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm just going to, if you don't mind, yeah, while go this goes on, I'm just going to put mine right across the bottom here. And it was 95 plus $15, sir. Thank you. Gee, what is, is that? Is that your real? Okay. Okay. That is his bid. Yeah. So, so this will be a press and some cleaning for sure. It hasn't been. But like I said, if you look at this spine here, you know, <laughs> We've got some scuffing here at the top, and so that's why it's getting a lower grade, just because of what's going on here with the spine. But look, at the, the cover is still killer, man. Looks beautiful. Looks complete. Pop it back in. It could be a cornerstone to anybody's collection, dude. Like, that's just the fly book. Yeah, man, I love the cover. The cover so so um, close to... Ghost Rider's first appearance that I get them confused sometimes when I just see the cover. You know? Oh, no. It always confuses me when I first see it. So. Nailed it. That's what I think of when I think of Ghost Rider. I think of that cover, dude. Yep. And then Jay Blitz is like, boom, I'm going for it. <laughs> yeah, I respect that. You know what? It would, it would easily have arrived at that number, so might yeah. as well get to it. If you know where you're going, right, and you're saying, hey, this is what I'm willing to pay for this book, then why not, you know, and you want it, that's one way to go get it. So That's such a badass book. Yeah. yeah, I love this cover, man. It's just, it's dope. I can't wait for them to finally, like, do something new with Ghost Rider because they haven't touched that property in a long time now. So I'm really ready to go for that, so. Yeah, Ghost Rider is one of like the twenty Marvel characters that people say Keanu Reeves should play. Really? Okay, that would be that, that would be interesting. Yeah, they say about everyone. They're like, "Yo, you know, Adam Warlock should really be Keanu Reeves." You know, you know, make a good Moon Knight, Keanu Reeves. Everyone's yeah, like, <laughs> everybody knows okay. Keanu, man, because he's he's, <laughs> he's killing it on um, John Wick. So, yeah. It doesn't look like anybody's getting in here, so I'm going to give this about 30 seconds. If nobody jumps in here, this is going to be Jay Blitz um, all day. So, hey, here's all the chance, man. Could have been, could it could be a very uh, smart move because if there would have been, you know, the blood pumping, brother, and people were pumping bids, and it could have easily passed that. So <laughs> putting the hammer down hard could be a yeah, good there's, move. There's some strategy there. Jaguar saying Ghost Rider keys are undervalued. I think that's that's a true statement. Actually. Yeah, even if you look at issues two, three, four, five of this run here, all the covers are killer too, man. Good lord! I mean, this, yeah, this don't, is crazy artwork. Don't let what happened to Moon Knight happen to Ghost Rider because Moon Knight keys all are through the roof right now. Yeah. Like his first appearance is crazy, considering the character. Like uh, it's just crazy. I, I do think he's a great character. And I don't want <laughs> Sam to unsubscribe from me, so I'm not besmirching doing that. I'm just saying it's interesting that, you know, a middle of the pack type of characters, he's in high demand, big money keys. Yep. And it's because people were sleeping so long in this in this MCU buzz. That's bound to happen with Ghost Rider. For sure. Yeah, I'm calling this I would hope, it. dude. Uh, this is great. Congratulations. I really don't. Uh, Jay Blitz, you don't have to throw in any shipping because I'm sending you something already anyway. So just 150 for this. 150 shit like a gentleman. Nice. And sorry, I had my PayPal up for a minute there, so I'm just gonna put yours up there, and I'm gonna keep it on for a couple minutes as we pop King of Comic onto the scene. Hey. All right, we ready? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Let's go with this uh, Mutant 87. 
Well, and damn. This thing's probably fine, the very fine. It has um, a couple dings, one on the spine right there. And um, other than that, it's in pretty good shape. And um, I'm going to start it at 40 bucks. Nice, dude. Yo, first. <laughs> first, first table. table. Yeah. What you going to do, dude? Uh, what you going to do? Forty bucks. Damn. Forty bucks. There's a, there's another key on there, ain't it? Like first domino, or I don't fucking know. I don't know either because I'm not a big guy. Uh, <laughs> don't matter. Yeah. Never stop collecting. Says I'll bite. And payment received, Punisher. Thank you, sir. There was one at my shop. And, uh, of course, the bitch didn't let me get a chance at it. And she uh, sold it to some other dude for 100 What's oh. up, Alex? I didn't see you. <laughs> Alex, the comic quarter. What's going on, man? Oh, hell yeah. Big Alex. And shipping is $8 flat. I was going to ship this priority. Oh, what does that make it? I think it is eight bucks. Priority. That's fine. If it, if it was just rolling. I'm good with it. I don't. I think it is. Oh, one probably, one. I think it's like eight and a quarter or something. Eight fifty tops. If I'm not mistaken. Fifty dollars for Grandmaster Stash. Fifty six Charles. Jay Blitz with sixty. Yeah, this is the first print, guys. This isn't the second. The second is that gold cover. This is the first print. Yeah, this is a good one. I would dare say the second best key issue of New Mutants. So 98 would be one, be second. Yeah, I agree with you, Biggie. Yeah. Cable is such an awesome character. So new Mutants is such a classic run, dude. A great place for a new collector to start. I always suggest New Mutants because it's chuck full of cool keys. Okay, where you know. are we? Oh, our Grandmaster Stash, 80 bucks. Yep, 80 bucks for Grandmaster. Jay Blitz is out. Um, Punisher hasn't folded yet, so he may still be in. So it looks like Grandmaster and Punisher are the two that are bidding. I didn't see Charles fold it yet either. <coughs> thank, you, thank you guys for coming in here. If you'll hit the like button, button for us too, guys. Help us share this video. There's 65 in the chat. Let's get some more likes and stuff for the auction here. Help us out, guys. Let me see that spine again, Lawrence, if you don't mind, dude. Look at that, guys. Oh, man, that's a great copy, Lawrence. That's what I'm thinking. I don't see any scuffs. So Punisher jumped in with 85 now. Punisher at 85. Hey, Kenny, you want to put my uh, PayPal back up? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Asleep at the wheel. Uh -huh. You can send Lawrence's money to me. It's fine. I'll, I'll take it. <laughs> 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 Just make sure you ship the book, Lawrence. <laughs> 85 with Punisher. Now, this one, this one is actually my grandson's, and he's going to use the money for a school project. So whatever he oh, gets. Oh, that's awesome, dude. Oh, wow. Guys, this is going for a good cause. Helping out one of the youngsters here. So let's take care of him. Chris is now out, so it's definitely Punisher and Grandmaster going for this. Hmm. 
Welcome, Dan Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they're begging for an ad <laughs> yeah it's, it's good that's a good call it's coming grandmaster's out so it looks like uh punisher's the only one left in at 85 you uh let's just get ready to call with him nice job punisher yeah man you stole that fucking book dude good job punisher nice job and ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of round two. Now for the Big Shack post game report after round two. Big, we saw we saw first Cletus Cassidy slab cell, Ghost Rider number one, and first appearance of Cable cell. What are your thoughts, brother? Yo, I think that we're just selling the dopest shit ever. I'm not selling anything, dude. I just wanted to be here and hang out with the homies and have fun and talk about cool ass books, man. Shout out to Jambo and Big JD Rick Flair, brother. Werewolf by lunchtime. So we're doing great, man. I appreciate you letting me get my input in, dude. Yeah. Well said. Post game report in the books. Now we're from our sponsor. Still a proud sponsor of the 84 channel. <laughs> uh, fight zits. <coughs> Let's do this. I'm going to go into a little front page. I'm going to go into some spooky books. And I'm going to start the bids. We have a four book lot. I'm just, you know, just going to start it. Uh, sorry, that is steel. We got. A twenty-five dollar starting bid on these four books. That's Punisher is uh, Punisher is needing uh, Lawrence's uh, total, and he's asking for the PayPal. I gotta keep it too long. <laughs> I guess I gotta keep on longer. So there's Lawrence's uh, PayPal, and the total would be what was your total, Lawrence? I forgot what it ended up. Thank uh -oh. you. It was 85, I think, was the final uh, bid. Yeah, I think that was the final bid and uh, whatever the shipping is going to be. 93. Yeah. It's one to 15 bucks and then 15 bucks, $15 after 15 bucks. Well, no, eight to 10 bucks. We'll make oh, that one. Sorry. Yeah, a, a Gemini's. Um, so, uh, that's my, oh, this lot. $25. We have. Oh, wait. Dollar Comics? Is this a reprint? Oh, I didn't really. Is this a reprint? You guys tell me, is this a modern reprint or not? Um, this is Dollar Comics, but is that the new Dollar Comics? Yes. It's all new. So, so 2000. But mean when you say all new, you mean they're not reprints? It's, all new. it's not reprints from the nineteen seventy seven or seventy eight when it came out. But this isn't like something that came out this year or last year. No, 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 no. This came out back in the seventies. So you're, you're okay. Right. I thought I thought so because I'm so used to seeing dollar comics. It's like their brand of true believer. Um. Mm. Anyway, House of Mystery. Seventies action. Is there a number to this House of Mystery? I guess just like a one shot. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm stupid. 256. I'm sorry. Yeah, because they ran that for like maybe eight issues during that series when they was all doing the dollar comics back in the back in the day. Mm. Okay. Well a lot, a lot of the cool. titles went to it. Okay. I like that they use dollar comics then now in their marketing of those true believer books since they revived it's kind of, it's kind of confusing 84 because it, it, it's a i think it's a lot of them were reprints of golden age books it's just the price was that price at that time so i think it is like an older book it's just i don't know if that's a reprint of a golden age book but some of them were so it's in pretty good condition i can count three four spine ticks 
But aside from that, we're looking pretty good. We're looking pretty good. Next book. This probably, I'd probably go so far as to say this is mid-grade, but we have... You know, what's the starting bid for this? Oh, $25. Uh, oh, yeah. This is a mid-grade copy. Wait to see the last one. Um, mid-grade copy. Have you the nerve to face the unexpected? Dude, I love fucking unexpected, dude. That shit is so far. Damn. Oh, that's, that's right up my alley, man. I love horror covers. Then we have... Uh, I mean, I'll call it mid-grade, but... It's pretty nice. Um, we have Vault of Evil, number 15. Oh, nice. Hell yeah. That's sweet. Yeah, man. This little devil cover. Shake hands with the devil. So, and last but not least, man, a pretty nice condition. There's a couple, there's like a couple of creases up at the top. This is a clean copy. Uh, Journey into Mystery, number one. Mm. Take me no grave. Nice twenty centers. Wow. Hundred and fifty center payment alerts. Yeah, yeah. It just came through. Nice. Is this considered volume two of Journey into Mystery? Is Journey into yeah. Mystery? This yes. is when. Okay, so Thor takes over Journey into Mystery. Right. And then it and gets reposted into. This yeah. came out into the Bronze Age and it didn't last too many issues, I don't think. Mm. <laughs> yes, uh, Man Cave, I guess I would say these are orange covers. This is an orange cover. It's <laughs> <laughs> a lot. We're looking for $25 for Journey into Mystery Wars. $25 starting bid. Vault of Evil, number 15. Unexpected. And the 80 page giant of House of Mystery, number 256. Boom. JD at so, 25. JD, thank you. So, yeah, this is, this is right up JD's alley, man. Katie's got great books of this book. I don't know if I can name any of the artists um, from these covers. I wonder I if... Neil Adams worked on Unexpected. I don't know if he did that one, but that's a fucking dope cover on that Unexpected, dude. I know. I know hey, Kenny, you can, take my, yes, uh, you can take my PayPal off there right now. <laughs> okay. I'm not telling you what to do or anything. No, I, I, I appreciate you reminding me. It's rice and it's what JD's saying. I but mm -hmm. he's probably right. Of course, I'll take the I'll take the money. I mean, it don't matter. I'm, <laughs> I'm like everybody else. I'm gonna hunt that one down, dude. That's a banger. Bernie writes it. Okay, yeah. It's if anyone would know rights when they see it, it's JD. Yeah, I just roll with whatever he says most of the time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> When you show, one thing I've learned from doing YouTube for almost two years now is if on your channel, no matter where you are, it doesn't even matter if he's subscribed to you or not. If you show John Busimo covers or Bernie Wright's covers, there's an 80% chance JD is going to emerge. He's just, he has a sixth sense, brother. Yeah. He'll fight to the death about it too. He don't give a shit, bro. We had me and JD have crazy conversations. I really love this one. Picture frame cover, like someone said earlier. Fucking nice Marvel, you know, horror cover. The frame, it's a gorgeous. I mean, I like that unexpected better, but that one probably is worth more. I don't know. Marvel usually always tends to fucking win. That's true, but I will say, in the arena of Bronze Age horror books, DC, DC is there too, dude. Yeah. yeah, for Bronze Age horror, DC's got it locked. 
after this uh, complete round, Kenny, we'll go ahead and give away our first giveaway. Ooh. That's definitely a fantastic idea. <clears throat> 40 for Man Cave. Oh, Metarod says it looked like Gil Kane. Oh, really? I'm going to turn into mystery. That could very well be. These motherfuckers have done changed the way I whole collect and shit since I've been collecting, dude. Now everybody's <laughs> buying Golden Age, everybody's buying horror. <laughs> no, that's yeah, I'm, on that, I'm on that pre code hard kick right now. So I've been getting dude, I was looking crazy. up them faucets, bro. Faucets ain't that expensive, dude. Like, I'm, I'm probably gonna cop me a fucking Captain Marvel pretty soon. Fossa has a pretty decent horror stuff, too. I got some of those, too. <clears throat> That's a fucking banger, son. I love that book, 84. Voodoo. I think I've seen that before. I've actually almost bought it. Yeah, that pink question action is pretty cool. That's fucking fly, bro. Yeah, that is true, man. It's going through these YouTube wormholes has definitely put more golden age on my radar. <laughs> Uh, it definitely wasn't when I first got. I'm like, let me start collecting books again. Bro, look, at, even... look at that fucking book you pulled last night. That goddamn Golden Age mm. gangster. Bro, that shit was hard, dude. I don't know. I loved it. Fugitives. Yeah, that was boss. Really boss. Yeah, I gotta get JD on to do a Bernie Wrightson video on my channel now. He's just he's got some crazy stuff. Yeah, I looked that up. That is a Gil King. Mm. Gil King. <laughs> Chris Barrett commending JD in Man Cave Man. Yep, hate to do it to him. Mm. <laughs> he's high bid at 40. I think we had Jade. Was there a third member in this dance? Um, yeah, Jade and Man Cave. I thought there was somebody else at first, but it doesn't look like it. Now it looks like it's just them two. What I can tell. And I have one more uh, lot of this type of book. Oh, yeah, you did have one you posted on Instagram today. Yeah. yeah, yeah, we got some. It's a little lot with some Werewolf by Night, some Frankenstein. Maybe, there might be a Dracula. I think there's a tomb with Dracula in there. So, um, I got one more lot kind of in this genre. If you guys are into it, Big Man K throwing his weight around at fifty. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <Dave. laughs> Halloween cover. That's pretty cool. Fuck yeah. I was thinking about dropping a Golden Age book tonight to, to bid on, but didn't know mm. if you would be interested in that or not. <laughs> yeah, I know I'm putting up a little Golden Age. I got oh. one Golden block, which I'll give you just a sneak. If you're doing a Golden Age book, I'm going to do a Golden Age book. I mean, I'm doing a pair of Golden Age books. Oh. <laughs> Oh yeah, you got the. Whoa. What was that, Ref? Did you see that, Ref? Yo, Ref, Ref, Ref. <laughs> Yo, Ref, what was that? Yo, madness. What is that? I think I saw the tape brass knuckles come in the ring. Where's Mister Gretzky at? What is going on? Dude? <laughs> yeah, those are nice, man. You guys are gonna love the condition on those too, man. God damn, cool. bro. I don't think I ever seen Madness touch a fucking Archie, bro. Yeah, Alex, the comic hoarder is really into Archie, so he'll he'll probably like to see what you got. Uh, and there was one. It was uh, in this spot that I was, that I found these. It was these two Archies, which uh, it's forty one and forty two. And then there was another. I was trying to like get them all and put the number fourteen that was in there under the radar. Like, yeah, let's get these. Like, whoa, whoa, I was like, oh, you know that Archie fourteen, right? Like, uh, is there a difference in price? He's like, fuck yeah, there is, dude. I'm like, damn it. I tried. Didn't work. Jesus Christ. Yeah, 15, 20, those Archie books jump. Yeah, hell yeah, bro. Any yeah. of the top, any of the top like hundred are fucking 
ludicrous to find. Like, you're lucky, bro. Yeah, I'm going to pull a Golden Age book ne after next round for auction. So, uh -oh. to Man Cave, JD gracefully bows out on this one. Man Cave takes these home for $50, $58 ship, my friend. For this very paid. All right. Okay. Thank you, bud. And I'm going to leave that on down there for a couple minutes as we pass it on to first edition. All right. So I'm going to do my first lot of the night. Um, pick these up yesterday, and they're really, really awesome. It's a lot of the Rampaging Hulk magazines. These are really dope. They're all in condition around 5.5 five to 6.0. Um, there is also one that's not in this run that's a Hulk magazine, too, but it's going to do a whole lot together. Um, starting bid for this is going to be $20, $15 ship, $20 starting I bid, mean, $15 ship. There are six in here. Yep. Oh, my God. Bro. So we've got – and I'm throwing in – I put these in magazine size Mylar, so they're already in Mylar for you, magazine size, so you're getting the Mylar for free. <laughs> So number two of the Rampaging Hulk. These covers are really dope. There's one cover here in particular I love. Oh, really. that's the Mariner one, dude. Yeah, bro, dude. Ooh. Bro, this shit. Damn. I am super, bro. Every one of these is a fucking knockout. Number bro. three. And the interior is my dude. Oh, my Lord. Fucking oh, my knockouts, God. dude. Uh, number four. Look at this shit. Yes. Really killer stuff. It reminds me of the masterpiece cards and shit, bro. Like every one of them. This one here, I love. This is my favorite. Number five. Look at that Submariner cover with Hulk's menacing face, dude. Submariner strikes. Look at that. You're talking five bucks a piece on them bad boys, y'all. That's fucking crazy. Number six with Hulk and Submariner going out. Oh, the that's the one I like. Yes. Yeah, dude. That is just sick, brother. Are those magazine size or treasury size? These are all magazine size, yeah. All okay. Magazine. Okay. And then the last one is the Hulk number 12. This has got color interiors. It's based off stuff from Lou Frigno's Hulk. So it's really cool. Wow. So six books. In the corner there. Say what? In the corner. On that last one. Who is that? The bottom right. Who is that? Oh, yeah. Hercules? Uh, based on the TV show, so it might be something from the show. Hmm. Beautiful. Yeah, that's a good question. What year are these uh, first? I'm not sure. I would guess like 70. They're really cool, man. Let me show you one of the interiors on these things, man. They're really, yeah. really crazy yeah. interiors. Check the uh, publishing date when you're in there, too. Yeah, I'll check it out. Like I said, these are already in Mylar for you guys. All you got to do is just put them on your shelf or in your box. All right. This one has some crazy interiors in here. So this is publication date 1977. Nice. Yeah. That was all. Awesome. Like the chat was on point. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, baby. It's that gut punch to the Hulk. Oh, so my man. is landing into him, dude. These panels Jesus look crazy, Christ. dude. Yo, I fucking love Submariner, bro. Yeah, I do too, man. <laughs> I was like, man, should I give these up? I, like, I can't keep everything. But look at these panels. Dude. I just love the artwork. It's crazy. Someone said that was a Starlin. It's yeah, this is a Starlin. Yeah, oh, I can no. actually tell you on this story. It's, um, let's see. Yeah, Jim Car Jim Starlin did the cover. Um, John Ramita Jr. worked on this some too. Um, got a lot oh, of folks yeah. working together on this. Even the opening yeah. cover with them striking here. It's pretty dope stuff. Wow. I love like the black and white rendering. Yeah, oh, like man. it so works really awesome. well with the inking and stuff on here. So. Some of these books. 
This is dope. I love these, man. These are absolutely crazy good. I don't think I've ever had a Mylar magazine size. Yeah, I, I haven't either. My LCS has got a, a bunch of them they got in, and I picked some up to put some other magazine stuff that I have in. And so, yeah. I about gave up on the you bass. See, beautiful little Mylar. They magazine. cut the shit out of my books. Yeah, dude. You got to watch them. Fucking <laughs> uh, GS is right, bro. Yep. <laughs> I love this a lot, a lot. Yeah, man, this this cover is pretty cool too, man. This is really dope. I like, I love them all, man. Oh yeah, I For saw them yesterday, and I was like, dude, I got to get these. People will love them, so it's really Any cool. One of those is a fucking winner, dude. Yep. The shattering conclusion to the showdown between Submariner. That one's fucking out of this <laughs> world. Is, dude. Duel in the dark depths. That is so boss. Let me check out the lady in the back here. Bubs would like that. <laughs> Yo, I think fucking Submariner is super great, dude. Yeah. I'm, I'm just going to roll with it. Yeah, that's gorgeous stuff, man. Yeah, the black and white interiors work really well with this. I mean, it's gorgeous. Yeah, sure. Just reminds me, just like Savage Sword of Conan, those mags, man, the interiors look great in that black and white. Just, just killer, man. I'm going to start collecting more of these magazine formatted stuff, man, because they're just dope. From an art perspective, it's gorgeous. So, Beta Ray Jim is out. Uh, Tony's bidding, and I think someone else is bidding too. Chris, right? Mike, uh, Mike W., but he folded too. So, Tony at 40. There's nobody else bidding. I'm going to give this about a 30-second runoff, and we're going to call it for Tony. Tony, you've already purchased for me, so this will be free shipping for you, brother. Can you just, before you fold, oh, before you put them away, can you just cycle through the covers one more time for me? Yeah, man, for sure. Get one last glimpse before they're gone. <laughs> this thing is so classic. Oh, my goodness. Oh, yeah, I'm looking these up, too, bro, and that's a fucking steal. That's like one book could be worth that lot. Yeah, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to start getting these for myself, dude. Because they're just, they're just boss. All right, guys, Tony, congratulations, dude. This is yours at 40. You have my PayPal, and good to go. Yeah, that robot cover is really good, too. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Tony. The... Uh uh, I, I'm, I'm slacking on my uh, PayPal game. Do not send me the money. Send first edition the money. <clears throat> Appreciate it, man. Yeah, and Alex shouted out the robot cover. Uh, Golden Age fans love robot covers. I've come yep. to learn. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to grab a book for my next one that's going to be a Golden Age. I'm going to auction a Golden Age book next. Oh, snap. Mr. Lawrence. Oh, oh there you are. <laughs> for a minute there. Hang on. Hi. I can see you there. You're back. I'm back. I was just uh, taking care of you. Anyway, here we go. It's um, X Men 266. Mm. Damn, Lawrence. And uh, it's got a couple things around the cover, like uh, let me get here. there's one there, and then there's one right up here. So I'm gonna I'm gonna put this one probably, eh, maybe a fine plus. No, a very yeah, just a fine. Let's go with that, and I'm starting at forty bucks. Jesus Christ! And it is the new or the direct edition. What the fuck, bro? Forty dollars, y'all. Shit. Forty dollars. I'd say fines in the like, you know, what six to seven point five range or some shit, Lawrence. Like not high grade, but a little right. better. Grade. Okay, yeah, yeah. So 
he he's he's saying it's like a seven or something. I don't, I, dude. I feel like the cover's got to be beat the hell for it to be that low, but it looks pretty good to me. Forty dollars, though, man. I know. I was I was recently trying to get one of these fuckers, and I never saw no fucking first gamuts for forty dollars. I know that. Uh, yeah, that's just the opening bid to get the whistles wet. We have <coughs> Grandmaster 60. Oh. Don't you have one of these, Biggie? I do. I'm, I'm lucky. I do. Stone Cold hooked me up, man. Fucking love it. It's one of them modern X-Men keys. You don't get many chances to get a cool character first appearance for X-Men. You know what I mean? And that That's a pretty big, significant character. Fucking Gambit. Yeah, that's the book that I had slabbed at a 9.6. And I cracked it and resubmitted it. And it came home 9.8, baby. I was very upset. Wow, that's, that's cool. Yeah, fucking like, like, poor worked his magic on that one. Yeah, just let it air out. My air out technique, sometimes you just gotta let the book breathe <laughs> and it goes up a point. That's called the um the earth press, you know? <laughs> oh, gravity press. Yep. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna do a pre-code horror book next. Oh, now you're gonna kill me. <laughs> you're gonna bid. You can bid, man. <laughs> I don't see any creases on that bad boy. I don't see hardly. Maybe I didn't see a collar break. Go ahead. And, I hate fucking asking you to do the same thing over and over, but no, most, you're fine. Man. Yeah, I don't see. Shit. I don't see anything on that. This one, 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 yeah, one little fucking blip. And, you know, that could be just a printing error, honestly. Like, sometimes when you see that shit, I don't feel like it's always. <coughs> and as much as this book is sold and is hot, the funny thing about this is this book still has more room because of all the new MCU stuff with all the X Men are going to be coming in. All these X Men keys are going to just go up. All of them. Chris Barrett with the shameless plug. He wants us to check out the comic core show from last night. Vote for him. I think I saw some of that. It was like a superhero team draft. Nice. Very nice. <coughs> for 75. Looks like Alex is also a proud owner of a 9.8 of this book. That's very nice. Yeah, I think there's room to breathe on that bad boy. But, you know, shout outs to the people getting them. 75. It's a dope book. I'd say it's a $100 book all day. Even with a couple fucking pre uh, spine ticks, it would be a $100 book. And Charles at uh, Oh, well, he's way under. I think maybe he to put eight. Who that? 76. What's up, who that? Who that? Hope you're doing good, brother. Oh, Grandmaster. Grandmaster, he's he's going in tonight. I love that they have the little gambit in the corner square on his first appearance. That's fantastic. I know that, didn't I? Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Because you don't yep. see that a lot on just the first appearance. Usually it's an established character you get to see that. But. Yeah. And, and I think they did a really good fucking job with it. I love the duster, bro. The whole aesthetic of gambit sick, bro. Even that little early incarnation, like X Men suit shit, bro. That's like just a little more different to make it cool. 
<coughs> ah, Charles Stevens. I think it's anywhere from like a seven, a seven to probably like a eight and a half. Uh, Uda. You don't see any like creases on the just uh, anywhere, do you? You want it up close? There it is again. Yeah, I don't. All I saw was one teeny tiny collar break on that black line, and it, it could be a printing error, bro. It should that fucker. It's hard to tell. I don't see any creases though. I think if there was any significant damage, uh, Lawrence would point it out. <laughs> wow. What grade is Gambit's aesthetic? Hmm. Oh, that's my that's my number five bullet point on my comic book channel review. Oh, <laughs> oh I get it. <laughs> <laughs> His aesthetic. That's gotta it's gotta be a high aesthetic grade for Gambit. I'd give him a three, I'd give him a three and a half out of five. Oh, who's like a five aesthetic character? I mean, Charles five Bass? aesthetic is uh, first Sentinel or first Galactus. Oh, I mean for cover. Oh, it's, I see. So Grandmaster and who that are left? Uh, Charles is out. I, I'm 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 trying to think of like the inside first appearance of Galactus the Kirby, but I guess the cover's okay. I guess I fucked that up, but yeah. Charles folded. So let's see who that's top in. Grandmaster, I think, is still <coughs> in the game. There he is. YouTube is not from Grandmaster Smash. <laughs> <laughs> I need a comic room like Lawrence when I grow up. I know, man. That, that comic room is just like making me real jealous. And now that I'm getting ready to move. I'm like, hmm, what should I do with that room? <laughs> Believe it or not, got, this room is way too small. He's got legit like glass cases on his fucking wall, like at a real comic. I love that shit, bro. Every time I see see this background, it just makes me want to get a spinner rack. Like it's like in, I want that glass case, dude. I want a couple of them. Who that is asking about shipping? It's Eight dollars shipped on that. Who that? He's even got the fucking bookshelf like DS or uh, what's my boy's name? Uh, Knights of Old. <laughs> Made Ray Jim thought he he was sitting inside of a comic shop. <laughs> It is just a comic shop throwback, bro. It's, he's got everything a comic shop would have. Yeah. And then yeah, some. In the back, you have the spinner rack, but also the rack in the back of your room that I'm seeing is also like a new right. stand rack. Yeah, it is. It's one of them stand ups. I got another one around the corner there that's all Batman stuff, man. Mm. Those wow. look great, too. It's a good alternative to a spinner rack because it still gives you that same present, like a nice presentation of the shop. What you never see is I have another spinner rack over here that's a magazine spinner rack. <laughs> you son of a bitch. Of course he does. Who that said his last bid said 92 is his last bid. Oh, All right. yeah. <clears throat> so we'll see what Grandmaster is going to do. I think fucking who that has two or three of those. Grandmaster is <laughs> out. <laughs> there it is. Unless someone else wants to hop in, we'll give it like a 20 second breather. 30 second. Damn, Chris, don't be calling me a slumlord, dude. <laughs> yeah, he said you got room here, slumlord. <laughs> I mean, I have tenants, but they live upstairs from me, so that would mean I live in the slum with them. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I wouldn't say that. 84 is a cool dude, man. <laughs> Oh, 
Well, right. what do you say? What do you say we call this? Yep. All right. So Who that? Congratulations, brother. That's your book. PayPal the word for Mr. Lawrence. Hundred dollars. Who that? Wow. Kenny, round three, that time. round three was exciting. Um, Biggie Shack, we saw the first gambit. We saw a Bronze Age R lock with a with a back and forth between Man Cave and JP. And we can't forget those sensational, incredible Hulk magazine from first edition. What a round, huh? Yo, you're selling yourself short, bro. I think my favorite book was that unexpected you had, dude. But, uh, yo, yeah, man, killing it, keeping the fucking mood going, man. Everybody's doing great. Yo, my boy Lawrence is representing like a motherfucker. I know first is about to turn it up, dude. He's been he's been throwing some uh, fucking warnings out there. So I'm hyped, I'm hyped bro. Yeah. Thanks for involving me. Yeah, man. We're an hour and 40 minutes in, so it's definitely time for us to Give away some stuff. Our first giveaway yeah, tonight. Away. Yeah, away. yeah, I'm not playing. Whoever in the chat can win. I'm gonna let y'all win. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Be on you. All right, I'm gonna open up. I'm assuming we're gonna do. I'm gonna do randomizer for it. Yeah, we'll do randomizer for it. So everybody in the chat, if you want to be in on the giveaway in the chat, please say I'm in. And we'll help Kenny build his list out here of everybody who wants to be on this. And what we're going to be giving away is. Oh, oh. we're going to be giving away that mad love. Oh, oh hold up. Whoa, whoa. Batman Adventures. This is going to be giving away. This is our first giveaway for tonight. What was that, that second? This is the first one. The second one's her on the cover with her head, I think. So I'm saying second, hardly ever. Oh yeah, I I think so. I'm not I sure. I think so. I'm probably, I might look that up. That's a fucking old book. This one's a higher grade too. It's in really great condition. Probably has maybe one or two little spine ticks here um, on the spine, but overall, this is really good condition. Wow, book. I mean, it's uh, it, it's high high grade for sure. Fucking cool book. What number is that, bro? It's a one shot, so it's not, it's not oh, number okay. of spine, So yeah. That made adventures mad love. Well, damn. Okay, well, let's get to it because I'm sure the ends are going to pour in and I'm at my post ready to put them in. Big, you want to read them out? Oh, yeah. We got... Hold on, let me scroll up. Okay. We got... You know, Vita Slatter. I see. We got Arch. We got Arch Angle Sins. We got Comic Don. Yeah, put got, Vita in too, because she was up a little bit higher. He either one. Okay. We got Ruben Guzman. ALD collects. Silver Silver Age Dave. Bolo 368. Jeff Schultz. Logan Torres. Cardstock variant. Johnny Dakota. Comic Mag Musings. Tony NY Jr. Sam I Am Comics. Beta Ray Jim. Chris Barrett. Red Matos. Mike Rogers. Jimbo Fetz, Metarog, Coach Vic, Magic Lasso, Flix and Comics, Never Stop Collecting, Man Cave, Bake the Snake, Jaguar, House Till the End, Hudak Comics, Grandmaster Stash. Mr. G. Yep, Mr. Garrell. Comic Slabs and Statues. D-Runk Comics. 
barbarian kung fu, goat, unruly simian. Did we get who that? I don't yeah, think. We got that. Yeah. Okay. And we already got. Okay, we're good. Unless Punisher. Yeah, Punisher. Ain't. Is Punisher on your list? I don't. I don't think so. Punisher. Um, Woody Warren. Woody Warren. That's a good one. Ben. Zach, Zach ben B. Right. There's What's more. Last? Ben Compton. You got him on the list? Nope. No. Nope. Zach B. Yep. Zach, Zach B. B. Triple yep. C collectibles. Yep. Triple C. All right, that's it. Um, Kachun, you got him in? Oh, sorry. It is Kachun. And Mark Spector. Yeah, I think that's it. Good. Okay. You got Big O in there? No. Nope. No, we didn't call Big O. How about Charles Stevens? I didn't hear that one either. Yeah, he just said, he just posted it. So, yeah, Charles. All right. We're up. Boom. Stopping it right there. Any last ones right now? Uh, no, right? Steve, yeah, we got a few people that just jumped in the chat. So. Oh, come on. They said I'm in? All right, nope. They didn't say it. All right. I'm hitting randomized. Boom. Sucker. Uh, <laughs> 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 All right. So let's randomize it maybe three more times. That'll be good. Three more times. All right. Can you guys see it on the screen? Yeah, we do. Okay. One. Two. Guys, there's going to be more giveaways tonight. This is just the first. Yeah, yeah. And the last one to make you humble. Oh, shit. Yes. Tony. Tony. I'm going to throw this in your box, Tony. You already got, oh, you already got stuff already from me. So, Batman Adventures, Mad Love, One Shot. On this way to you. First giveaway for tonight. Congrats, Tony and Y. Good on you, Tony. You deserved it, man. Hell yeah. I didn't miss you, Ben Compton. I put you in there, dude. Oh yeah. You were in there. Yeah. yeah you're, we'll get you next time. You didn't like make that. it, dude. I'm sorry, man. Yeah. Watch, where's Ben Compton? Oh, he's on there. Yeah, he's on there. He was one of the last one. He's number twenty two right there. He's number twenty two, yeah. I remember typing you in. Congrats, man. Oh, the obligatory rig. I appreciate you. Thank you. We can't do a randomizer without someone saying I love it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so stay in the chat, guys. We've got a couple more giveaways tonight. That wasn't the only one. So if you hang out in the chat, we do the randomizer later, and you've got to be here to claim it and say, you know, I'm in, then you may get something else. Fantastic. We'll be right back. Sleep on that Folgers, y'all. No, Jay Blitz. We're just we're just we're just starting to heat up the grease a little bit before we put in that bacon for you, brother. It's not yeah. over yet. Yeah, we just yeah, doing a little commissions, you know what I'm saying? You've been so, missing a lot of fucking bangers. Don't get it twisted though, dude. I still I got a bunch of fire in here. We'll see if I get through it all. I'm gonna try. I think, yeah. I got nowhere to be tomorrow and I got a five hour energy thing. Let's say that. Once Kenny's five hour runs out, the auction's over. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, the auctions will go maximum five hours. <laughs> All right. So, oh, here's what I'm going to do. Ready? So, because I don't want to. Don't say that, Mr. Gal. How dare you? Um, the. Uh, because I don't want to take these golden age books out of the plastic, um, I took some photos and put them on my Instagram of them out of the bag, on and I got pictures of the front and back cover of them, so you can get a clear look of them without the mylar magic. I don't want to, you know, and you can do your little pinch zoom whatnot. So that link will bring you that. Um, but in saying that, because I, you know. I'm not sure. Anyway, uh, I was gonna say I don't know if it's like 
rating Golden Age. You know, I don't know if people want particular or whatever. It's a fucking Golden uh, Age book. Uh, it's, 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 it's all better get over it. You know what I mean? Like, know, exactly. buy it. Hey, you Lon, uh, who that sent your payment? He just wants you to confirm you received it. Oh, he might have stepped away for a minute. I'm Let's see these start. motherfuckers. That's not 42. I want to see the other number. Yeah, 41 and 42. 42 is God. Is it, oh, there's headlights on it. Um, Bro. I'm just going to start. Where's the NYC? Video. I'm going to start. I'm sorry. The, uh, I got people hitting the chat in the mood for coffee now. Um, I'm going to start the bid at 60 for the pair. And. Here's number 41. So the overall 41 RT 10 cent, baby. Let's see what he's saying. In the theory of magnetism, Betty, the closer magnet A gets to magnet B, the stronger the attraction. Now, do you see why B is drawn to A? I certainly do, Archie. A equals Archie, B equals Betty. Damn, magnetism humor, son. <laughs> So there's Archie macking it to Betty. Here's a close look. Oh my God. America's typical teenager. Yo. Zoom Archie. in on that 10 cent big A4. Where's that 10 cent symbol? Where's um, it at? Oh, it's down there in the other corner. Oh, yeah. Or am I wrong? Yep. Look tiny. how tiny that is. <laughs> I know it's so tiny. I didn't. Uh, I didn't check the year. I should have checked the year. Already. I don't know what year this is. All right. Maybe someone can look it's at it. Archie forty one. What year is it? And then we have Archie number forty two. Artist art by Bob Montana. Archie 42, there's a big lover's kit. He says, I'll have one of these, dude. Who wants a smooch, not a Sunday. Uh, starting bid is $60. Hey. I can't even find it, dude. Archie, let's get in close. These. This one has a little pencil in the A, but it's like newsstand. It says F, and below that says 11 18. 1949 madness. 1949. Good lord, that's old. <clears throat> Damn, even older than I thought. That's super fucking old, bro. That's old school. So start. I, I got a fit. Starting my, What's the starting? Uh, probably like half of what they go for, bro. You gotta go. I would start that at a hundred, bro. What are you doing? Couple arches. Forty nine. I like the artwork on these arches, man. Like the bro, style. That shit is Alex is asking where you're starting the bid at. He's a uh, fucking yeah. loser, dude. Sixty dollars. $60 starting wow. for the two. Oh! Man came in at 60. Fuck me. That's a fucking vicious start. Alex at 65. I knew Alex was going to want to see these. <laughs> and, and let me know if you want me to repost the. <clears throat> yeah. There's a link if you want to look closer on Instagram. Yeah, yeah don't sleep on these fucking Archies, y'all. Tony in one seventy five, Alex at eighty. The link is in the chat. You want to check it out? It's on Instagram. You can get a closer look at the books. I'm fucking blown away. That's a couple hundred dollars worth of books right there. Yeah, I like these covers, man. I'm just starting to get into collecting RT myself. It's so fucking cool, man. Any of that like pre fifty shit, like up to fifty, sixty, is super expensive. Well, DS, I got something dark coming up for you next, man. Just hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite dark enough. Yeah, it's, it's 
He has got the dark sensibilities. <laughs> <laughs> wow. All complete. Would, man, Looks like it was attached. That he's got going on right here. <laughs> yeah, I text Alex. I was like, hey, he's getting ready to show Archie. So I know how much Alex likes him. So. <laughs> Tony NY at 90. Tony's doing it up tonight. Him and Grandmaster ain't playing around. Unruly observing Jughead. <laughs> Nadine rituals disgust and confound. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. He's talking about this one. I think. Oh, yeah. Look at him in the corner. <laughs> yeah, look at the bullshit. Where's my burgers at? <laughs> <laughs> Right, isn't that Jughead's thing? He eats burgers a lot. Oh hell yeah, he like. Yeah, look at that bug tooth fucking on forty one man. Just look at fucking Archie's teeth on that motherfucker, bro. That's some straight golden age glory. No, no, the other one with the frontal view. Look at his fucking teeth, bro. <laughs> I know. I fucking love that shit. Archie is such a mech. Yeah. Like He's like a fucking beaver. Yeah, the, them girls are way out of his league. He's just fucking. <laughs> <laughs> Wimpy. Isn't Wimpy's the Popeye guy, right? Yeah. Alex folded. I think it was just him and Tony. I think Mankey was in earlier, but I don't know if he's still in. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure what the status is on that. Yeah, Mankey didn't fold. But he. Man Cave 100. at 100. Yeah. <clears throat> Man Cave brewing a nice little stack on something. Potentially here. So he it's not just Betty and Veronica that he max on. Because that's that's neither Betty nor Veronica, right? That's Sunday shop girl. Archie, Archie Max on all of River Riverdale. That's all it is. Yeah. Hmm, that's right. <laughs> he's just going around. That's a good point. We don't really see him macking on like strange strange all the time. I guess so. I mean Archie better walk. Better watch out. He's rolling around asking for a fucking Me Too charge, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Tony in at 105. Man Cave back at 110. Or 110. <laughs> yeah, that is a good cover, Alex. Yeah, it's, I know. I mean, I'm just really drawn to that Sunday girl. I just love the way she's drawn. And headlights don't hurt, but still, it's not even that. It's like, it's like, I don't know, there's something like classy and clean about the Archie Golden Age art. It really is. I can see why people really gravitate towards these. Now that, because I've never really hold, held these old ones in my hands until I got my hands on these. And I'm like, all right, I get it. The colors are bright, they pop, the art's really clean. Tony at 125. So I get it. Yeah, that's some pretty. Most oh, shit you got, man. It's for sure, bro. It is, dude. <laughs> I don't even got the forties, Archie. I think all mine's fifty and up. Some of these comments crack. I know. <laughs> 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 Tony at 125, man cave thinking about it, he drops to 130. Make some fumble. <laughs> you go in golden age next first? Yeah, I'm gonna do a pre-code horror golden age book next. Oh man, back to back golden age lots, ladies and gentlemen. That's how we do it. 
I'm sure Man Cave's got something locked in the chamber, man. He gave me a little quick preview before, and every lot was fire as the next. So, pretty exciting. I'm going to give away the catch cover in a little bit. Uh-oh. Yeah, Archie was just about getting pussy, bro. Like, who can who can hate on that? So Tony, <laughs> <laughs> Tony's out, man. Cave it looks like it's gonna be his. Tony says it hurts, but uh, goes to man cave for one thirty. Thank you, man cave. I'll be sure to package these up pristinely for you, sir. Card stock? No, I have not built up the courage to auction Scott sketches yet. Uh, I'm just gonna give them away right now. And we're gonna keep this the PayPal, and uh, so first edition. All right, guys. So I'm a big um, fan of pre-code horror. I love EC. So I have a duplicate in my collection here that I'm gonna get not give away. <laughs> I'm gonna auction off here. It's gonna be um, the Vault of How Horror from EC Comics. This is issue number twenty nine. Um, this is complete. Uh, the cover is attached, but there is tape over the staples, but the staples are still there. Um, this is more like a 2.5, and I'm going to start the bidding at 50 bucks for this. $50 for for Pre-Code Horror, Vault of Horror, number 29. Um, you can see the cover is kind of, you know, it's, it's old. A little chippy. Yeah. yeah, yeah. There is, like I said, there is tape over. You see the staple there? Yep. And there's some on this one as well, too. So the cover is attached, but it is getting held up a little bit by tape. Um, but it is complete. Um, if you got EC books, you'll know it's 32 pages. There's eight uh, full pages on each side of the staple. So I've counted the pages. Every time I get an EC book, I count the pages because that's pretty important to me. So, um, we got fifty dollars from Barbarian Kung Fu. So, um, some Golden Age horror books here, guys. EC. This stuff's not easy to come by. It's it's ex very expensive. Sometimes it's really scarce to find these. So, um, luckily, I have another one of these in my collection. I figured I'd let someone get an opportunity at. Them. Got Barbarian at fifty. And Man Cave. Just know, make sure you only send seven dollars shipping for that because that's going to put you. At fifteen dollars, medium flat rate box, you got free shipping for the rest of the night if you so to bid on something else. That's like tells from the crib shit, right? Yeah, EC did tells from the crib. They did a lot of stuff, man. Weird science, weird fantasy, yeah. Vault of Horror. Um, there's tons of stuff. So. Code really horror. good Free code horror stuff, man. It's and the stories in this are just always really just great. I love them. So those bubble characters on the side and the headers, what I always think of, and that, that's the guy yeah. you usually see on most the good ones. Yeah, there's the vault keeper. So then on vault the keeper. Uh, tells from Crypt, you got the Crypt Keeper. There's a Crypt Keeper here. So it's pretty pretty good stuff. This is Really old book. I forgot what year this is, but um, it's a Johnny Craig cover. Fifty dollars. Yeah, that's why I say Simeon, man. That's what really got me in the Golden Age. You know, I collect Fawcett a lot and a few other things, but I'm a huge horror fan in general. Love horror movies, love this horror content. So. When I jumped into Golden Age, this is where I kind of started at. Yeah, man. Two back to back Golden Age. Pretty fun. Oh, JoJo in at 55. Hey, now. She's looking at that Golden Age goodness. <laughs> Barbarian's like. <laughs> <laughs> Barbarian. It's a fucking banger. Bro. Yeah, you man. You don't see him, man. You I've never seen one in real life. Yeah, I've this, never seen one in real life. Yeah, these are not reprints. This is the OG stuff. Yeah, yeah that's the crazy real shit. <clears throat> I, actually, I think I did see one, but the fucking guy wanted like 
two hundred dollars or something. I was just like, ah, damn, bro. Yeah, that's right, Simeon. If you you said you want to start Golden Age, this is where you start. This is your chance to jump in, man, and probably at a really good price. JoJo in at sixty five. Yeah, nineteen fifty three. It's kind of the a big cover, book too, right? Yeah, the cover is attached. The staples are all the way through, but yeah, they they did put some tape on over both staples on the book to kind of reinforce it. So but yeah, it, it's still attached. And these covers are just always really just dope stuff. It's really cool. It looks super fucking wide, dude. Yeah, man. Yeah, those books are big, huh? No, not in the interior. Only on the exterior of the cover. So. And I can show you again so you can see Barbarian. Staples are attached, but if you can see, you can see closer on the back here, there's the top staple. There's tape over the top staple here. You can see here. Same thing uh, with the bottom. They've just reinforced it with it. Yeah. The, the, staples are, the staples are still still there. But they're just they just reinforce things with tape. So uh. You see that shit a lot, bro. It don't even bother me. My annual one has tape all the way up and down it. Yeah, I'm not too picky when it comes to this. If it's complete, I'm always worried about the page count on these books. Yeah. I see a lot of them missing pages, so I always do a page count on, the, on these EC pre Kohara books, man, because uh, you can find them missing pages a lot. So... I'll check this one out. <laughs> The Grim Fairy Tale Wallet Keepers Stock of Christmas. It's like, whoa. And yeah, that dude's going down the creeping in the house, Santa Claus. <laughs> Good evening to Lady Fantastic. Welcome. Hey, Lady Fantastic. <coughs> mm. So, yeah, you get a couple stories in here. It's pretty dope stuff. Jojo at 68. Barbarian still bidding. The barbarian. Barbarian number one barbarian. Barbarian bin, yeah. <laughs> barbarian Kung Fu. He's in at 70. <clears throat> if y'all wanted some fucking horror this is the best horror book you're probably gonna see tonight i'll tell you that so jojo folds we're gonna give it about 30 seconds and we're gonna move this thing on guys and mr barbarian will be getting this what a dope book if you didn't have one and you was getting one, dude, that shit would be fucking awesome, bro. I gotta get me I feel, one. I feel bad for Barbarian because now he's gonna be after once he gets this in his oh, head, yeah. be after these like crazy, just like I was. <laughs> I mean he's gonna he's gonna be on it, man. All right. Congrats, Barbarian. This is yours, dude. Seventy dollars, eight dollars ship. My PayPal's below. Congrats to you, sir. Great stuff. Stuff as always. First, appreciate you, man. Yep, yep. The king. Okay, so you guys was all doing golden age. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> that mysterious. <laughs> <laughs> um, this thing is good, and um, I remember one time I used this in a Instagram video that Alex, the comic hoarder, chose this book for me. Uh-oh. 
and um, it's Archie number twenty nine. Oh, 29? 29, dude. 29. If oh. 41 and 42 that I had was 1949, then that would make that, what, three years before? Holy yeah, moly. 47. Wow. And, you know, you can see that it's um, it's got its issues, but and it's got a pair right here. But still, it's 29. And I don't see these very often. No, yeah, it's only it's only eighty years old. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. And I don't know. Am I too unreasonable wanting to start it at fifty? Fuck no. No, no, dude. <laughs> no I think not that, at all, that, dude. That's great. Fifty dollars starting big. Yeah, fifty dollars get on some early Archie guys is wow. Wow, I mean, jeez. Hey, Archie looks more like you guys started this. I'm in, man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Hey, there we go. <laughs> what auction, guys, are you going to go to? You're going to see a full round of Golden Age comics. Mm. No problem, Barbarian, man. I hope you enjoy it, dude, as much as I do. It's killer. Man Cave dropping in at 70. He said he's jumping in the water, brother. Yo, that's a super hard fucking book to pull, dude. Oh, there he is. What up, MLC? Yeah, I wonder if he got my fucking text. I texted him just now. I texted him when you went to Madness. Oh. Yeah, he saw it. I got mad. I got fucking Don Dada on it now. <laughs> Man Cave's gonna be pissed. <laughs> I, I told him before I thought you were bidding Man Cave. <coughs> wow, that, that's an interesting way to phrase it. Two years after Hiroshima. Wow, that's that's a, yeah, that's one way to think about it. Whoa, what a fucking cool fucking book to have, bro. Yeah, and like uh, like Alex said, how often do you see the green couch? And you know what Archie's thinking about hiding that book right there. Yeah. <laughs> Is he actually holding it with his hands? Well, I don't know. If he, I bet if he squeezed it together, it'd probably hurt. <laughs> <laughs> That's like the old popcorn bowl at the movies trick. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Man came in at 90. Classic shit. Yeah. Yeah. yeah dude. It really is. It's amazing how them books do, dude. Just like a few years, just like magnify shit so stupidly. Oh, okay. I will, Roger. Uh oh. Am I getting Lawrence riled up? I'm sorry, man. No, uh, you know me. I'm I'm just kinda oh being me. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, when's the last time you walked around and found one of these that wasn't on eBay? Never, dude. Yeah. You don't see any of that stuff y'all pulled. It's madness is forty and forty one or uh first pre code, dude, those are crazy. You don't see those alone boxes. I don't know how y'all got them. Y'all must have shot somebody. Better Ray says, I can't remember the last time I saw an old Archie that still had a cover on it. <laughs> well, Biggie, you know, I tend to come across a lot of interesting stuff. Is it attached, Lawrence? Yes. Yeah. Damn. And like fold. And I think who I think was it was between Man Cave and him. I think that's where it was at. So Yeah. Great buy. Great buy. Hey, as far as I'm concerned, we're good. Oh, you yeah. can see the inside. Give him a couple seconds, see if they'll 
um, I can't do this very well, but yeah, that's perfect right there. Yeah, yeah, it looks great. It looks great. It's all attached, complete. Nice pages. Yeah, that's nice page quality. Nice Even the way. photo hasn't been done yet, so somebody ought to do that. <laughs> Yeah, I, I just stepped away and came back. I'm looking at these pages, and man, they're white. Yeah. Yeah, nice, nice. You know, the spine's a little, a little worn, but the rest of it's all there, and it's all nice and bright and a little rounded, but nice, solid, golden age, Archie. Nice. 23? What'd you say it was? 29. 29. Good God. Cool. And I, I think that was out of uh, just curiosity from Goat, if I'm not mistaken. If you just want to clarify that, I don't want to cut you cut you off as we drop the gavel here, Goat. Archie didn't touch the book. Archie's holding the book down. <laughs> oh. Okay. Man cave at 90. Sold. Sold. Round three. Round three post round report from Biggie Shack, the golden age yeah. round, brother. What do you say, man? Dude, I've been thinking about it the whole time, man, and I feel like it's time to let these motherfuckers know in the chat what kind of auction this is, brother. Could you hit the NWO for me, Big 84, brother? Indeed, indeed. Good call. Um, <laughs> follow that. Okay. Next up, I'm going to go back to some of that some of those bronze spookiness. Um, okay. So this one, last one had a little DC sprinkled in. This one's all Marvel, brother. I'm just going to start the bidding it. Is this five issues? Uh, I think I'm just going to do like the other one where I started at 25. I'm going to start the bid at 25 bucks and uh, check them out. So here we go. Boom. Let me go. I'll start here. Yeah, I think, and if I'm not mistaken, yeah. Well, I don't want to pull things up, but I think I put, yeah. If you guys are in Instagram fluent, they're they're on my Instagram page for the for the close up, but I'll get pretty close. Don't worry. Um, five books starting mid twenty five dollars. We got Werewolf by Night number three. It's this cool freaking, I don't know, bull beast. Werewolf is scared shitless right there. There's Wolf by Night number three. This one's in nice condition, I'd say. Uh, fine. Perhaps fine. fine. Werewolf by Night uh, number Nine. Mm. All right, number nine. There's a couple creases on this one. In the top, top right corner. I think that's fucking blue guard, ain't it? And down the center a little bit. Who's that big? Is that the artist? I think it's Plug. Plug. Mm. Look at this, Jabroni. A little under I like that underground cut view. Pretty cool. Oh, Tatter Demalion first appearance. Hey now. See I didn't 
you know, I'm glad you guys are on top of it. I didn't do the, the key check, but it's added a mailing and it's the parents. We will find night nine. And then I got one more where we'll find uh, also pretty nice condition. And we got damsel in distress. Uh, number 13. So he's fighting a monster called Taboo. With the damsel. Yeah, there's the poog. There it goes. Yeah, Plug yeah. is a fucking boss. So, so by night 13. And the other two books in the slot is uh, Frankenstein Monster at Bay. We had a good grammar discussion about the word at bay in my last haul video. Check that out. I got school on grammar. It sounded weird to me. The Frankenstein monster at bay. Number 14. <laughs> We're going to take a bite out of old Frank. Also, notice Frank is wearing like some fur Versace pimp vest or something. Nice. <laughs> oh, what's that? Oh, another damsel. We got the damsel. Check. And what's the hot chick arbitrary or whatever the fuck? Being in the store, it doesn't make sense. <laughs> you gotta do it, man. You gotta do it. Dracula, uh, and then Tomb of Dracula, number twenty six. Hmm. With this, I like the artwork of that that chick in the corner there. Dracula, he's a like, plotting on her. So yeah, you know that's the deal. It's a little bronze. Our goodness. Got all the monsters. Universal monsters. Represented. Um, you know, I was thinking 25 starting. Five of these is what I was thinking. I don't know if that's too much for these. But pretty yeah, nice werewolf number three. That's a pretty early one. Yeah. 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 Three, nine, uh, 13. Frankie, baby. The count, 26. Pa pow, pow, pow. So, yeah, I'll, I'll just put another, uh, you know, couple minutes. See if this what you whistle. If not, no biggie, man. We're going to keep it rocking. Five bones. Five bones apiece for the Bronze Age Horror Law. What's the uh, starting bid? Starting bid is twenty-five dollars. Five issues. Mike Sanchez, twenty-five. Mike said twenty-five. Yeah, nice condition. Spine feels good. I don't see any collar breaks on them. You know. Yeah, my Instagram page, Comic Eight Eighty Four, has some. Some photos that you can kind of pick and zoom and stuff. I can take. I'm gonna take one out the bag. Which one do you think I should take out the bag? Like, which one? Is um, I, I would the the three. Want to see the werewolf three? Sure. Yeah, I mean, that's so the only cool. one. All the rest of them look super clean. That one might be the one that like Zach B at thirty. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, number three ain't easy to get, y'all. Werewolf by Night one is a motherfucker, and then number two ain't that good, easy. So that's like an easy way into getting started on this run, I think, starting a, a good number three or something. <clears throat> Every time I see this run, you don't see one through five or, you know, the keys. <clears throat> 
Let me find a nice page. Oh, look yeah, it looks like it's in good shape. Like, I don't see anything. It's a black cover. Look at that cool page. <clears throat> the cop. Skeletonized. Ooh, here's a nice werewolf face shot. What is that? 35, Mike Sanchez. Plug. Got Plug written all over it. <laughs> Got Plug written all over it. Some of Plug's stuff's really good. I like that blue one you got, too, that number nine. That's just a fucking fire cover, bro. Yeah, the number nine is cool. 40 for Zach B. I'm kind of interested to look into Frankie Baby. Let's look at Frankie Baby. Oh, uh, the colors on that one's immaculate. That's really good. Top of it looks a little worse for wear. You got a little couple collar yeah. breaks. Yeah, a little wear on them in the corner. Colors look good, though. Well, that back looks great, too. This is clean. Back's fucking perfect. Yeah. Roll stuff down there. Okay. Oh, nice page. <laughs> that fuzzy vest, man, is crazy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Watch, look at this shit. Frank and fuzzy vest, man. Who's, <laughs> a green, who's that green monster? It's like a, yeah, the night creature. The night work old creature. man. Yeah. So Zach B folded, so if might be just Mike at 45. Mike Sanchez at 45. We'll give it maybe like a 60 seconds deal. I'll do one last run through of all the books and then No one has uh, anything to say about it. Werewolf by night number three. Nice. Werewolf number nine. Werewolf. Yeah, that's my, crease. that's my favorite cover of all of my thing. Yeah, I like the sub level in it. We have 13 with the damsel. <laughs> Somebody that's <laughs> that R2. <laughs> Hippie Frankenstein. <laughs> yeah. Jive Turkey Frankenstein. Smoking a doobie. To my Dracula. So that's the lot. Boom. Uh, I'm going to say, oh, I'm sorry. So, Mike Sanchez, thank you, brother. Um, there's the PayPal, eight dollars even for the shipping, man. And I'll get them to you safe and sound. Six, seven, eight, fifty-three, fifty-three dollars shipped to you. Thank you. Oh, Edson Barbosa's fight tonight. Oh my God. All right, first <laughs> edition. It's on you. All right, so I got two sets of Treasury Edition. Lots I'm going to do. This is going to be the first lot. Uh, it's mostly DC in both lots, but this one has a Marvel one in there too. So we're going to start there. Uh, this is the Marvel one. It's the Empire Strikes Back Treasury Edition, number two. Pretty awesome cover. Special edition. These treasuries are pretty big. Um, these are going to, this lot's going to start at $10, $15 shipped. So Empire Strikes Back. It's the only Marvel one in here. We've got a House of Mystery. <clears throat> treasury Edition 2. Oh. Pretty dope treasury as well. Yeah, it's probably pretty old. Got um, this Batman with different stories packed in here. And it's got three Batman and Robin pinups inside as well, too. Wow. Treasury Edition. Um, 
Secret Origins, Secret uh, uh, Super Villains. This is a pretty cool cover. You got stacking of villains and superheroes on here. God dog, it. look at that, bro. Those things are fucking fly, bro. I love that. And then you got a uh, Super Friends. Oh, there's the banger. It's a pretty nice one. That's the banger right there, son. Wow, pretty awesome stuff. So there's the one included. Super Friends. So we're starting this off at ten dollars and fifteen ship. The super villain. Wow. Batman. House of Mystery. That's Black that's Man. probably the oldest one, I bet. I bet that one's old. Meta Rog in at 15, and then the special edition. Star Wars, Empire Strikes Back. That's probably a super fucking good one. Nice. nice lot, bro. Uh, excuse me. Yeah. So this is the first uh, treasury lot I got. I got another lot, too. Just I didn't want to sell them together because this is kind of a, a nice snug fit in the uh, the flat rate box. So this this will go well for 50 Yeah, dude. That's some definite obscure stuff to get, man. People don't have that stuff in their collection. Yeah, I love the treasuries, man. It's just. What do you mean people don't have the stuff in their collection? Uh, <laughs> I don't have. I don't have a treasury. I got. I got magazines. Treasuries are awesome to have in your collection. Oh yeah. JDN at twenty five. Like the old school, like a Wonder Woman hairstyle in here. <laughs> yeah, that's the one I like, bro. I like, oh, <laughs> that book, man. <laughs> Batman smile, old school Robin. Yeah, it's just, it's, it's pretty dope. <laughs> Comic Mag Musings at 31. Yeah, I love the uh, Empire Strikes Back one, man. That look of Vader in there is just really dope. They're all knockouts, dude. Every one of them, bro. The official comics adaptation of the most eagerly awaited space fantasy film of all time. So this dropped before the movie even dropped. So that's pretty cool. Damn. Man. Yeah. Complete in one. Yeah, I, would think, I would think each one of them should start at 10 to $20 in my mind. So Metarog folded. JD still in. <laughs> How many in the lot total? There's uh, six in the lot, so. Hmm. Oh, the next lot has six as well. So. Different issues. Oh, different oh. treasuries. <clears throat> All treasuries, yeah. I got another one. So these are uh, Dave, roughly about like five O's. I, I would suspect the. Uh, <clears throat> The um, Star Wars one's in much better condition. The square bound spine here is in, in, in pretty pretty good shape overall. It's probably the mm. highest grade one in here. Looks pretty good um, from a quality perspective. This is this is the best one. The House of uh, Secrets is probably beat up more than the other ones. It's a little bit lower grade, maybe closer to a mm. four zero. Um, a lot of color breaking ticks and stuff on the spine um but overall these are they can range from three to, to five max i would think so mm -hmm. but a lot of them are in really really good condition overall i would say besides that dc dude you got mid-grade uh maybe a couple higher ones but yeah those are really nice condition besides the DC. i try to be modest so i don't want to set people's right. expectations too high just to be on the safe side. But yeah, this definitely is the one that's beat up the most out of there. If that one was the highest grade, bro, I think that one would be the one. Yeah, that covers that pretty good. It really is. <clears throat> yeah, this one's in pretty good shape, too. That's, bro, I love shipping that. Is, shipping is 15 on this Thunder Horse. Or Thunder House. I want to use that out all the time, dude. <laughs> Just look at it. 
I like this Batman design. It's like hand painted, like look at Batman on the cover. Hell yeah. Three like, pinups. Yeah. I don't know what the I don't know what the pinups are. I'm interested in those now. Sometimes they ain't attached, I think. Sometimes they just you pop right out. Let's see what we can find here. I got a facsimile at least that did that. Wow, these are the art in here is pretty crazy. Oh yeah. I wish they would do that now, man. They should make like new treasuries. Look at that. Oh yeah. <clears throat> Collar too. Oh. <laughs> it's like an old school Batman design there too. In here, see. Oh yeah, that's like golden age. <laughs> Damn. These panels are kind of crazy. <laughs> that cover here. It's pretty good. Yeah, it's like some gold age shit. Oh, really interesting. Can we see the back cover? <clears throat> oh, yeah. that's pretty dope. Mm. Oh, yeah. Those have really good back covers. Wow. I bet all of them do. <clears throat> that's pretty sick. Yeah. Yeah, the, all the treasure must, must do that because I remember the one I sent, uh, D Rung, the Superman versus Spider Man. The back cover has an amazing, like, pinup piece. Yeah, oh, that's like the top five about the treasury, dude. That was a great treasury you sent him. Did you end up picking up that Superman versus Wonder Woman one too? Or am I imagining that? Mm -mm. Mm, I love that one. I had a Shazam Superman when I uh, AOK'd the D Runk. He has. That's dope. Keep appreciating the back cover. Baby got back. <laughs> nice, nice. Under house sitting, sitting confidently at fifty. I'm not sure if he's. I don't know if I seen silver fold. Yeah, silver age age fold. Okay, he might be the last man standing. Yeah, that's that's it. Oh wow! Look at JoJo said. I think that Empire book might be considered both Fett's first. Outside of regular comics, really? No shit. I didn't know that. Because <clears throat> I know what Star Wars number forty-two is what they listed there, but this may be like the first official official. Bro, that's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're fuck. You're fucking up. <clears throat> Check out that old school color. The way they did the coloring on the oh my god, that's that's pretty, pretty, it's, pretty, it's pretty interesting. Dude, we gotta get more high skilled art in Star Wars, man. Yo, check this out. Check this out. Mm. It's got like the the Falcon, man. That's really dope. Mm. Yeah, it predates them too by like about a month, he said. <clears throat> oh. Yoda training Luke on oh. Dagobah. Fuck a lot this is. <laughs> That's crazy, dude. And yeah, the panels and stuff when they're like doing the action when they're taking down the walkers. That's big giant panels, dude. Looks crazy. Yeah, it's massive. That's nuts. Yeah, these are sick, dude. No doubt. No doubt. Well, if nobody else is bidding, let's call it for um, Thunder House. Thunder House. How many issues was it again? Did you say six? No, I think another one. Treasury in. in oh, wow. yeah. Fucking stolen. He stole That's the first lot. I got a second treasury lot I got to do later. 
<laughs> wow. Nice score, man. Nice score, Thunderhouse. So, yeah, 15 ship. So, uh, 65 there, Mr. Thunderhouse. My PayPal's below. Well done. Big L. All right. Well, this one's going to be 15 shipped. And it is this Wolverine number one, 9.2. Slab. Ooh. Slab. And I'm starting at 30. 30 bucks will start it. Nice. $30, guys. $15 ship. Awesome. Slab. First <clears throat> Wolverine of his ongoing series, and it's a banger. Yep. First patch. I'm going to show the back cover of that bad boy, too, or it's school oh, yeah. Tucker. Oh, yeah. Bang, son. 9.2. What can you ask for any better than that, man? Beta Ray in 30. Yeah, Jackson Roy Kirk, I have a whole big pile of slabs. I just never show them. <laughs> <laughs> On the house, that is uh, first edition's uh, PayPal right there in the chat for you. Yeah, I've it's a great color, man. Wolverine on a pile of dead bodies. Can't go wrong with that. <laughs> no, you can't. <laughs> yeah, man, and it's undervalued, dude. It's a book. I feel like it's pretty obtainable and uh i got it early when i first started collecting i was like shit that's i gotta get that bro because i knew i wasn't gonna get a hulk 181 or even the limited series was a little more expensive but this one was definitely a good book to have i'm not sure what to put for my next one what do you think, Chad? Should I go affordable or should I go banger? What do you think, guys? Banger. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm going to go and do a big lot next. Maybe. Yeah, I got a slab I could put up next or a lot I could put up next. I'm not sure which, which is which. No, still of the night, bro. $30 for this one? You all kidding me? Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna put up some fire again. What macho man thing are you talking about, Chris? Not my, not my one in my DGC. Are you? Are you talking? About? Yeah, dude, he ain't selling that ever, bro. Yeah, he was Come talking on. about that book earlier, saying if you're gonna sell it. <laughs> Come on now. It's a masterpiece. <laughs> Barbarians. How about an affordable banger? <laughs> well, well played. Well played. Yeah, I mean, if you just got this book in a raw and you ever wanted a slab, I would say this is a good good way to get it in your collection, man. Dude, this is a pretty gnarly book. Yeah, and if you want if you want this one raw, it's pretty easy. It's not impossible, but I mean, shit, it costs thirty dollars a slab book in the first place. I know. That's why I don't. I have a lot of them, but they don't impress me much because I like to read my books. Mm. But I'm just old school, I guess. Hey, nothing wrong with that, man. I got most of my stuff is raw. I got like a handful of slabs. Now, I've got a short box full, and um, I'm thinking about dumping almost all of them because these are doubles. <laughs> these are doubles anyway. Right. Oh yeah. So Beta Ray Jam is out. King B at forty. Is CFAP still bidding? Yeah, he, he, he hasn't folded yet. Well, let's just give it a little bit and let's move on. Thunderhouse, I, yeah, I got your payment. Thank you, sir. And CFAP has folded. So if anybody else is bidding. Yeah, that was it. 
uh, let's roll with it. All right. Score from King B. Awesome. Well, well, Biggie, round Yo. four, buddy, in the books. Yo. Man. Congratulations to everybody out there, dude. Y'all are getting some great stills tonight, dude. I can't believe that didn't go that last one and go for at least another Twinkie on it, brother. But I'm pumped. I'm gonna get through one or two more rounds. I appreciate y'all hanging in there with us. Having a lot of fun checking out these books. You guys are doing a great job. Well said. I am. It always makes me laugh about that commercial. Look at the the actor guy, his face of him like pretending like he's waking up from sleeping, and he puts this goofy ass like grin on his face. It makes me laugh when I think of him trying to like act and do it. Watch. Take a second look at this. Jabroni. Acting like he's waking up. That's how you wake up, bro. That's how you wake up if you're about ready to tear tear a hole in something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you wake up with like, yeah, something underneath your sheet, like, oh, what was that? Yo, that's a that's a pretty good buy that like bro that's like a hundred dollar book at the least man like shout outs who won that last one king b king b you're king fucking b. you fucking stole it king b yeah let's see there let's do okay. i'm gonna go left here for a while i'm gonna start this i mean i don't think it's gonna end there but i'm gonna just it's a 10 book lot can you post Lawrence's uh, PayPal back up there? King's asking for it. Oh, yeah. It's it's right here. Oh, yeah. There you go. Yeah. Last rights, brother. Oh, don't feel guilty, dude. I'm sorry, man. I didn't mean to make you feel guilty. Yeah, stop shaming the chat, big. <laughs> no, no. I know. Um, you know, this is what they call a meritocracy. Uh-huh. So. Congratulations, y'all. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten books. Ten what if comics. Uh oh. I'm just gonna start at ten box. All right. Do what you will. You tell me what they were. Uh, ten what if comics. Uh, eight of them are from. No, seven of them are from volume two. Three of them are from volume one. And two of these volume ones are the bangers. So, uh, volume two, number one. What if the Avengers lost Evolutionary War? Again, $10 starting bid. Shipping is going to be 15 on these books. Uh, should shipping be 15 Yeah, I guess it should. Bay like coming in at 20 already? <laughs> it's going to be a lot for Gemini. That's 15 books. Yeah, that definitely should be 15 10. Well, it's 10. It's 10 books. 10 books. Yeah, it, it should be all right. If you got a bubble wrap. I'm gonna feel better if it's 15 shipping. So, if you gotta keep that in mind as you bid, so be it. But I'm gonna feel better not putting these in the Gemini. Um, what if Avengers number? Uh, what if number one Avengers lost Revolutionary War? Oh wow! No, Evolutionary War. I'm sorry. Um, what if Vision destroyed Avengers? Mm, wow. too. Which could happen. What if number six? What if X Men lost Inferno? Damn, I don't think I've ever seen that one. Kitty Pride action. Wolverine's looking beastly. pretty good. Can be the shipping on that slab that Lawrence sold was fifteen dollars ship for the slab? What if FF lost the Trial of Galactus? That's not fifteen. Reed Richards must die. Damn. That's harsh. What if number 22 
what a silver surfer had not escaped Earth. Apparently he'd be linking up with Mephisto. What if the all new, all different X-Men from X-Men 94 had not existed? That's oh, over oh. 23. That's, that's dope. Yeah, that's yeah. the Omashi. Yeah, so apparently if they didn't exist, then Havoc and Polaris would have joined the team. And then the OG. <laughs> hey. Comic done. <laughs> And the last of the volume two, this thing is high grade, man. This is like this littlest crease up at this top corner, and that's it. This thing is pretty flawless. Uh, number 50. What if Hulk had killed Wolverine? Uh, no, the, the, next, the next three I'm going to show, the last three of the lot are volume one, Roger. But he's right here. I, Volume two. This is the last of volume two. That's a crazy yeah. cover, dude. I haven't seen that one. <laughs> oh no. Oh yeah, it's chromed yeah. out. That's really a good one. Oh, Damn. Yeah. There's different variants of that one. That's the I think that's the issue the Nabisco variants part of. I could be wrong though. This one is one of the volume one bangers, if you ask me. 1980. What if Spidey had rescued Gwen Stacy? Oh, oh yeah. That's a good one to have, bro. Pretty cool. Yeah, these ones are good to have. There's a little bit of spine stress on them. It's pretty minimal. Whatever you do, don't save her. Classic. Yeah, there's like some subtle ticks. It's not too crazy. Um. And then this one isn't okay. What if featuring they don't pose like a good question on it, which is it bums me out. What if Daredevil and Captain America? You gotta give me a question on the cover. We're gonna go fast to that one. And then the banger of the lot, if you ask me. In dude, such nice condition. This thing is like clean as hell. I put it in a mylar. Um, what if volume one number thirty one? What if Wolverine killed the Hulk? Yeah, man. The beauty. That's an awesome one too. Yeah, you won. You won your cover championship pulling that book, or I mean, you used it in your contest. Yes, I did use it. So that's right, ladies and gentlemen. You're gonna have them both. You're gonna have it both ways. What if Hulk killed Wolverine? What if Wolverine killed Hulk? Nice. So I'll go back through them. If there's any questions on up close looks or anything, yeah, I agree. I agree on this whole pair, on this, this pair here. On the whole got 25 with Tommy Don. This one. Yeah. What, 24. Those are some choice. Uh, what ifs madness? So, uh, it's a game game. Game. Yeah, it's a, that's a killer lot, dude. These covers are bangers, these are stories I definitely want to sit down and read in the what if runs. And they're just, yeah, those are what people pick through and grab. Those are what a lot of them you don't see, you see the rest of them a lot, but. <laughs> My like little what if grail. I think it's from a volume two run. I mean, yeah. I know you can buy it around, but I wouldn't mind having it like in a nine eight slab. Like, there's a pristine nice one of right. uh, what if was had the gauntlet. Oh, what if who? What that's if a silver cool cover too. Had the oh, oh yeah, that's yeah. kind of like a black background behind him too, and he's holding the gauntlet. Yeah, up yeah, that's yeah, a good one. I think I'd want the what if Thor was Jane Foster just because that's like the big one though. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely like the hot one of the bunch. 
Yeah, I got that uh, one. I'm, off. I'm selling it. Right. I really like that number one that y'all did a review on. I think that's probably the coolest one. It is a 10 books total Kung Fu. And I'm going to do 15 shipping, guys. I'm just going to feel better with 15 shipping. So, you know, like I said, if you got to take that into account in your bids, that's fine. But 10 gets me a little... Just keeping it real, man. That's how you want to ship, dude. Everybody's got their own, you know, ways they do it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You got to protect it. You got to put shit around it. So I feel you. Yeah, and if it, you know, and if all that means is that you, you know, bid five bucks less than you would to account for it, you know, that's that's just how I'm gonna roll. You can get a switch to your PayPal now. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> I'll, I'll take it. You know, <laughs> Lawrence is sitting there watching being quiet. <laughs> no, I it's have to take care of something, man. It's a full time job, man. <laughs> man, we got Punisher at 36, man. We got Tony at 37. That, that one right there is a tough one to get. The two fucking yeah. over ones are tougher, tougher to get. Yeah, I agree. I think it comes. As far as like the real shining stars, I mean, number one, having number one of volume two is cool, a number one issue. Um, but I really love these three. The Gwen Stacy one, which is in great shape. The what if Hulk killed Wolverine, and what if Wolverine killed Hulk? Yeah, yeah bro, that what if Wolverine killed Hulk is such a fucking good cover, man. Yeah, and both in high grade. So I know this pair would pretty much go for, you know, where it's at now. So I think it's going to make out good. Wherever oh, yeah. But I yeah, yeah. These are nice copies. Jelly. I love this one, dude. Guest starring the Uncanny X-Men. Plus, oh, wait a minute. Plus, what if Fantastic Four had never been? No, oh, a little bonus. Damn, little son. Bonus, what if? Punisher at 43. Chromium goodness. It goes, it goes both ways. You got both, bro. Comic Don jumping in. I'm, I'm so dumb. I'm so dumb. Oh, yeah. Yeah. kind of a cool little pair, right? To have them both. Yeah, <laughs> that's the best. So Punisher and Comic Don left in. Tony's out. Pun yeah, Punisher and Comic Don. Yeah. Punisher in at 46. I think that homage is a good one too, bro. That's That would be the fourth big mm. of mine. And then the volume two, number one, of course. But that homage is definitely yeah. flat. What about uh, giant size X Men? Oh, Bob McCloud worked on this one. Bob McCloud, you got McCloud. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I got that original McCloud sketch. He's such a legit artist. This one's cool. But a surfer had not escaped Earth. Ooh, this one's nice too. Capullo. Really? That's not the best one. I don't. It's not Greg Capullo. The only Capullo I'm familiar with is, is Greg, but I don't think. Right. But that one's cool. What if FF had lost the trials of Galactus? Hmm. Galactus looks like Dracula in that one. <clears throat> oh no, that's Gladiator. Oh. Oh, I see the top of his head now. Okay. Yeah, a little bit of a mohawk. Yeah. Yo, that, no. that where they're all like chained down to the surface, that's pretty nostalgic. They do that a lot. And in the Shi'ar is in that bitch, too. Oh, okay. You would think Galactus would be on the cover, <laughs> considering they're like, I don't know, hyping up Galactus's name. That's got to be Kane. Oh, Gil Kane? Yeah. 
look for that. Oh yeah, the Inferno one. This time, Doctor Strange. That one's pretty cool. Creepy Wolverine. A uh, Wolverine looks like uh, Smith or Keith, Sam Keith, or where the hell mm -hmm. from there. Yeah, he almost looks like Venomized Wolverine. Yeah. That's a killer fucking Wolverine, bro. So, oh, so that is a red cover? King B? That's gotta be pretty, pretty early Kabulu, I would imagine. What what issue was it he's talking about, Kenny? Um, I bet it's that Wolverine cover. No? I don't know. No, it was the... Uh... What if number 15, what if the one that lost the trial of Galactus? This one. Oh. Wow. Bangers. Every one of them. This one's cool, too. Vision. I love that very vision beating everybody. I think you could do it, honestly. Yeah, maybe we yeah, except for Thor, I think Vision is could probably crush some serious ass on Avengers. It's getting warm. It's kind of a warm night tonight. I can't believe I'm almost about to put my AC up. Yeah, I had to turn mine on. You did? Yeah. We got Punisher at 55 beans. Comic Don is... Right at his throat. We're going to see how this plays out, ladies and gentlemen. Great little law of the what ifs. Let's not forget. Poor Gwen Stacy. Spider Man was just trying to do the right thing and web her ankle. Spoiler alert. Snapped her neck, dude. Snapped her neck. Jesus oh, Christ. Jeez. Right? <laughs> Why'd you do it, Spike? Why'd you no, do I didn't it? know. I didn't know what happened. Yeah, because that's why this what if is like that. What if Spidey had rescued Gwen Stacy, but then it also says, whatever you do, don't save her. Because Green Goblin threw her ass off a bridge, and then Spidey is like, no. She's falling. He's on the top. It's like, no. And he shoots his web, and he gets her at the ankle, right? And then they do a little panel, and you can hear it. It even says, like, so it shows her. He catches her, but then her neck swings back, and it says in the thing like a little sound effect it says snap. And he fucking from from like the jolt of him webbing her foot, her neck snaps. Pretty hot. That's pretty heavy duty shit for that. Like, is that a Silver Age story? Wow, bro! Classic Spider Man cover collars. Yeah. yeah, Don is out. Don is out. Boom. I'm just going to give it to Punisher. Punisher, it's all yours, man, at 62. Thank you so much, man. Oh, yeah. 62 plus 15, please. And I'm going to bulletproof these babies. Oh. Hey, pal's right there. So I guess that would be. <clears throat> 77. Bronze story. Okay. Bronze story. 77. Uh, next up, the make you humble. He's going to make you humble. <laughs> All right, so I got a Spider Man lot I want to do next. Get some Spidey going. This is going to be, this is going to start at $20 for the lot, and we'll do, um, we'll do $8 shipped. There's not a lot of books. So we got, Spider-Man 26, the 30th anniversary issue here. Um, Web of Spider-Man number 90. This one's still in the poly bag. Um, <clears throat> Amazing Spider-Man 365. Oh, and you know what? I'm sorry. Can I just interject real quick, dude? Sure. Um, message to my boy Punisher. Punisher, I just realized that you won the ASM slab. So, do not include extra shipping for that. So whatever you want it for, at sixty-two, send me sixty-two, brother, because I'm gonna fit that in the same box as you slap. Now back to your regular scheduled program. 
<laughs> so, uh, yeah, 365, Amazing Spider-Man. It's the other 30th anniversary issue. Uh, we've got uh, Web of Spider-Man number one. We've got Web of Spider-Man number 32. This is a just a really cool cover. I love this one. Um, Amazing Spider-Man 313. Nice McFarlane cover. Amazing Spider-Man 252. And then the last one, Amazing Spider-Man 238. Oh, uh, my God. And it ha this does have the tattoos. I'll show you guys real quick. So Wait, just to recap baby. before I do that, though, so you guys can see the whole the lot again. Starting us at ten dollars, uh, starting bid, and uh, eight dollars oh. shipped. So, Web of Spider Man. Oh, excuse me, Spider Man number twenty six, Web of Spider Man number ninety, uh, Amazing Spider Man three sixty five, um, Web of Spider Man number one. Uh, Web of Spider-Man 32, Amazing Spider-Man 313, um, Amazing Spider-Man 252, and Amazing Spider-Man 238, tattoos included, new stand edition. This is probably like a 7-0, most likely. It's got maybe one spine, one or two spine ticks. I'll let you guys see this one closer, too. Um, but tattoos are included. Hold up. You say it's 252? Yep, 252 as well. I had to go get a soda. God damn, bro. Yeah, 252 is in the lot as well. Yo, Blitz is at 150. And 238. So, as you can see here in the back, you can see that the tattoos are in here. Uh, tattoo get you some tattoo, bro. Get your ice cream cone tattoo for your face, hot and ready to go. But this book is uh, in pretty good shape. Let you see a little bit more too. I'll let you see the two fifty two as well. Look at my boy, bro. First coming in entrepreneur in the game, bringing big boy books to auctions like it's nothing, dude. Easy peasy, brother. It's good stuff, man. This is a really, really good book. This book's just been climbing in price like crazy lately. Oh yeah, he's up there. I'm like finding one. Trading okay. the drunk, so I, like I said, I don't like. I, I try to be conservative with what I consider it the grade to be because I don't want to stay too high and it's not going to meet it for someone's expectations. So where's Jig at? I want to text Jig on. Uh, Instagram real quick. And uh, the 252, I'll let you guys see that as well, too. Thanks, Jeff. <laughs> so, he right, so, no, he's already he's been, got These bids are confusing me a little bit. It's, is it 150 where we're at? Well, Jay that, Blitz was at 150, I thought. Did someone raise yeah, it? Now, now, now uh, Man Cave is. So, Man Cave gets... Overruled because he's NWO. He's he's one fifty at Man Cave. <laughs> <laughs> As you can see here on the spine on the back, this one can definitely use a press guy. <laughs> Look at Man Cave. He always goops up, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see the spine here. Drop in the hand when Jay Blitz sees a lot that he wants, he's like, It's go time. You know, this has got some ticks on her, but they're not color breaking. I mean, this thing can go a long ways with a press for sure. You can see, dude, two of them books are $150 books. Y'all are getting the craziest discount ever at this lot, man. I mean, yeah, I'm, I haven't just checked the real, real yeah, just the 238 with the tattoos. Spike <coughs> of that book, get out of here, yeah. The Hobgoblin is the money book. That's that's with tattoos in it. That's crazy. Yeah, and it's newsstand. God, <laughs> ridiculous, bro! It is ridiculous. And it's newsstand. Flab that one immediately, or just keep yeah. it and 
And once you press this, the ticks on it, they're, they're not color breaking. I mean, just it really needs a press, but you can get a really good grade out of that. I ain't letting my boys give them away, y'all. Like, these are worth money. <laughs> <laughs> these books are worth crazy money. Yo, that's a hard book to get, too, man. That was oh, not doesn't this end like the Craven story or something? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's yeah, like not to get out Craven. Yeah, it's, I think it's the middle. It's, it's not quite the end, but it's almost a great. You got to pay extra for that meatloaf cover on the back, brother. Oh, damn. Meatloaf? Yeah, dude. <laughs> wow. Yeah, Craven's yeah. last one. I thought that wraps that up. Web of Spider Man number Craven. one. Web Stoke. Underrated black suit key. Yeah, for a Spidey 2099s in there. Banger. I tell, here, here, I'll tell you what, guys. Where are we at? 200? Yeah. If, uh -oh. we, if we get this bid up to 300, I'm going to throw something in. Oh shit! We're gonna do Secret Wars number eight high grade. This is at least, at least oh, no. work a nine point six. This is the highest graded book I'm probably having my box tonight, guys. I, I'll take this sucker out so you can see it. This this sucker is high grade, like no lie. We can get up to three hundred. I'll include this in the lot. Y'all are lucky Jig ain't here, bro. I'm trying to get a hold of him. That's a, that's a spidey. I want you to check this book out and you okay. tell me what you think. But this book, look at that. No ticks on the spine, dude. Oh, yeah. That is super this is, this clean. Is very, very high grade. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There's a 300. Damn. <clears throat> That's the most perfect book I've seen all night, probably. Now you get this sucker slab, dude. This is a super slabable book. Man, that's, like a nine, that's like a 9.12, bro. Yeah, there's a little muff down there at the bottom. but Yeah. I mean, it's – if I had to be conservative, you're going to at least get a 9.2 for this, and I know you're going to get oh, yeah. one. You know, oh, yeah. I this, know. Is, this is no joke high grade of this book. All right, now we're at a respectable – Level of thing that's, that's a lot of books, bro. That's still a lot of heat. A lot of heat. That's them DGC grades. So I'll run through the books again, guys. Let me put some tape back on this sucker. He's adding that Secret Wars 8 beta ray. Yep. At, at what so was it at? 300 it's a 325 so it's in spider-man 26 here web of spider-man number 90 still in the poly bag amazing spider-man 365 out of those three this is definitely the money one you got anything you'd add a 400 first web of spider-man number one i don't know let me see if i got something spider-man-esque that i had in here number 32 web of spider-man uh, 313 for uh, Amazing Spider-Man. Amazing Spider-Man 252. Yeah, what are you adding at 400, dude? And 238. New stand edition with tattoos and Secret Wars number eight. High You're basically grade. getting super dope major Spider-Man keys out the asshole. A lot of black <laughs> Spider-Man in here, dude. <laughs> <laughs> it's a ridiculous yeah. lot. Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't think I have anything else I want to throw in there, but let's see. See, throw Batman in, really mess them up. <laughs> you guys like sign books? I could do a sign book we can throw in. I tell you what, we get this to three seventy-five. I'll throw in some some Hulk to spat, spice this up. So I got two books here. These are both Hulk book one. And book two, a future imperfect. This has got a COA because both books are signed by three people, not just one book, but both books are signed by three people. As you can see here, certified by my LCS. This was a Heroes Con exclusive. You're getting assigned by Peter David, George Perez, and Tom Smith in green Sharpie on all these books. 
book one and book two to complete this future imperfect Peter David storyline. So double signed books. We get at the 375. I'll throw this in there. Nice. So oh, green shot could make you hot. Beautiful certificate, dude. 1,200 of these guys. Only 1,200 of these were done by here at Heroes Con by my LCS. Oh, right. 375. The 375. You made it. Great lot. There you have 15 to 500. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, I'm throwing the repro, <laughs> the reprint for yeah. 500. <laughs> All right, so let's Ooh, go through it. Spider Man 26. Oh. Web of Spider Man 90 in the poly bag. Amazing Spider Man 365. Mm. Web of Spider Man number one. Web of Spider Man number 32. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man 313, Farland cover, Spider-Man 252, Amazing Spider-Man 238, new stand edition with tattoos, a higher grade. Oh, shit. Jig's coming. Number Jig's eight. Coming. So what? Jig's coming. Yeah, I no. bet he bumped it up. <laughs> that makes, it sounds like the wire. Omar coming. Omar coming. <laughs> <laughs> One and book two of uh, Future Imperfect. All both books are signed by Peter David. Both books are signed by George Perez. Both books are signed by Tom Smith. There was only 1,200 of these commissioned and signed at Heroes Con by my LCS. Heroes aren't hard to find here in Charlotte, North Carolina. Pretty awesome stuff. Two, two. Wow. Maybe Pretty awesome. what? what number is that Hobgoblin? 238. Speaking of Peter David, you're really dropping the sledgehammer. Oh, wait, no, it's Peter Gabriel. My bad. <laughs> yeah. Even though I threw in the extra books, I'm not going to raise the shipping on you either. I'm just going to still charge you $8. Uh, yo, like sting from the rafters, bro. Will came through with four hundred. Break it back, make you humble. <laughs> four hundred. What do you say, Blitz? You still in this thing? I know he just wants it to show it to a uh, jig <coughs> can we get full 20 I'm telling you you need to say whoever gets this you need to send this to get slab brother because i'm telling you that's going to come back Hell, yo, right. that, hobgoblin, that hobgoblin fucking new stand or uh with the tattoos is it's a nice shape too is it high grade the asm 238 yeah, I, feel, I, I feel it's I feel it's more like a in the eight oh range to nine maybe, mm -hmm. but I mean Still. I, I can let you see it again, Huda, if you want to. I know you might not get to see it while you go. We'll we'll take another peek at it so you can see it. And it does have the tattoos. It is new stand Huda. I'll let you take a look, man, and make your own. Fair assessment of it. Okay. There's a little ding right there. It's not color yeah. breaking in, a little pressable defect yeah. you can probably get out. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Huh. It's about as nice of a damn copy as you're going to ever find. Wow. Unless I'm like super confident, dude, I'm just very scared about saying, oh, yeah, you're. This is a nine two. This is that. I don't want people. I'm the yeah. same way, man. And uh, you make a fair assessment of this book. Yeah, good. I'm glad you like me. Who that has come up on my ass because I'm like afraid to put too high grade. Uh, yeah. And he has an eye for it. He's like, no, I know that shit is high. Who that tattoos are included, my friend.
I was going. I was getting ready to say, you know what? <laughs> I got something else I could throw in here. <laughs> Can we get this to eight hundred, ladies and gentlemen? Yeah. <laughs> Go to five hundred. I know you want some big books. No, leave leave some for the rest of us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna cut it off there. I'm not gonna go anymore. That shit does look minty, right? The the hobgoblin. I didn't. I forget what the so the imperfections was that little thing yeah. on the black. Yeah, there's like one or two ticks on the side. They're not color breaking. I mean, it, it could be cleaned a little bit. I mean, I think it just needs a, a press, really. To, the, the tattoos is what makes it key, bro. Like, yeah, I mean, the new stand goes for a lot more, too. Yeah, it's a ridiculous book, bro. People that have tattoos don't throw them. They usually just keep them. Yeah, that book is, is fire shit. And then it's casually stacked with all these other spidey keys, like, First black suit, two of the first black suits, uh, two thousand nine. Yeah. The uh, you got three black suits right back to back here. Yeah, so the Web of Spider Man. That's that. Oh, right. he tries to take the symbiote off of him in the church by using the bell because of the sound when he figures it out. And you got this other classic two fifty two black suit cover, and then the first appearance, of course, of the black suit. So yeah, it's. It's stacked. Mm. Yeah. Whoa, 9.8238 goes for 1K GPA. <coughs> I don't doubt it. It's, it's crazy. Yeah, I, who did I think? I don't know about this one, man, but this one's, to me, this is, this is definitely super high grade. To, <laughs> Will said I can go all night. Oh, dang. Nice, Will. Yeah, there's room to breathe on this thing. I don't think you're going to make a bad decision. We got 72 people in the chat. What's up? Will is living good at that 425. So. Who else is still in it? Jay Blitz was bidding? Blitz, yeah. Yeah, I'm surprised Jigs didn't jump in here and start looking at it. I, he, bro, he said he was coming. I swear to God, I haven't seen him. So, oh, who that said? Don't make me bid five bills. Come on, who that? You can. Yeah, man. Don't make me. But Hudat, you want me to give you something so you can throw the five hundred in there? Watch this. Mm. Okay. See what I'll do. <laughs> Can I borrow three fifty from the hunt? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, he's got that dirty, dirty money, and the <laughs> he just buys anything he wants. I what is it? I make ten thousand dollars a minute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, come cool, on, man. We got uh -huh. a bowl. Blitz. Was there any other takers besides Will? I just throw this out here, and I won't. I won't stick to don't this. Don't do it, yo. Don't do it. Don't do it. No, no, no. Save it for later. Save it. All right. All right. <laughs> All right. Let's uh, let's give it to let's give it to Will in the here. We'll give it a thirty second runoff, and nobody else bids. We're going to give it to Will. So. Well, give it. Yeah, at least let's give it a minute. Let's give it a full yeah. minute. No, he's not blitz. No, nah, I'm not gonna add it. I'm just teasing, man. That will be coming. Like I'm putting that up probably in the next yeah. round or there two. There you go. Yeah, you can still put that up. Little sneaky preview. All right, let's call it. Will, congratulations, dude. PayPal hey, go here. I still gonna only charge eight dollars shipping uh total that. for this. So you know, five what five thirty oh excuse me, four thirty-three. So is your total. Bang. My brain's on that five. <laughs> Good job, gentlemen. Nice job, man. Nice pickup, Will. Nice pickup, dude. The king. Okay. After that one, I'm I'm left cold. Oh. 
this is going to be my last one because I got to be somewhere in the morning. So, um, and uh, we're going to do a slab. Oh, it's FF100 at 6.5. And um, I'm going to start this at about uh, 25 bucks and see where it goes. Oh, there you go. Yeah. 15. 100. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah. FF one hundo. Does it say on there who did who the artist was? Uh, I think you yeah. already know that. I'm guessing it's Kirby. It is. Okay. Wow. Yeah, that's a cool book. FF yeah, it is. I love that cover. Starting bid was, uh, say again? 25. Yeah, that's it. Thanks, man. I forgot. 25. Get in there. Get in there. Nice little 15 cent Fantastic Four issue 100. Kirby cover. Classic. For the price of submitting a book, you get a banger. What year is that? Once. Oh, I'm going to say it's uh, 1970. That's Yeah, I was thinking if ain't nobody gonna get this, I might have to. Woody's in there. Woody in at 25. The Woody is in. Penetration Woody. <laughs> Thanks, Big. I needed that alley oop right there. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's a dope cover, bro. There's so much action going on in that thing, man. Yeah, there is like just a massive amount of cool stuff going on. Whew. I like Woody's uh, profile pic, too. Is that Green Goblin? No. Who is that? Which one? No, on this the, this guy Woody's uh, profile pic. Oh, I have no That's idea. It's like, pretty cool. Oh, well, we're gonna we're gonna change that profile pic to the silver one. Silver Age David. Silver Age David forty. I love it. Yo, Submariner just finds his way on FF cover somehow. Oh, you got that right. He's like, yeah, I'm part of the crew. I'm banging Susan. <laughs> <laughs> he's always trying, man. He's like, he's worse than fucking Archie going after the Riverdale girls. He's always after Sue Storm, man. For sure. I think he finally got her later on, didn't he? I think, too. I think well, he did get her. There is definitely comics where they like say you got her. Like, you know, behind closed doors somewhere or something. Yeah, I did a whole what if on too. What if Submariner finally stole her? So what is You can't blame him. I mean, you know. Yeah. <laughs> right. So what he folded. So it may just be uh, Silver Age Dave left. Can you yeah. imagine how ridiculous how ridiculous would it look if you were, you know, having maybe some some relations with Sue Storm, but she was totally invisible while you yeah. were doing it? So if someone yeah. walked in on you, it looked like you were thrusting <laughs> the air. It looked like you're floating above the bed. Yeah, like what are you doing? Be like, dude. <laughs> doing my workouts, leave me alone. Yeah, yeah. Midair crunches. <laughs> Can you imagine how trifling? Like, oh yeah, if some of the chicks I've gone out with, if they had the ability to be invisible, they'd probably be cheating on the left and right. Like, you can't prove it. Like, you just trifling out. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, 
I always think 15 centers are silver age, dude. Get your nice little silver age FF, slabber dabber dude, 6.5. You know what I'm saying? 100 centennial mark. Those are dope. Let's see. So we got, I don't know if anyone's. Uh... Is Dave, was Dave and uh, Woody, Woody folded. So Dave, I think. Woody folded. I think we're at 40. <clears throat> Yeah, I think we, I think we're at forty, right? I think that's might where be where it lays right now. I'm thinking it is, and I'm thinking yeah. that we, we could probably mm -hmm. just give it a couple seconds and call it. All right, all right. You're the man, uh, Lawrence, dude. I appreciate you. I had to come on the show because my boy Lawrence is from Ohio, like me, and I, I I talk to Lawrence a lot, and that's my friend, and I wanted to hang out with Lawrence, and you know, first is the homie too, so. There's main reason I can go. We got, we got this, man. Wherever it's at. Yeah, that's Cheers. right, brother. There you go, brother. I'll be getting hold of you soon, man. We'll, we'll have a nice little cup. All right. It's over. I'm done with it. I'm tired of holding it up there. It's over. And, uh, Kenny, I think I'm going to roll off here because i got to meet somebody in the morning about some comics. There you sure. go. My man's always on the hunt, on the grind. So, thanks for joining us, Lawrence. Man, really appreciate you. Thanks for having me here, man. You are officially welcome anytime, my man. You just well, let I'm, me know. I might, I might jump in the next time because I, I got a bunch of stuff that I want to dump, just because it's extra. But sure. we'll talk, we'll talk. Biggie, good to see you, man. It's yeah. good to meet. You. Yeah, good to meet you too, Lawrence. All right, you guys have a good one, and I. Oh, silver, it's 15 shipped. I think it would be the same, wouldn't it? Go, he just north of me about two hours. Yeah, because I think, do you use the 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 flat rate stuff from the post yeah. office? Yes. Yeah. And yeah. Everything, that I'm, everything that's going out that's uh, slabbed will have to go out Tuesday because I got to go pick them up Monday when I get off work. Yeah, yeah. 15 All right, so, man, you guys have a good one. Thanks for having me, man. It's been a blast. Absolutely, dude. Have a good night. Care, All right. Man. See you Later. Peace. Later, Lawrence. Later. Good night, Metarug. Thank you for hanging out, man. Is it time for a giveaway? Yeah, I think it's time for a giveaway. Biggie, you might help me with the giveaway. Uh, I know you said you're going to leave it this soon, but. And we're not done, guys. You know, Lawrence is going for the night, but we're, we're, we're rolling on after this, so you guys know. This is true. I got it. I still got some fuego, man, if I'm being completely honest. Yep. Same so, here. There you go. I and I think I'm only three hours into my five hour energy drink. Yeah, so. you got you got two and a half hours of some burn time, so you're good. <laughs> um so let me do this. Let me see. Other than I'll give something away. Um <clears throat> I'm gonna let the winner pick, right? Based on whatever they uh, or their preference, okay? Just you know, I do these little sketch, these silly little sketch covers, man. Um, but I'm hoping you enjoy them. And next giveaway is gonna be your choice between one of these sketch covers I did. The first one is uh, a comedian on Doomsday Clock. Oh wow! All right, a little comedian action. So you can choose between that one or uh, the Jubilee blowing a bubble. Oh, sure. Oh, dang, dude. <laughs> <laughs> no, my pick would be. Jeez. Yeah, I know. This is one of my favorites right here. So, bang, here's your opportunity to get yourself a sketch. Um, let's do. That's Bro, random. I think you that Jubilee for fucking sixty bucks. <laughs> yeah, I know. I mean, I don't. I don't know if I know, but I think you could at least. All right, guys. So if you want to be in, say I'm in in the chat, and we'll get you on the list here, and make sure you get an opportunity to get one of these awesome sketch covers from the '84. <laughs> yeah. All right. So <laughs> right to. Type the names, dude. I want and, like 
I want you to do like five versions of that exact cover. <laughs> Bro, I'm telling you, dude. Like, I think that one's uh, for sure. Like that one. That's a Vita said early on they were in for the. All right. Yeah. We got Punisher. We got Man Caves. We got House Till the End. Comic Don. Beta Ray Jim. Thunder. Ben Compton. Red Matos. Jeff Schultz, Zach B, JP Budget and Collecting, Goat99, Lix Comics, The Hoosier Nerd, Logan Torres, Charles Stevens says he's into, Jimbo Fett, Johnny Dakota, the One Pug, Will Living Good, Living Good, um, Polka Dot Peach, James Galios, Galigos, CFAP, Magic Lasso, Sam I Am Comics, JD Comics, Woody Warren, Already Got You, Living Good. Uh, Unruly Simeon, Gorilla Todd, I think I already got, no, Silver Age Dave, okay, Weapon X, that's it. I think I already got CFAP, right? Yeah, I already did. I got CFAP before. Good. I agree, too. And you got Comic Don already? Yep. Okay. Telling, telling yep. everybody. Yep. yep. Last call, guys. Oh, cardstock. The cardstock variant say he's in. I don't remember saying that name. Cardstock says I'm in for sure. Yeah. So he said. Yeah. Yeah. I, don't, yeah. I don't think I put cardstock's name in. So cardstock variant. Uh, hack. Put hack in. And I'll probably be up until oh, oh. eight o'clock. Yeah. Hack. You in hack. And Chris Barrett in there? Uh I don't think I am putting Chris Barrett's name in. No. Okay. Can't forget Chris Barrett. Comic Slabs. Ooh. No, I don't think I put Comic Slabs. All right. Feel good? All right. Yep. It was good to me. Boom. I hit the button. Um, and last time you picked. Three, Biggie. Why don't you give me a number between one and five? Two. No, go Two. go four. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Five, five. I want to give my boy Man Caves a good chance. He was the second guy. I want to go five randoms. Five times randomizer one. For the eighty-four sketch cover two. Three, four, all right, number cinco, number five, the magic number, magic lasso in the building. Magic lasso, congrats. Ooh, that worked out nicely because I have something to send you, lasso. Hey, now. Perfect. I think I have a feeling I know which one lasso is going to pick. But you let me know, Lasso. In the mood for a comedian or a Jubilee? <laughs> Jubilee. Jubilee. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Guys, we got a couple more giveaways we're going to do tonight. So if you keep on hanging with us in the chat, there's going to be some more 
surprises coming your way later tonight. Yeah, man. I'm feeling frisky. I got to be honest. I'm feeling frisky tonight, man. I'm you, feeling you like I can go a little while. This might be the five hour talking, but yeah. <laughs> I'm still feeling pretty good right now, and I could rock it for a bit. Yeah, you're ready to cut your promo. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you something. Uh, uh. You know what, brother? 84 is ready, jacked and stacked, to drop these books on you. <laughs> yeah. When the Macho Madness has all this vitamin B6 and nascent running through his veins, yeah. <laughs> Don't get boring, uh-huh. The glucuronic acid, yeah. <laughs> uh Let's see. Uh, let me change the banner to my thing like this. I got a Silver Age um, Spidey Slab that I was going to start um, at 50 bucks. Uh-oh, slab action. It's another slab, yeah. Um, Silver Age Spidey, 50. I don't think it's not a key. Second appearance of Dr. Kirk Connors, if you want to call it a key. Uh, but either way, baby, it's Steve Ditko, it's Stan Lee, it's ASM 32. Woo! Oh, yeah. Page, baby. Spidey Whoa. and Arnold. Mid grade, official mid grade, 5.0. Uh, I was thinking I'd start the bidding at 50 bucks on this. $50, guys. Yeah, man. I know, you know, I think GPA says this has a. Uh, a lot more room on it, but I'm gonna you know start at 50. See what's uh, mm, what you guys think, man. You know, I think that's what that's about what it goes for in a low grade, and it's a 5.0. So you know, that's that's really fair. I'd say yeah, it's about a hundred dollar book at least, 150. Man, Chris, 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 can we just get a video 84 reading things in as much voice? <laughs> <laughs> it's the second appearance of Dr. Kurt Connors. Yeah, right. It's an early ASM, bro. 32 is really early. Yeah, 1966. They're off white pages. I love it. That's really good. I mean, I know it says five point. Let me see what the what the big stink is of why they put five. Nothing too. I don't see anything too crazy on it. I think it presents really great. Pretty really great. good, dude. Yeah, it presents nice. It's heck. It's pretty. You know, Dicko used to smoke a lot of dope, dude. It looks pretty abstract. You know, it's definitely an art piece, artistic, by points and angles and views in that cover. Maybe tripping on some acid, doing some shrooms while he drew that. <laughs> yep. Yep. One thing you don't normally see Spider Man on a page like this, like hulking out like that. He's usually doing some agile shit. Or, yeah. You know, so he's not like fucking muscling out. Look at him. He's flipping out, dude. He's raging. You don't really see him hulk out like that. Cool damn book. Yeah, it is. Uh, Mr. Don is folded. We got Tony NY kind of considerations doing the considerations. Now we just did the bid. Six five. Man, I remember. Yeah, man. Man, was a proud owner of some other. Uh, I remember the last time I, I let go of some Silver Age, Spidey Slab. Man, Cave got one sent. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. Scorpion. Second appearance of Scorpion is pretty nice. Yeah. This dude had the fellow that I picked this up from had has first lizard. Um, but oh, boy. Sure. and it's like a, I think it's a three point five. It looks nice though. Um, but golly, 
He wants to call for him. <laughs> yeah. yeah this, is a boy, my been, this is a book I've been keeping secret that if you got, I don't know if you guys have an eagle eyeing my view at all, but there's a book in the background of my video that I haven't I've never revealed to you guys because I just bought it oh. earlier today. And I was like, considering selling it. I don't know. I don't know, dude. If you're going to come over, of, I'm, I'm going to go for it. <laughs> <laughs> Can someone tell me in the chat what's the new book I picked up by the camera angle? I, don't, I would guess the Kid Flash, but I don't know. You know what that is? It's first uh, Teen Titans or some shit, ain't it? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Oh, wow. Man. Gosh. Yeah, you can't sell that, Madness. Yeah, I can't get rid of that. It's got my boy Robin on it. You can't sell that, bro. Yeah, because I said, if it comes out in a while, I, I'm going for it. <laughs> no, you keep books like that, bro. I know you burn that. Yeah, that, that's one of those keepers, right? Yeah. No, the tech is saying. Madness actually likes that shit. This one, I feel like one of these, I don't, I think this is a long-term book in my collection. I'm not sure if this one's going to be. Bro, that is such a gangster book, bro. You just don't see it that often, that first black Dude. widow. Dude, I like it better than the Batgirl. Way better. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh, yeah. You're like, what better than the Batgirl? The... The first Black yeah. Widow that tells the suspense. You see that first? Oh yeah. Which one you like better? I don't know, dude. I'm I'm a huge Barbara Gordon fan, so okay. I might have to go with that just because I'm That's more into the DC stuff, so I'm just gonna always pick it over Marvel. I feel you. I like that tells the suspense tag though. That's a big so, one. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go ahead and drop it. Sold to my boy Tony for ninety, and Tony out here again. Yeah, Tony in the streets. Now, before you send anything, um, your shipping on this one is good, my friend, because you got a little, little stack over there that I can I can fit this all in one box. Good, one medium flat rate. So, thank you, Tony. Ninety dollars, free shipping. Uh, thank you, my friend. This is the thing right there. <laughs> I will not sell the back girl tonight. <laughs> I'll be going for that too. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. 37 bucks. Okay. 37 bucks starting at $10 for this light. $15 shipped. Damn. Ooh. I wonder what it could be. Yeah, she thick like grandma's porridge, right? All right. Um, this is going to be a spawn light. Hey. Spawn number <laughs> one. Are you kidding me? Hold on, hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Bond number two. Then this one number one, bro. Come on. It's a kind of high grade, but there's a major ding that's down here. And it okay. tries to down for me, but I well, saw we, it. it more. One sell for a hundred bucks before. So starting just, at ten dollars, fifteen dollars ship. Issue number two. Issue number three. These are a mylar, by the way, too. So you're getting that clue. Four. Five, six. I always love this cover. It's it's a classic run, bro. Seven. I, I have it up to like forty. That homage cover eight. Except for fucking, I have that motherfucker. Ten. Okay. Seven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 
Unbelievable. It is good. Oh. 22. Uh, I'm back. My roommate just tried to accuse me of thievery. How dare he? <laughs> 23. 24. It's amazing we haven't seen the roommate yet. Like, I'm all the video. <laughs> 26. 27. I've never even seen him in the background. 28. <laughs> 29. <laughs> and 30. Then you get this no, uh, Spider-Man 300. Excuse me. Ugh. Spawn 300. Amazing Spider-Man cover swipe for 300. Uh, medieval spawn uh, number one. <laughs> He's not an imaginary roommate. Spawn wildcats number one. No, it's a real spawn wildcats. What the hell are you talking three. about, bro? Spawn I wildcats. I got a four twenty line. Spawn and wildcats number four. <laughs> spawn and Batman. That's nice. Cool. Spawn Bat Let me see that Spawn Batman. Yeah. You know what happens in that issue at the end? All these came out of my personal collection. They're duplicates of every issue. I bought every issue when they came out, and I have duplicates of all of them, and these are my duplicates. So this, I've been the owner of these. These came out of my PC. So. Yo, 84. In that issue, bro, Batman hit Spawn with the battering in the mouth. That's how he got that scar on his face. Or some shit, like all across his face. The stitches. Oh. Yeah. Where are we at? Now? I love fucking Will's at 60. We're at 60. $60. 60 bucks, dude. So it's complete spine one through 30 of the run. Of course, it's much longer there, but the first 30 issues of spine. Uh, all four issues of Spawn Wildcats crossover, the Spawn and Batman, the first issue of Medieval Spawn and Witchblade, and you get Spawn 300, the um, homage cover to ASM 300 included in the lot. So, we got uh, Kevin at 65. Where is it? Kevin. I didn't see that. Where is it at? Yeah, he's at 60. Who is yeah. Kelvin? Kelvin. Kelvin, can you type it in again for me? My hands are kind of full at the moment. <coughs> hmm, that's a Kelvin, joke. there he is. There he is. Yeah, you won't feel bad about this run, dude. I got it, and it ain't going nowhere. And all I'm doing at this point is adding doubles to it because it's just dope, dope. McFarland being a boss, killing yeah. the game, every single cover. Banger, son. Banger, brother. I love this run. Great stuff. God damn it. I got to go move my girlfriend's car in front of the house. I'll be right back. Yeah. Nah. Spawn and Mania. He's a Mylar too, so that's a bonus. All of them? Yeah, all of them are Mylar. Holy Damn. shit. Jesus. 30 some. God damn. <clears throat> So Will is out. Kevin 65. We're going to do about a minute runoff here, guys. And if nobody calls it here in a minute, this is going to be Kelvin's. Oh, King B in at 7. 70. Well, I'm, I need to take me an energy shot. Shit. Oh. I buy the 10 pack boxes of those. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
Well, there's a few issues that are not in Mylar. Like, I think two of them are. Now Kelvin's Kelvin. out. Will's out. <coughs> Gene B. Said so it's going to be 15 ship for this lot. I'm going to give a few minutes here. Nobody jumps in. King B, this is going to be yours. All right, Kenny, I'm going to call it. King B, this is yours. So that's going to be $85. PayPal is below. Congratulations, King B. Nice work, King B. <clears throat> well, whoops, put myself out. Well played, King B. Well played, King B. I can't wait to get my hair cut tomorrow. Um, change this to mine. Let me take this off. So, this thing is pretty high grade. It's a nine point something. I feel like I can comfortably say it's nine point something. Right. Maybe I'll take it out for you guys if you want. But I'm going to start the bidding at 50 bucks. I'm going to start bidding at 50 bucks for this next one. And we're talking. Definitely a 9.8. Crispy mint 9.8 copy of. Uh, I think it's the 20th anniversary. 20 year anniversary. G.I. Joe number one. Oil deal. Uh, it like reprints the story of number one and it's got like this cool little foil variant deal. You know, nice cover. I don't know who does the cover. Arthur Trim. Sal Buscema. Oh, after Herb Trimp. I'm sorry. Not Arthur Trimp. After Herb Trimp. I think this is Sal Buscema. No. Anyway. Um so a nice little anniversary deal. And of course, it's coming with the number one as well. Nice. So we got I grade nine point something GI Joe number one. The twenty I think it's a twenty year anniversary issue. Number one as well. Starting bid is fifty beans. Let me give you a closer look at the OG number one. I think I'm gonna take that out for you guys. Just to give you a close look. This is a little corner that I want to show you. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, this thing is clean. Quite clean. Hey, John, welcome. So let's take a closer look. First, let me just give you the, the aerial. You. Corners, crispy. This bottom corner is what I wanted to show you. Let's see if we can get. See that right there? Boom. It's like a little something. It's the only flaw in the book I can find. Is that little thing in the corner right there? The other corner is pretty crispy. Maybe a little something there. So, you know, if you're interested in the in the GI Joe numero uno, you can get it with the uh, white pages all day.
I was looking for at least that fifty dollar starting bid. Got the anniversary issue. Number one. I love that snake cut. Right, cheeseburgers, actually. One cheeseburger. Wrap around, if I'm not mistaken. Let me all check. Oh, yeah. Check it Back. out. Check it out, big. Yo. Boom, son. <laughs> so, the number one and then the twentieth anniversary. Foil variant. I love that foil variant. Really good. Yo, that's a that's a hundred dollar book. Bro. That fucking book is like the hardest damn book I've had in to fuck with because it is appreciated so much in the last couple of years to where you can't hardly fucking get them. And a low yeah, grade like a one is you rarely find them for seventy five hundred dollars worth of shit. And if you do, they're super beat up. So if you just got mid or higher, you're 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 gold. Yeah, we just went through the condition of it. I took it out the bag, and it's like there's only one little imperfection. So it's in the nines, in my opinion. So it's a high grader. It's the anniversary one. I don't think it's big money. I just think it's a cool companion piece. Yeah, you see that happen on eBay a lot. Like they'll partner books that don't really mean shit with other books. I ain't saying that one don't mean shit, but, no. you know, it's kind of like, I got, I got this new <clears throat> Yeah, this one, I see this one go for like between 10 and 20. It's just, you know. Oh. I think it's a 20 year cool. anniversary, this one. Yeah, it's, cool. it's, it's like so crispy. It's like nine. I don't like to say books are nine, eight on here. But this shit's a 9A, dude. It's like so clean. Because it's foil, too. So it's like that card stock. Right. Kinda... So those hold up pretty so, well. I bet it. I wonder. I wonder if that was like a one per shot because a lot of times they did that uh, oh. chrome shit. Like I have a silver and a gold. Oh, I'm sorry. Not not 85. Was that an accidental bid, uh, Will? Oh. I put a little cheese. Not 85. All right. 67. Is that still high? 67. Yeah, I think the last time you sold a GI Joe, you got it. Like a hundred fifty bucks or something. Like that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it was yeah. worth it though. You know what I mean? Like that's that's what it goes for, dude. Yeah, it's true. The last high grade one I sold because you know how I came into a few of them. Um, yeah, when I sold it, I sold it for a hundred bucks. But you know, we'll see tonight where we where we go. I mean, I started at fifty. I seen I seen this sell on um, Thoreau's auction for hundred. Seems like around hundred is kind of like the magic number for it, but this is a new stand as well. Good call, Jeff. So hey, man, you decide what it goes for. Yeah, you know that movie comes out, dude, and. It's going to, if it blows up, this could be a potential slam or jam or banger that you might have missed out on. So, I mean, it's already appreciated to a crazy amount. And it's just, I think it could possibly blow through the roof. That's why people are getting their hands on it. There's a lot of first appearances. It's a big yeah. deal. Yeah, everyone fucking first appeared. It's like, and a lot of people I've heard, uh, even I wasn't, I always kind of thought, um, before I brushed up on it, that the, the silent issue was the first appearance of Snake Eyes. 
because he's on the cover and all that, but it's it's not. It's first appearance of Storm Shadow. And first appearance of Snake Eyes is right here in this one. In G.I. Joe number one. And he's the big deal that's getting his own movie, is Snake Eyes, you know. So you would think. But the silent issue tends to sell for more. Um, but yeah, first first Cobra Commanders in this shit, first Snake Eyes. And Dude. who's like the team leader? Yeah, Duke. Duke, Duke Hawk, probably, you know, uh, I forget the one, Road, Roadhouse or what's his yeah, name? Roadblock. <laughs> Roadblock. Roadblock. Yeah, bro. All the classics, all the original. It looks like Scarlet's in there. You're, yeah. you're set up. Yeah. But Red's at 67. I, yeah, I don't see anyone. Huh. Plus, you're getting the nice little 20-shot 20, 20 banger, 20-year 20 anniversary, buy a $20 book, Chrome. I'm surprised this ain't going for, you know, 80, 100 bucks, like I was saying, because I'm sure it ain't that low grade. Where's the nick at on that thing? Maybe that they'll get convinced. It could be like a nine to nine five, nine six. You know, is there damage on it, madness? Uh, no, no. I did take it out the bag actually and, and showed. Yeah, that. you don't have to do that again. It's I the only. You. Uh, yeah, it's the only blemish on it. Is this tiny little thing here? So I, it's it's in the nine somewhere. I, I would imagine. I wouldn't be surprised if it's like nine four or some shit. Nine two. But who knows? Maybe you know, I've seen crazy things happen. You get the nine six, the nine eight. Right, right. Stinking uh, Bub's got a nine nine eight or nine six. I have a New Mutants ninety eight. It's got a hole completely through it. So I've seen crazier shit. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. Either way, I'm happy. <coughs> I get it. We got red tomatoes at 72. We got one two comic talk in the house. Oh, my back. I'm getting oh, old. No, make you humble. Make <laughs> 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 you humble. It's hurting my back. Look how old this little Ronnie's getting in, sitting in his chair. He can't even stay still on his fucking back hurting. <laughs> Weekly American. <laughs> Jabroni's. <laughs> This person who who you call how you do that shit, bro? Fucking first is the man, dude. I can't do it. <laughs> he a really good man, Chief. What a banger, y'all! Congratulations to everybody and to the successful venture we got. Fucking GI Joe one, y'all. What a what a good book to have. Pen, new stand, new stand, and the banger, the banger Chrome variant, dude. I dare say. A rarity in that issue just because of the chrome my boy said it's a nice little little book to have so nice little setup there you're a true american if you owe this if you got this book a real american yeah mr shark says number one and number 21 21 silent issue right yeah, it's that one. If you got nine eight, you're you're a millionaire. And if you got nine six, you're a thousandaire. After that, it's pretty downhill. Yeah. Well, we got my man go at eighty. Um. Sorry. He turned into a pumpkin at midnight, y'all. Excuse me, guys. The <laughs> is this what you call an energy drink crash? <laughs> yeah, I say, that thing's wearing off uh, a little bit faster than it should. I'll, I'll crack another one, dude. I got another one. Yo, I told you midnight, dude. He always. I buy ten packs of five hour drink. I'll drink three right now. Oh. <laughs> Chill out, bro. You don't need all that goddamn sugar, man. You're okay. <laughs> um, it you is a good price, it. but you know what? I'm here to. Give good prices, man. So, boom. Sure. It's all good. You know, I got this one at, you know, I'm not going to say exactly, but guess what? I got it at a good deal. Uh, I'm happy with it going at 80. It'll be go getting it at a good deal. Fucking say la vie, dude. So, last chance. Absolutely. It's going once, baby. 
<laughs> Car talks like 84 was buzzing about 20 minutes ago. <laughs> I was macho man and dude 20 minutes ago, and I'm like yawning, my back hurts. <laughs> oh shit. Um where was I? Going once. <laughs> Going twice. Get in there, y'all. You can still get this for I think you're missing forty dollar value in that. Any any snipers on the rooftop going going once, going twice. Bang! Eighty five. Got it. Going three times. Two. Goat ninety nine. Eighty dollars, my brother. Eight dollars shit. Congratulations, my dude. You know what? I'm gonna put for some reason I have this in my alarm, but not this. Yeah, that's not right. So I'm gonna yeah. fix that. Yeah. I will my learn them, man. I will my. What the hell are you doing? Before you you figured that out after you sold it. <laughs> I will. Uh, I will my law that. <laughs> Smooth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. yeah. It's on you, buddy. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Uh, real quick, uh, Will Living Good, I know this is the first time you bought from me, brother. So if you could, could you go ahead and settle up your um, that lot that you bought just because of the size and the amount? I'd really appreciate it. If you'll just go ahead and send the PayPal, uh, my PayPal. Oh, yeah. We can that to Will, dude. Like if, if we, I, he had, I, I don't, I never saw you. So I was just like, yo, maybe you might want to sell up uh, first. Yeah, just because so. of the size of the lot, you know, over $400, first time you bought from me. If you could sell that up, I'd appreciate it and we'll, we'll keep things moving. So, I uh, got another signed lot here. Just two books. Uh, first is JLA Avengers number one. Uh, this one is comes with a COA. This was done by Dynamic Force. It's signed uh, by both Kurt Busick and Tom Smith. And this is issue, like I said, issue number one of JLA Avengers. And then I also have uh, JLA Avengers issue number four which I love this cover All right. also by dynamic force did the signing for this and certified it with the COA. This is signed by Tom Smith as well, but also George Perez. So um, issue number one and number four. So you get two signatures from Tom Smith, one from Kurt Busick and one from George Perez issues number one and four. These are both around, seven five ish in grade um and i'm going to start the bidding at ten dollars this will be five dollars shipped for this ten dollars five dollars shipped jla avengers number one and number four number one <laughs> has kurt Busick, tom smith signature on it uh number four has george perez and tom smith these were done by dynamic force okay. yeah yeah, yeah. There y'all see it, man. Certified, legitified NWO style, man. Two, two bang, but banger books with multiple signatures, brother. Perez ain't an easy signature to grab. I know that, but you don't even yep. really go to college. Well, like I said, these were done by Dynamic Force. They did the signing on these books, and um, you know, comes with the COAs as well, too. So. So ten dollars, guys. Five dollars shipped to get this going. If you don't want this for ten dollars, I'll be happy to keep it in my collection. So, yeah, no biggie. Yo, fellas, hold down the fort real quick. I gotta run to my car because this stupid piece of shit phone charger wire is not working. So, <laughs> okay, go ahead, man. We got it. Car, yeah. We'll keep yeah. it popping. Okay. Yeah. Ten dollars, guys. If if nobody wants this in a little bit, I'll just throw up something else and we'll keep it moving. Right. Like I said, I'll keep this in my collection or AOK at some of my brothers. Silver yeah. eight day even at ten. Nice silver. I don't silver? have a prize. The COA autograph game. We'll go back through here again. So this is JLA Avengers number one. Got two signatures. They come with COAs. You've got a sign and uh, by Kurt Busick and Tom Smith, certified by Dynamic Force for issue number one. Issue number four has got two signatures as well. Dynamic Force as well with a COA. These were signed by George Perez and Tom Smith as well. 
So, so right. both are Tom Smith signature. Um, issue number one has Kurt Busick as well. Issue number four has George Perez. So this is only five dollars shipped, and um, we're now at twelve dollars with uh, Charles Stevens. Now you can't go wrong with George Perez signatures, man. Absolutely, I love that one too. That's you know having. I mean, having a cover with Superman on here with Thor's hammer and Cap shield, like what? That's yeah. dope as crap to me, dude. It's pretty boss. Yeah. Yeah, it is. For $12, Charles Stevens on this lot. I'm only going to do $5 shipped on this, guys. So, seventeen dollars so far. You don't really see autograph books that much that cheap. No, nope. and Especially they come with POAs too. Time. So, like I said, both of them were done by Dynamic Force, who did the signings here for these books, and they both come with uh, COAs from Dynamic Force. So. Still raise Dave at 14. Never actually read this run. Have you guys read any read, read these before? I know the one regret, regret. I never yeah. had one. I mean, one. I, not the omnibus, but I know the um, absolute edition for this. They did. They did a nice absolute for this. It's out of print, hard to get. To. Mm. Charles uh, Stevens is out. So Silver Age Days at 14. Nobody jumps in in a minute. This is going to be Silver Age Days. Nice. Uh, Jackson Roy Kirk says, excellent story. Yeah, must be because every time I try to get the absolute edition for this, I mean, it, it, it's, it's gone. It's, it's, it's a well. It's like 500 bucks for the absolute at this point. Good God. Yeah, it's that rare. They did a low print on it, and it's yeah, it's hard to get. You got an Ollie's to get. Do you have an Ollie's? Uh, not my town, but like an hour away, there is one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I need to go check mine, dude. Like they got big books in there sometimes. Yeah, I'm gonna get ready to call this. In Thirty seconds. Nobody jumps in. This is gonna be Silver Age days. Oh, if you got a thunder, it sounds like it's yeah, dude. That is one of the highest overpriced, um, out of print, um, absolute editions on the market, dude. I, I specialize a lot of stuff on my channel, dude. I know it very well, and that is one of the biggest, well, absolute editions you can get your hands on. It's really hard to get. Damn, uh oh. <laughs> Will's got the go with the you see the way my checking account set up is story. <laughs> oh man. So uh, let's move on with this. Uh Dave, this is yours. Um at fourteen dollars. And I said what five dollars ship. So nineteen dollars uh silver age Dave. This is yours at nineteen bucks. PayPal's below. I feel like so what's going I on? I feel like I want to be like, yo, I trust the dude, but I think the general rule on it is whoever had the amount of money at the last bid is probably a shot at it, or we could just start over because I don't, I don't think I've ever seen anybody say, wait till tomorrow. So I would just suggest that's that. Yeah, I mean. Go ahead and move on, Kenny. I'll decide what I'm going to do with this. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, I will. I'm looking at it. This might be one of these, like, I might do a twofer. This might be one of those, like, because I got two two pretty spicy books and and this might be like a, if we hit a certain dollar amount we can build another key but 
We're gonna start this one. We're gonna start this one. Uh, man, this is a nice condition copy. Oh, it's got a little something. All right, whatever. Sorry. Let me get my my banner shit going. Let me get my little banner shit going, dude. <laughs> What are you talking about? No, he's he's in pump. He's totally like bouncing off the walls right now. You ain't seen nothing yet, dude. That's it. Second win time. Get him. Get him. Second win time, boy. We're gonna be up here till two o'clock now. Uh huh. I can already feel the madness. Flowing through my veins, yeah. The intensity. <laughs> Elizabeth. <laughs> I have never drank. How about you yeah, first? Brown. In the uh, um, yeah, yeah I've, I've taken a few of those uh, going to clubs uh, late at night back in my day just to stay awake. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Heart attack time. I would have a heart attack. My tears strong, brother. My name. All right, what are we doing again? Selling comics? All right, I got one for you. Um, we got this one. Boom! Dang. Whoa, Boom. wait a minute. That's the first appearance, y'all. Yeah, that is the first appearance. First appearance Marcus of Spotlight. woman. Thirty-two. See, first didn't even know I was coming through with this one. No, I didn't. I didn't even know you had that. <laughs> <one>. <laughs> Let me. I'll take it out. Get you guys an examination. I'm gonna start it. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna start it low and just let y'all. Hopefully, I don't get stole on. But I'm gonna start it at forty bucks. Hmm. Dude. <laughs> Let me show you. It's it's not nine eight. It's not nine eight, but it's not low grade either. Um, it's probably a solid. Uh, yeah, Thunder House already threw seventy five down. <laughs> it's probably like nice. a, a seven, a six, a seven, I think. But I could be wrong. Check it out. The only count imperfections. Okay. So we got Thunder House at 75. So the top is basically okay, but there's like um, little little waves at the top that are, you know, nothing too groundbreaking. Probably pressable. Yeah, I do think the top is actually pressable. It comes to the, and then the corner is uh, not bad. I'll use my big ass forehead as a backdrop so you can see it. The corner. <laughs> Oh, um, <laughs> and then this is probably the biggest imperfection in the book, uh, right here. Again, let me use my oh, dome. Got... Let's see, it's yeah, just... I mean, bro, what are you talking about? I mean, no, I gotta just point out, I gotta point them out, you know? Yeah, yeah, uh, but there's yeah, this fucking nice book. Oh, no, it is certainly nice, yeah. Definitely. Oh, man, that is a beauty. Yeah. It wow. Great. It's not the spine is really great. So Damn. It's not, it's not beat by any means. Then we go to the back. It's got a little definitely pressle, but you can see this little like fold thingy, crease thingy. It's weird. What it's a like, snack. It's just the way the light it's not stained as much as it looks. Like it looks really discolored. See how that looks a lot darker? It's it's really not. It's like the way the it's not that dark. Yo, really Kurt, Silver Silver wants to know if you got confirmed pay on him. Uh not yet. He said no, not yet. What a snag, yeah. eighty four. You're you're a beast, bro. You're a beast. I do think that uh as far as like spec books go, I mean, Spider Verse is going to be 
Jessica Drew, Spider Woman, Silk, right. and who's the, who's the good? Who do you think is a good third bet for Spider Verse? Maybe Ben Riley, Scarlet Spider. Yeah, Scarlet Spider you know, up at some point. Yeah, I'm I'm also a believer in Spider Punk. I think that the next time they do a Spider Verse movie, Spider Punk's gonna be all up in that bitch. Um, and I think his, his first appearance is probably going to go the same way of like Spider-Man Noir, where, you know, this has become like some grail book, but it mm-hmm. jumps a healthy number. And Silk. Silk, I think, is going to be the star of the next one. Um, and I got that one. I ain't locked down. Yeah, 2099 for sure. Yeah. Especially with the post, post-trailer post sequence. Clearly. I mean... We'll put this back in the bag. I don't know if you want to see any more of this book, but you can get you a nice little action page. She looked so weird without her hair out of her costume. He's asking to confirm again first. Oh, Tony, I think the the bid right now, I believe, is 75, right? Okay. Word 70, yep. 77 Tony, thank you. Tony, I think I think you'll still be at free shipping, my friend. If uh I think Goat wants to know his uh confirm on GI Joe oh, one too. Yes. All right, Dave, I just posted my um PayPal back in there. Goat ninety nine, NWO representative, you are paid thunders at 80 thunder house designs at 80 this one's in a nice little my arm oh remember remember what i alluded to when i said i have a book that could be a builder e thing if it got to a certain dollar amount um okay uh-oh I'm not sure what that dollar amount should be. Let's see. Hmm. <laughs> how about a hundred? How about hundred thirty? Well, I don't know if this book. It's this one. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I would say. I'd say hundred twenty-five. Ooh, boy. That'd be a pretty cool little pair right there, right? Yeah, I think at 125, that'd be pretty good. Yeah. Cloak and Dagger, that cover, first of all, is so damn fire. So damn fire. And uh, that's a $40 book all day in my mind. Yeah. Why don't I and say... It's more and harder. Because it's, it's got the, a little, like, crease thing. Um, mm. Let's see if it shows up. Keep your eye here, uh, or rather, hold on. I'm trying to make my finger go in the right direction. Keep your eye, fuck, going this way oh, on this book. Take a look. See how there's like a well, okay, a little wave. Yeah. So it looks like the marker's making it. So I'll tell you what, guys, if we get it to a hundred dollars, we'll get cloak and dagger in the equation. Damn, bro. On a bus, we'll get Cloak and Dagger in. I can take it out. It's, you know, I would say it's probably like a five or a six. Wow. Like a, a mid grade. You know, I might be, I might be undergrading it a little bit, but I think five or six is safe to say. And I think this one's maybe a little higher, but I don't know how much they deduct for that thing in the center there. I don't either. Oof. Great books. Ooh, there's a 125. <clears throat> Charlie coming through with the buck and a quarter. Nice pair of Spidey keys, man. Well, I don't use I don't use Cash App, brother. Next time you come into an auction, make sure you're prepared and you got your stuff together, brother. I'm a, I'm gonna re-auction all that stuff. I can't can't do Cash App, brother. Sorry. Mm-mm. Yeah, not personal, well, dude. We appreciate you, man. Just yeah. that's, they they were like that we had before we even started it's just traditional shit i understand dude 
but uh you know i got money invested i've got to get back out of these books so i need to put them back up oh shit the big mac daddy lot dude yeah the, the big five hundo damn someone's gonna be happy that that shit's back in play yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're gonna have to you That's put them back up there, but... yeah if you put them back up you gotta say Starting bid three fifty or four hundred. You know what I'm saying? Like we just yeah. got cuts. Hell no! Ain't got nobody got cash that, bro. Yeah, dude. You don't find uh, first edition comics on back page. So I don't use cash app, brother. <laughs> back page. Shady shit. We go down on back page, brother. That's them. That's where the women of the night dwell. Dig. I'm gonna throw in a book too on this one. Not even at a certain stretch goal thing. I'm just gonna put it in because it's nothing crazy. It's just uh, whatever. I'm just gonna put that in there. A little ghost spider variant. Oh, nice. Oh, it's Paulo Rivera or some shit. Whatever. Bro, oh, I don't like the whole cussing at my boy first. Can I get permission to time this? Dude out. Why? What did he do? What do you say? He's like talking about what the fuck, dude. And shit's blowing my shit. Asking about PayPal. Nah, it just, you know, he's cool. Let him be. He's probably just yeah. chasing. It ain't working, but that's fine. Yeah, no, I don't think he's. I think that was a general. Right. Like, you know, when you have a. Like, if you're driving down the street and you have a flat tire, you go, what the fuck, dude? <laughs> I'm going to okay. assume. I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt that it was a flat tire. What the fuck? And not a <coughs> confrontational what the fuck. I'll give him a break. I'm keeping, I'm keeping a firm eye on it. I'm keeping a firm eye on the situation. I will say it's not a great look, Will, but sorry to hear this. Who did that cover, bro? Moses. I'll look at it. Humongous. <laughs> I don't know. I bet it seems like it would be like some classic artist. Uh, Thunderhouse folds. Um, uh, yeah, I think it's probably right. Um, and Charles at Buck in a quarter. I think we're, you know what I'm saying? We're there. I don't think anyone's. I don't think anyone's gonna do that. And I feel good about you know. I feel like that's about right. That's a good deal right there for all parties involved. Charles Stevens, I'm dropping the gavels, dude. Bam, one twenty-five. Uh, you know we can do eight dollars shipping on these. That would be fantastic. This is my PayPal right here. If you would be so kind. PayPal that. That'd be great. Boom. What's uh? Gil Kane. It's a Gil Kane. It was Gil Kane, huh? Yeah. Yo, let's uh, let's cleanse the palate with a word from our sponsor. Thank you, Charles. Yeah, I'm not even sure how to right, do at this point, dude. What'd you what do you say? mean? So I'm not even sure how to do this lot at this point. What I'll do is I'll put I'm gonna put this lot back up again. I'll show everybody the lot. And Are you talking about the, the big Spider Man lot? Yeah. It's a huge who was, the, who was the last I was that is that person still present in the chat? The uh, the person who was like in the mix on that, I forget who it was. It was either who that or Jay Blitz were the other ones that were looking at it. Oh yeah, Jay Blitz. Right, right. 
I feel like at this point, I don't know how many people are in the chat. Forty nine. That must be a it up. There's forty nine. Uh, you know, you you'll probably get most your money back. I, it, it was a builder. Jay Blitz, man. It was. I, I know you're good for it, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it up at and start the bid for the whole thing at three hundred. You know, I know we're all, we were already up to four something. So if you get it at three hundred, man, I know you're good for it. It's whatever, um, and we'll go from there. So sounds good. Okay, we'll start it at three hundred for every, you know. We'll start. I'll show the books again. We'll just go okay. back so you guys know what you're getting a lot. I won't go through the whole taking them out and all that. You guys have seen it, so and we'll just we'll just start it again. Okay, we'll do that. Sounds good. Good. All right. Okay, Jay Blitz. Yeah, it seems like there's a yeah, there's a couple homies in the chat. Looks like Silver's interested, Thunder's. Yeah, go ahead. Starting bid three hundred. Throw them up, dude. I think Thunderhouse is at. Mm -hmm. I well, think that's a bid from Thunderhouse, which is great. Yeah, we'll start. We'll start at three hundred and, and go from there. So, so Silver Age is at three hundred. Thunderhouse went to three fifty. We'll go back through them again. Secret Wars, high grade. Okay. Number eight. Yeah. This one I say is 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 super high grade, and this one's really high grade too. I mean, this one's probably the highest grade I got in the, in, in the lot. Yeah. So. Cool. Yeah. Those are the. Sorry. Go ahead. Two fifty two. No, you're good, Kenny. Those are the two creme de la cremes. Those three. Those first three you showed. Those are all in solid condition. <laughs> Look what Agu's doing. <laughs> oh, come on now. <laughs> oh, Tacoma. <laughs> oh, Tacoma Falls. <laughs> they went beyond two bucks. He falls. <laughs> 26. Yes, it has the tattoos. Yep, 238 has the tattoos. It has yeah. the tattoos. And it's it's uh, rejoice in all your free books. Get You're basically getting paid to own cool books with this lot at this point. Yeah, the whole books are in it, dude, and you're getting the whole thing again. I'm not changing what's in the lot. I mean, I'm not going to take anything out of it. It's going to be the same thing. So. <laughs> what? Oh. Yeah, just rock it like that. We got Thunder House at 350. Right. Oh, good. Yeah. Yeah, I, said what you, I think who that said that at nine eight that uh first half goblin was like a grand. Yeah, so yeah. even at like nine point oh dude, you're probably looking at a you know five hundred dollars per book. So or so eight point five or whatever. This is a silly amount of money in this lot. Bro, Will no, no we're not accepting in your bids, dude. <laughs> If you bid, we're gonna bounce you. Playing something, <laughs> yeah, for real. I'm, yeah, I'm pretty, that's real fuckery from the beginning, dude. I was like, I don't know. About that. Pretty close as it is, bro. It's fall back, dude. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, Jay Blitz is three hundred and sixty. He's got top bid right now. Eight five is like one fifty, I think, B for ASM. Oh, what? Shit, I'm gonna have to buy that. How is it? How is a ten, bro? CGC's got such a racket, dude. Such a racket, bro. The nine. The nine eight. A rack in the building. What up, dude? What's going on, A rack? So yeah, Jay Blitz is at 360, uh, Kenny. A Oh, I'm sorry, Jay Blitz 360. Yeah. So Thunder Thunder uh, House, are you gonna come back in with another big? Because I believe right now it's just you and Jay Blitz. Well, you look still get some of that look at Bay Cave. <laughs> <laughs> you still get a possible you still get a possible nine eight uh book out of this lot though. That's that 
Secret Wars eight to nine eight, you're probably getting a two hundred dollar book. So, and then, and then the, what's the two fifty two? That's probably a, a good one too, right? Like a higher grade. Yeah, you got three hundred fifty to two hundred dollar books all day, and then the rest are just. I mean, maybe a two hundred fifty dollars bug. Who knows? With that, I just get mine of the two thirty eight. I showed you guys in the past. I sent it to CGC, so I'm waiting to get back. I think it's going to be a nine eight, <coughs> but we'll see. Yeah, we'll give you a little bit of time, Thunder. Let you make a decision. Yeah, we can give him a few minutes. We chilling. I'm sorry for the confusion with this, guys. You know. Uh, you know, guy ain't got the money. He's been yeah. and it, and then he was talking shit to who that saying, "Oh, I can do this all night." Saying that yeah. who, that, who that would fucking drop his ass with a five hundred dollar bill. And he's talking shit. Ain't got a dime to his name. <laughs> talking <laughs> shit, dude. Yeah, yeah and they're talking shit to who that. He he can't pay the fucking money, dude. Uh, That's horrible. <laughs> <laughs> well, got more books you'll ever own, brother. We, we ain't got time for the bullshit these days, bro. You might as well call it spade a spade. Yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah, three sixty. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know who that's like. I wasn't even bidding, bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We could do this all day, who that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and who that sitting up there were monster first appearances. Okay. Okay. Jesus. Man. Yeah. Yeah. That this is such a killer lot, man. Yeah, it I is, bro. I love it. Body lot, dude. What you thinking, Thunder? Oof. I don't want to drag this out too long. He's going to fold. He said fold. He's going to fold. Okay, so Jay Blitz is yours, dude, for 360 Blitz, don't man, you've been buying a lot for me. You've bought some stuff off stream for me, and we've been working out good stuff, man. I'm not going to charge you any shipping for this, even though I'm probably going to ship it a different thing, dude. So just 360 even, brother, for you. Good job, Blitz. And yo, real quick, my boy. Um, cause now I'm like on, now I'm on troll patrol, brother. So now I'm, I'm gonna say, oh, I'm sorry. Um, first, I got my PayPal thing up. No, you're good. Yeah, Blitz knows mine, and I mean, shit, Blitz, Blitz is good, good for it. I'm not, I'm not worried about it. So. Oh, Blitz point, my bad, my bad. Yeah. Oh, because um, we'll live in ain't so good up here. <laughs> oh, <man>. um, <clears throat> and yo I'm just gonna say no uh there we are. no offense to uh my man Charles Stevens who won the this last lot but since I'm on troll patrol right now dude I'm gonna have to ask you to immediately <laughs> send the <laughs> Uh, or just rather, or at least yeah, rather, you know, you, you guys are good. Just saying, if you're first time in yeah. doing business with it, just send us a little, you know, go ahead and yeah. settle up at least on your first thing, and that way we know you're good for it. And we're not gonna bother you anymore, dude. Yeah, it's it's common, it's common practice to try to pay as soon as you win a bid, you know, just to get that out of the way so these guys can progress into packaging your packages and get in the postage and yeah. not have to worry because it saves confusion. You don't, we don't want to have to like chase people down. And yeah. I appreciate all y'all that have been putting your money in while you win bids. Uh, Charlie, you guys rock. Charlie, you still in the chat, big dog? Yeah, Charles. Holla at Charles. Charles in charge, where you at, dude? Getting back, Jack. I can give you some. I'll these type. Books. I can send you these beautiful books.
ground control. Ground control to Charles. Uh oh. Uh oh. I think maybe 84 was also the victim of flim flammery. How dare you? How fucking dare you? <coughs> I wonder. Don't mess with a man who's two five hour energy drinks deep, yeah. brother. So I'm good now. Welcome to the family. Who that colleagues? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Welcome to the family. Who that? <laughs> You're good, dude. <laughs> Yeah, I think Charles fucking stiffed me, dude. That's whack. You did? Yeah. Really? So. Mm-hmm. Lame. Charles, man, come on, dude. Charles, Charles and a Will, both of you are a piece of fucking garbage. You want to come <laughs> in the chat and you want to come in here and bid on shit and don't have no fucking money? You're a broke son of a bitch. Go fuck yourself. Oh, break your back. He just made you humble. Um, that's unfortunate. Very unfortunate. Yeah, we're just gonna let it roll off our backs, dude. Like it's nothing, man. Because it's really nothing to a bunch of bosses anyway, brother. Y'all want to waste our fucking time and our fucking? <laughs> yeah, no, we'll stop. <laughs> um, <laughs> you know what, uh, Thunder? I'd be, I'd be happy to, brother. I'd be happy to do that for you. And just because I like Thunder, you can even call it call it 85 shipped, my man. 85 shipped to your door if you like. You know what I'm saying? Nice. And, and let me let me say this. Let me say this. 85 shipped to your door, Thunder. I'm gonna assume that's a that's a claim. And and uh the other book that was the other part of it. Was this one? Hold on. Hold up. Let me make myself big. And the other book that was a part of it, um, because it was that I would say this book, since it's not like a, it's like a mid-grade copy of it. I'll, I'm going to do a buy it now at a cool, because uh, I think this book only goes like 30, 40 bucks. So $40 shipped, $40 shipped for a mid-grade cloak and dagger first appearance. This would be a buy it now. You can just take, you know what I'm saying? 40. You can say claim cloak and dagger if that's tickles your fancy. You know what I'm saying? Forty dollars shit. I like that's your, yeah. I think it's not too bad. No, it's it really ain't. Good luck finding it for that, really. You got one claim. Okay, cool. Thanks, A Rack. A Rack's got it, dude. Was well, Thunder? Did Thunder know he was just getting the first Spider Woman? I should have mm -hmm. said that earlier. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. I just yeah. want—I want to make sure there's no fuckery. Like everybody knows what's up. <laughs> yeah. A Rack forty shit. Thunder eighty five shit. Thanks, guys. Um, how much, Kenny? How much uh, you think? You, you think we got enough to go another hour? Because what we'll do is, if you do, I can do a giveaway and then. Good air. What do you think? Yo, I think I think a giveaway is a, is a great idea. Um, I got yeah, I got a couple more rounds in me. Okay, we'll do one more. We'll do two more giveaways. We'll do one now, then one at the end, guys. Yeah, let's let's show some good faith. Um, let's show some some good cheer and some good faith to. The motherfucking people that have been holding it down properly. Um, no, it's not at Gmail. It's uh, it's Yahoo. It's this one scrolling right here. 
uh, is the is the proper thing. Um, you got it. <laughs> go. You got it, man. Let's just take a quick. Let me just tag these these two books that just went real quick. And while I do that, we're just gonna have a quick smooth word from our sponsor. Here's going to be the next giveaway, guys. We're going to do the four-issue run of Batman Year One. That's what I thought that was. All four issues away of this. That would be our next giveaway. Damn, damn, damn. That's a good one. Yeah, it's a really good story, man. Well, did you give away the one through four as a giveaway? Yeah. yeah. All four issues. That's it. That's it. I'm putting That's a mania. That's it. I'm not. I'm going, I'm going to stay out of it. <laughs> and it's a mylar so you get the mylar for me <laughs> I don't have any of those but fuck it that's it yeah buddy that's a fantastic giveaway my friend yeah man good Batman <coughs> great books <laughs> no one gets that new thing man wow let me full screen this beauty yeah so issues year one, one through four here. Really great story. If you haven't had a chance to read this, a lot of inspiration in Batman films come from things like this. So if you don't have this in your collection or if you haven't read it, it's really good, really good to have. So Frank Miller, Batman four or five, four or six and four or seven. We're giving this away. All uh, you got to do in the chat is say, I'm in to get into this giveaway. This will be our second to last giveaway. We'll have one more giveaway after this. But if you want to be in on this one, go ahead in the chat now and type, I'm in to get your chance. Right, let, me just, let me just start the, the randomizer properly. Hold on a sec. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> right, I only want five entries. All right, who else is in? Yep. <laughs> I'm just playing. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna be in it. I'm. I'm. I'm the controller of the list. God damn it! I'm putting myself in five times. <laughs> All right. We got geeks, uh, drinks, and comics. Geeks. We got Tony N Y. Silver Age Dave. Yo, shout out to Man Cave, still hanging with us, brother. Zach, Zach, Man Cave's in, yeah. Uh, Zach B. Comic Mag Musings. Mag Musings. Red, Ma Red Mados. Polka Dot. Polka Dot Preach. Peach. Peach. <laughs> God damn it. Sam I Am. The One Pug. Flicks and Comics. King B. Uh, yeah, Chris Barrett. Icy Vinny. Goat. Mr. Shark. Yo, Beta Ray, you guys say I'm fucking in. Okay, C Fab. Don't piss him off, Beta Ray. Vita. <laughs> <laughs> King of the Golden State, Punisher, Jimbo, Beta Ray, Cardstock, Johnny Dakota. Did I already say one pug? Yes. Okay. A wait, 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 wait. Let me confirm. Let me confirm. Yeah. Yes. One pug's in. Okay, we don't need another one of that. Okay, A Rack. Jeff Schultz. House Till the End. Thunder. Mike Sanchez. King B. Wait, wait, wait. 
Uh oh. Okay. Okay. Um, card already in there. Yeah, yeah card starts in. Agu. Big Ben. Yeah, what up, Big Ben? Good to see you, man. I'm going to put you in, Vita. I didn't see you, but put Vita in. Vita's already in. Um, yeah. Oh, he's already in. He said I skipped. ICT, I Vinny. I ICT Vinny isn't in there, right? Vinny is in. No, he, Vinny's okay. in. Um, CFAP's in. Who, put who that in. Hold on. Yep, Steve Fabson. Sorry. Who that? Who that T? Who that? Ruben Guzman. Yeah, Ruben. That's it. Last call for alcohol. Definitely good. Yeah, we're good. Golden. I see you out here, dude. Good luck, everybody. This is a fucking banger winner, winner a lot. Yeah. Shout out to the first action. How many times are we doing it first? Twice. Deuce. Two times. One. And the winner of Batman Year One, whole series, for free, for hanging out with your boys and keeping us company. It's fucking silver age. Congratulations, silver. It's silver age, Dave, dude. I'll stick this with your JLA Avengers, Dave, and congratulations. Woo wee! So I think it's is it my go this time for an auction? So this I'm gonna do the five-hour energy talking, but I'm hyped for that, dude. <laughs> Sorry, you're hyped for that. You're gonna get really hyped for this next Batman. Line. Oh my god, he's about to make me humble. Nice little Batman lot we got coming up here. Um, I'm not gonna tell the price or anything yet, just because I want to explain some things about the books first before people jump into things. So, first book is Batman 423. That Classic McFarlane cover. We all know. Think about this book. It looks great all the way around on the spine and everything, but there's like a little stain. I don't know if you can see that. I may have to take it out of the bag. It's right there. I don't know if that can be cleaned or what, okay. but it's something that it, it doesn't really come off. So huh. I'll take it out of the bag so you can see. Other than that, the book looks good. But I'll show you that. That's one that's going to be in the lot. Um, Batman number one from the New 52. Jesus Scott Christ. Christ. Mm -hmm. Yeah, first quarter of hours, I think. Very I'm not nice. sure. Yeah, that's what that is. A high grade killing joke first print. What the fuck? First A print. Batman 189, first Silver Age Scarecrow. Oh, no. Low grade. Oh, like a, like a two five. But it's uh, still a very good silver key. Last oh, book, man. first silver age. Two oh, 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 baby. Oh. I said, people asked for Batman last auction. I brought a lot of Batman this time. So, Oh, hold on. I got a little clip that I can use. I'm surprised I haven't used it yet um, mm -hmm. in this whole show. This, this might be appropriate for this clip right here. <laughs> so like i said uh these are the books we're going to have in here um i'll show these books as kind of requested to and go through them as we talk but uh this one is going to be probably the lowest grade one in here it's beat the crap but it's complete and it's not no. detached it's not missing anything this is in fairly great condition too just a little bit older this is more like a five no. so um, we'll start at two hundred dollars since who that jumped in with the two hundred dollars. So oh, we'll he can do it all night. We'll do two hundred um, eight dollars ship. Yeah. What was that? What was that? Eighty four. I said who that can do this all night, dude. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> who that? We can do this all night, man. What are you talking about, dude? <laughs> and and can I just say, 
payment received by Thunderhouse. Payment received by A Rack. Appreciate you guys for the prompt payment. Yeah, that, that was Batman the Killing Joke. It was first print. I'll show it to you here again in a minute. Damn. Um, just so you can see this book again. There's where the stain is on here. You can see right there. I don't know if that can be cleaned or not. But I overall, think it, this book looks, looks really good. It's really good condition. Yeah. First time McFarlane Batman, y'all. Key, key issue. The the um, killing joke's in good shape. It has a little dog ear on the bottom right corner. I'll show you that here in a second. Um, overall, it's really good condition. Yo, y'all are basically going to steal a Silver Age key because both of them go for around $200. And then you're going to get the other books for free. Like You're getting paid to buy these books y'all these are fucking crazy books <laughs> nah i'm not throwing anything in it 250 brother talk more around maybe 450 <laughs> this is in really good shape um most of these you see with the crease here on the side there'll, there'll be a lot of kind of color break from it being opening and closed but this one doesn't have that looks pretty good mm. though. first so, print. A little dog ear here on the bottom corner. You see it? And it's mm -hmm. got a scratch right here above here. Other than that. No, hmm. it doesn't. Wow. But, wow, wow, wow. Damn it mirror clean. It definitely needs some cleaning. You see here, it's got something on here. Mm -hmm. cleaning. So, mm -mm -mm. so overall, it's in pretty good shape. Two twenty-five for Thunder House. What's the estimated grade on the two thirty-four? Um, so I think like a six so possibly. It's not too bad. Five five. Well, no, this one is Lord. Excuse me. This one's more. I'm thinking of the other book. This one's more probably mm -hmm. like four zero. It is complete. But I mean, there is tearing on the spine and stuff at the staple there. You see? Hmm. Yeah, so that's more hmm. like maybe a 4 0, possibly. It's attached? Yeah, it's attached. Yeah, it's attached. attached. Hmm. Okay. Shit, man. That two face is such a banger, bro. Mac's a little dirty. See up here, might be some war damage there. But oh yeah, look at that dope back cover, man. That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> but overall, I mean, it's a pretty killer lot for what you're getting. Yeah, totally, man. Whew. I got a couple more lots like this, and then. I should be golden. Beautiful stuff. My uh my first silver scarecrow, the top half of it's ripped off. <laughs> Thunder half. If you're looking yeah. Grade your 234. I have some higher grade ones slabbed. If you're looking for one, um, hit me up on IG. We might can work something out. <coughs> the Batman's in pretty good shape. I'll show you guys the scarecrow. Like I said, it's beat up. Um, still a key to having your lot. Oh, dude. It's, it's it's pretty beat, but it's, it's a doll baby. Yeah, cover still attached. I'd say, it, yeah. I, I don't think that's that, that bad, man. I think it's pretty good shape. It's got some tear. A lot worse. Cover you can see right here. It's kind of right there. Okay. The page after that, the tear is there too, so you can you can see that here. So uh, okay. 
it's 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 beat, but it's complete and still attached, and if you don't have yeah. it now. You do. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Both those Silver Age books, you can't get them cheap, dude. Like you're gonna have to pay. Yeah, to get those all. books. What's up, Chino and Manny? Thanks for popping by, guys. So once again, in the lot, guys, we're currently at 259. Got that McFarland cover, first Silver Age Scarecrow, lower grade, a little bit mid grade Batman One New Fifty Two, first print Killing Joke, and a 234. Damn, son. Have a good night, Silver Age Dave. So who else is in here? A Rex in here. Okay, so I have to step out. Hold on. Is the debate did the uh, bid move from two fifty nine? I stepped out of the room for a couple minutes. I didn't see it move from it. I think um no. Thunder House. I don't see any yeah, Thunder House folded. Okay. Can I bid and pay next week? <laughs> <laughs> we know you're joking, Tony. Tony's one of the most official, man. All right, guys, we we'll give this. <laughs> Eric said 250. He mistyped. King. Oh yeah, so let's put him at two fifty. Oh, I just think one could I will say I, I thought two fifty nine was weird. Yeah. So we're gonna give it okay. Yeah, like a minute runoff and nobody jumps in here at two fifty. This is gonna be <laughs> I need a nine for gas money. Hey, <laughs> we're gonna let yeah. Rack have it. Oh, here comes who at two fifty five. Oh no, you didn't who that oh, oh you he can do it all. Yeah, he can do it all. <laughs> do it all motherfucking day. <laughs> I got all the money. What are you talking about, dude? Dude got excited because he saw Mike getting a second stimulus check. He's thinking he already got it. <laughs> oh. Yeah, who that is not playing, bro. No. <laughs> Some fucking bangers you're dealing with right there, man. Uh, it's, a, it's a pretty awesome Batman lot. So. Yeah. Really good keys. It's one of my favorite books here. I got the absolute edition of this behind me. It's so great. Joey Bag of Sevens. What's up, man? Thanks for popping in. <laughs> so what you thinking, A Rack? You gonna pop in here with another bid or we're gonna let Mr. Hudak claim this one? Mm -hmm. Nice right. Batman. 30 seconds, A Rack, and I'm gonna call it for Hudak. Ruben in at 260. Oh. Shit. Hold up. Oh shit. Oh shit, Ruben. <laughs> Yo. Didn't Ruben five dollars, bro. Y'all know y'all are still in these fucking books. So I, I feel y'all. What's another five bucks? You know what I mean? Like he's when you uh, kill yeah, Ruben came out the cut. You know when you're playing like Street Fighter in the arcade and some yeah, guy walks up quarter with a quarter in? Yeah. And it's the guy puts the quarter in there and he hits start and it says a new challenger has entered. Arak says, Don't forget about me. I'm in at 265. So we got we got a triple threat going on here. So on a good day, either one of them silvers go for 150, 200 bucks, bro. <laughs> Mm 
Yeah, I got about two or three more things, Kenny, and then I'm I'm done. Yeah, I same here. Same here. If y'all if if you want to go ahead and fold to let us know, try to keep it moving, but I think it's still open for everybody. For three hundred, I'm going to drop the gavel. Uh oh. So, oh, 265. Yeah. Fold by Ruben. Thank you, Ruben. We ain't getting any younger here. <laughs> <laughs> no, who that or left? Man, if I was looking for one of these books, bro, I would probably be in this shit because those are some good fucking books. Who that? If you throw three hundred in or a rack, I'll toss this in with it. Hey, oh my god! Oh my god, bro! <laughs> this one's bleach. I didn't know you were selling that. The color, the color is kind of going a bit in it, but it's very in good oh, condition. Like that. But uh, if you want to, you'll go to three hundred. I'll kick, I'll kick this in too. Son yeah. of a bitch. I fucking want that. Shout out to Jojo. For blessing you. No brain. shit, bro. What a great yeah. book, man. She this shit is proud of me on my wall. What a great fucking book. Yeah, you're right, Huda. This is an easy 500 dollar what? <laughs> yo oh. y'all heard it man if it goes to 300 he's throwing in the speedball heroin cover dude the one where he gets high on heroin y'all and you see the drugs right there <laughs> man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah if we get a 500 i'll toss this in Who that bid for ninety nine? No. Who that's on his fucking calculator, bro? He's been tell he's been telling me the GPAs the whole night, so he must be on it pretty tight. Oh no, it is crazy. It is crazy because yeah. those <coughs> those two silvers are anywhere from two to three hundred. I got a another lot crazy time. lot coming up after this of Marvel craziness. So. I think I'm just, I had like, yeah, my next one's going to be, I think, a hodgepodge of uh, medium bangers, medium key bangers. Nice. <sighs> well, like I said, also, oh, ARAX back his internet. Must have. Lost internet. Oh, okay. So, Arak, if you didn't see, I'm throwing this in. If the bidding gets up to, uh, I'm about to say 500, up to 300. <laughs> I thought you said that earlier. That was like shit, man. Can you do that? $300. I can't. I'm, I'm up to toss that in there. I can't believe it ain't at 300 yet, bro. I'm gonna, I might have to drop that after to get some more money. <laughs> if it don't go, <laughs> tapping. What's that mean? You boys out next week. Two sixty-five, y'all. Thirty-five more. You get the, the dope Green Lantern. Literal dope yeah, in his arm. Lost this color on the cover, but I mean it's in good condition. It's pretty complete. I love that shit. Yeah. That that just means I might be able to afford it. Let's see here on the. Spine's not in bad shape. Yeah, people were so picky, bro. Sunfade don't really deduct that much from CGC from what I've seen. Like, yeah. if you was to try to grade it, it probably wouldn't even hurt that bad. The pages are a little tan, but it's not too bad either. So, but good copy, especially if you don't have a nice key issue. 
a lot of the time, them some faded ones are in better condition because they sit on walls and shit. So, you know, people sleep on that shit. <coughs> Some fade doesn't take anything off generally, okay? That's what I usually see, bro. I've seen some crazy high-grade faded books. All right, who that? What are you, what are you thinking, brother? We're going to need to move on. You going you gonna to drop a little bit more or you out? Yeah, I think we should probably run a two-minute. Give it a nice uh, bumper to make sure. Because it is a big amount of money, a big lot. Yeah, that's why I'm be a little patient with it. Who that folded? Did he? Who that folded? I didn't see it. I didn't see it either. I seen him saying he was thinking about it. Man, I hate to fold, save for Marvel. <laughs> okay, <laughs> he's out. So that's it, man. Two sixty-five. Last call. Great pickup. All right, A Rack is yours, 265, dude. Uh, what did I say shipping on this? Um, Eight dollars shipped on this one, man. So 273. PayPal's below 273. Thank you so much, A Rack. It's all yours, Kenny. Gracias, amigo. We haven't got a biggie uh, round review uh, in a minute. What, what do you think thus far, Big? Yo, we're having a whole bunch of fun, dude. We, we're going to get up to about five and a half, six hours on this one episodical. We had to rough up a couple, couple do batters, dude. But you know that's okay because <laughs> do NWO don't mind doing that. Yeah, yeah, you could blame me for all that. And Madness and first had nothing to do with it, dude. So that's what I got. Great books, great deals, yeah. great chat. I didn't, I didn't announce it, but I did. Once I really realized, I, uh, I just quietly blocked that fool. Um, so let's see. Shout out to Charles Stevens. Leaving the madness holding the bag. Uh huh. Find where's your manners, brother? Uh, <laughs> etiquette, yeah. Um, okay, boom. This is gonna be like, like I said, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start to bid low. I, none of these books, I will say, none of these books are particularly rare. Uh, but they're all ones that, when you see them, you do want to grab them. Um, I might do some, you know, builder shit because I got some other books. They're not all going to be particularly cohesive. Like I said, what they have in common is they're all mid-range bangers. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven books. <clears throat> Seven books that I'm going to start at $50, all right? I would say almost all, none of them are near, none of them are B, but each one seems to have at least a couple of ticks in them. So here we go. Starting bit, 50 bucks. This law in, will entail... Um, power pack number one. Wolverine. Oh, shit. Nice. Yo, you got to run that. You, you got to run that snow flame with your power pack. Oh, no, I'm keeping that snow flame. <laughs> <laughs> 
because I got to read that one. <laughs> that's a keeper of my book, too, dude. That's a fucking yeah. great book. That's a keeper. Uh, that's book number two. Book number three, Love is Spider-Man number one. <clears throat> book number four is That's Some Carnage. Number one, first appearance of Shriek. This one might Ooh. be the, this one might be the tickiest of them of them all. On the spine. Spine's got a little situation on it. Love book. Yeah. Book number five is some would say first full appearance of Gambit. Hmm. Oh my shots, man. Book number six. These last are nice, probably the nicest condition of the bunch. Book number six is X Men 266, First Jubilee. Bro, these are all bangers, bro. And then, in my humble opinion, the coolest one of the lot, which. It's got one tick. Other than that, it's pretty clean as a whistle. We're talking Mr. Sinister, first appearance. Nice. 221. Mm. Seven books. We got first Sinister, first Jubilee, Gambit, Key. Shriek, Web of Spidey one, damn, Wolverine one, Power uh, Pack, nice, damn. Oh, why don't say that, Iraq? Are you really trying to retract your bid? Come on now. What's the grade on two twenty one? Let's see. <clears throat> My Maybe drug I'll guy just got. Here. What's that mean? He's joking. Okay, because you know, you know what I'm saying? This is what these fucking trolls be doing to us when we're here uh, auctioning. It's like, everyone says something suspect, you're like, what do you mean by that? What are you even talking about? We run a classy joint, dude. Y'all see the level of books we're bringing to you, brother. Yo, all of these are fucking keys, first of all. And... Twenty to thirty dollar books, usually. Yeah, this is like BF plus all day, man. Maybe even higher. Let's see. Let's examine it first. Let me give you the the waviness, the smoothness view. Just the smoothness mm -hmm. view. No crazy wrinkles. It's a flat, smooth cover. Now let's go in for the corner and spine review. So we got the top, pretty sharp. Nothing to see here. This corner is pretty sharp. Nothing to see there. Let's continue. Look at pretty smooth, man. Pretty nice condition. Let's get to this corner. Pretty sharp. Pretty nice. <laughs> Let's continue down. In the corner. Pretty good. Go down the spine. Where's that one tick I was talking about? Hold on so I can oh, work. Okay, it's right here. It's it's right below this first white havoc thing. Ready? Let's see if we can get the light to, to show. It's really minimal, but still. Jesus Christ. Well, oh, hold on. Oh, I yeah. see a little indentation. Yeah, yeah. Right is not really collar good? breaking at all. Not collar breaking. No. <laughs> hey, right. Ouch, I just cut myself in that corner. That's right. <laughs> I feel like we went on a, a seven day voyage searching this book for that motherfucking tick. Like we've been to the Bahamas, Puerto yeah. Rico. But that's just that's the level that I'm scrutinizing. I don't want to fault advertise to nobody. And then we're continuing down the spine. Still pretty clean on the top corner. 
is clean. So very clean, 221, I must say. Let's examine the back real fast. Yeah, true. Barely call it a tick. I know. You know, I'm hard on my books, man. I'm hard on these books. I want to be harder on them than you would be. So that way my conscience is clean. His back is nice. Look at that. His back is nice. Well, what's going on? I'd say that's point? about, that's about, about 11. Well, there's a little, I don't know what you'd call that. I don't either. A little, a little rounded off. A little, little rounded situation. Yeah. A little rounded situation. Huh. How the fuck did books make it that long and not have tears on them and shit is what I don't understand. I know. How about those those archies? I know. Oh, yeah. 80 year old books, dude. 80 year old books and they like practically mystery. Crazy. You you always seem to fucking fascinate me with your books you pull, dude. Those were crazy hard books to get, man. That's... Yeah, I know. I think my boy Man Cave, they're going to go to a nice new home where they belong with oh, Man Cave. Man Cave uh, hell mm -hmm. yeah. Well, it's additions uh, as well. So... There's a Sinister, just to recap, Sinister, Power Pack, Wolverine, Web of Spidey, mm. Shriek, Gambit. I mean, this is something nice. This, you it's all your good hits. You stack all the hits from the night. Some nice hitters. Now, if I may be so bold, if I may be so bold, this is what I was thinking. As far as like a builder situation, is let's just say in theory, let's just say in theory that the number went to a hundred dollars, right? Hmm. You know. Would we add Avengers 71 to it? You know what I'm saying? Ooh. I mean, you probably would. I wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> Be saying get rid of that for nothing. <laughs> that was a great answer. I think his hunter is good because a rack's in there for 100, dude. He wants it. Yeah. All right. Well, there it is. God damn. Boom. That's Whoops. What I'm talking about. Don't drop it. Don't drop it, 84. A rack hit 100. Oh, no. 105. My boy Solid is a rock, dude. He don't drop books, man. That's a fucking fable. That's not a true rumor, yeah. man. I That's never right. seen it in my the life. Is. <laughs> Me dropping books, it's just hearsay, brother. What a beautiful goddamn book. Oh! Man, that's great. Man. Oh! That might be the prettiest one of the night. Shit. <laughs> My girl's watching the stream. I can hear Biggie yelling from the living room. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> that is a cool one. <laughs> yeah, I like it. Oh, so it's like playing at the Eiffel Tower, man. Mm. Mm. Uh, hey, right <laughs> blasphemy, musing blasphemy. Boom. Tony's looking good at 105. Tony's looking strong. Uh, Tony, my friend, I think we will have to. I've been trying to just. Uh, pack on the shipping as much as possible. But I think mm, I think these books might have to do shipping. Brother. Um, see you, Lasso. I look forward to sending you your Jubilation Leaf yet and the other mystery item 
that I've been threatening you with. One, two, three, four, five, six, yeah. seven. Good for you, Lasso. So let's just let's just call it uh, eight dollars shipping. If if I'm, I'm not going to drop the gavel on Tony, um, give it to him. Eight dollars shipping. So uh, you know, thirteen. Um, oh, this might be my last. Well, the other one I was going to threaten you guys with, but I don't think so. I don't think my, my last lot. Yeah. I, I got a whole, I got a, a run of Superman girlfriend, but I don't think I'm going to do that. I'm doubting if I should even sell them, so. I'm going to say, we, we can just talk about that offline, dude. You ain't going to put it up. <laughs> um, boom! Yeah, it's about time to fucking. We're about to turn into a pumpkin real soon. I think I might do. Maybe I'll just one more uh, giveaway for picks for the late late night lizards before we wrap out, dude. Yeah. Um, I got another stack I got to do, and then that would be – well, I have these uh, treasuries I can do too, so so one or two. Yeah, more. man, you can – yeah, you are welcome to rock as many lots as you like. All right, so 40 people still in the house. Appreciate you guys. 24 books in this one, guys, all Marvel stuff. So minor keys and major keys coming at you. I know, Chris. That's what YouTube does to it, man. Especially on the weekends for me. During the week, I end up at this time. But on <laughs> Saturday, I'll get free. So. Uh, all right, let's big screen my boy first. Thank you, Tony. All right. So, like I said, uh, actually, 23 books in this. All major and minor keys mixed in together. All Marvel stuff. So, Damn. first book we got is thing number one. His ongoing series or solo series, um, Punisher War Zone number one. I'm gonna show you all the books and I'll do the price and stuff. Alpha Flight number one. We got both of those Marvel fanfare Black Widow issues. I think this one's the the key that people are after because of the movie. But I'm I'm selling both of these together in there. So 10 and 11. We got the first Power Man Iron Fist when they changed the title. So this is issue number 50. Uh, this one has a lot of writing on the back. Some kid wrote on the back of it and crossed out some faces. So I can show you that. That little asshole doing that book. <laughs> Incredible Hulk 324. This is a return of gray skin Hulk. Um, we got... Vision and the Scarlet Witch. This is issue number 12. This is that key issue because of the baby and the new TV show coming out. So it's another spec book. Got New Mutants number one. Got New Mutants number 14. This is when Ileana Rasputin joins the New Mutants. New Mutants 18. This is first appearance of Warlock and first full appearance of Demon Bear. This is X-Men number four, first Omega Red. This is Uncanny X-Men 256. This is the first time that Psylocke appeared um, in this costume. We got X-Force number 11, first Domino. We've got X-Force number two, second Deadpool. We've got New Mutants 87, the second print. This is a first appearance of Cable, but this is the second print. We got Wolverine number two. Forgot what this is a key for. This is a first appearance of somebody. Can't remember. Um, New Mutants annual number one. <clears throat> 
Got Marvel Comics Presents number 72. This is the origin of Wolverine and Weapon X. This starts the Weapon X story. X Factor number one. Got Moon Knight number one. This nice. is type of a little chip on the top corner here. It looks like it got clipped a bit. I can show you the quality of this as well. We got the Eternals number one. Oh, did stand. you put a bit on this yet? Nope. We got Savage She Hulk number one new stand. Oh, fuck, dude. And to close it out, we got Iron Fist's first appearance. This is more of a mid grade, and it has the Marvel value stamp intact. It's complete. Starting bid fifty bucks. This is gonna be fifteen dollars shipped. <clears throat> Whole stack of Marvel keys here. Some major, some minor. Let you guys see the condition. This I'll show you the Iron Fist real quick. Show you that the stack, the stamp is intact. Bro, those last three books you pulled are fire and are equivalent to what whatever the highest bid is right now. That's crazy. Yeah, it's a nice little lot. So. Yeah, so you can see the spine here. Definitely, this isn't a high-grade copy, guys, but still an important key. You see the spine text there. Some are color-breaking, some not. Um, still is a very good issue to have. So you guys can see here some damage there on the spine. But a uh, nice stack of books. I'll show you real quick. Before I show you another book, um, get through here. The value stamp is intact, so it is complete with the stamp. Damn. Yo. All right, if, if I may, real quick. Did you get my fanfare message? What is what, what fanfare message was that? Oh, yeah, he said something like he needs half of your fanfare <laughs> lot. He'll hit you on IG or something. Oh, okay. Yo, that first magic is a underrated, undervalued key. All that all them fucking books. Are stupidly expensive. Looks like a nice copy. It's a pretty nice copy, man. This ain't no 90, but it's a nice copy. Yo, shout out to Biggie Shack for holding strong right from the yeah, beginning. Yo, thank you, Biggie, bro. Yeah, dude. Thank oh, you. Oh, man. Thank you for having me. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It makes the options like so much more fun to have just like yeah it keeps the pace it keeps things like feeling good moving good and like yeah have big shack on panel bro just co-hosting it yep beautiful thing thanks man we got a rack at 175 high bid i would have felt left out i know you guys have a lot of fun doing this shit <laughs> Definitely wanted to uh, get this one a press because it's going to need it. Yeah, that is true. It's funny. Of like, I guess, like, we're selling books, and I guess it's a bit of a. I don't know. Like we're here for the purpose of selling, but these auctions tend to be some of the streams I have the most fun on. Like, yeah, they're absolutely fun. Great looking copy, man. And yeah, not bad. And this this one's still one that's gonna keep climbing when that movie drops. So I will all that. I won't keep it real though. The next the the packaging everything up the next day isn't as fun. 
No, but, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh my god. The money I make mean, color. Yeah, it, it, but yeah, you know what? Shit don't grow on, you know, people are sending you money. You got to do some work for it. And yep. I think if people who have bought from me before know that you'll tell the, you can tell the way I entertain myself as I'm packaging stuff up is I, I tend to do like these little sketches on backing boards and include them in the package. So most of you guys will get a little something. Oh, there you go. Just yeah, that's fun. dope, Madness, bro. And if if you don't get one, don't feel left out. Eighty four just tries to like send out shit, you know, freebies and just for fun, man. Yeah, yeah, you're not gonna get one, man. Cave. No, I'm just kidding. I don't think he's gonna. Man Cave might still be hanging with us. You never know. He might be. If Man Cave, dude, if Man Cave pops in real quick and says "Yo," that he's still in the chat, I'm gonna lose my mind. I'm gonna pop hard if. He was here, what, like 30 minutes ago at least? Yeah. It wasn't that long ago. Man Cave's the fucking biggest gangster. He's a power fuck. There's Mr. no Paul. way. There's no way. So, guys, those are the, the big books in here. <laughs> Yo! See, look. Yes. yes, dude. Yo, I didn't even let message you, bro. Yo, I was going to say that. something, too. <laughs> Man cave, bro, I love you. Dude. Yeah, don't don't sleep on my boy, dude. He's a fucking he's an animal. What a savage. <laughs> These are all the books, geeks, drinks, and comics. I'm showing them all off again. All these fucking books, high grade, great slabs, great books. Suck my dick, kiss my ass. No. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Fucking great books, man. Yeah, I love that. Got magic, bro. That's a dope book. Every book in here is a key at some level, whether it's major or minor. Every one of them is a key. Yeah. <coughs> Yo, what is that? Oh, I got to get one of those. What is that, bro? What is that? Uh, yeah, that's yeah, first yeah. time she first appeared. Sidelock. Yeah, and that, well, she appeared in this costume. So. Oh, I love that book. That it was a dope boy. First weapon X. Yeah, I love this cover. It's really cool. It's a fucking, I wish I had more. I only got one of those. There's all the, the X Factor. Like I said you got these four kind of major keys that go along with it. And all these are, are getting a show or a movie. Shows coming, movies coming, shows coming. He's already mm -hmm. kind of been out. Oh, uh, shit. The movie God damn, son. Yeah. So there's your there's your big book side of those lot. But like I said, this is all these are keys, man. All these are keys. So wow. Great on the Eternals number one, sir. Um the grade is probably like a six oh. Most likely. It needs a press. Everything that's on there is, is pretty much a pressable defect. I have four each of the four each of the keys. <laughs> hey man, now you can have five each. Yeah, you need five, man. You need five, man. Yeah, having four each is for chumps. You need five each. <laughs> <laughs> I just bought a collection and FF forty nine. I shouldn't be. In there. Well, you do have a comic addiction, clearly. So <laughs> you need to live up to your name, brother. <laughs> Yo, in comic You're addiction, right. congrats on your CGC grades, man. I watched like half of it. I was at work, so I couldn't comment. But you know, I smashed that like, and I watched like half of it. Congratulations on your CGC grades, bro. I want luxury items like milk and bread. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And electricity. 
I like how first just shoves fucking in big books all in one lot. Oh, fuck it. Yeah, I don't want to sit here. And, I mean, I'll do, you know, I've, I've done some books early on where we, like, you know, Ghost Rider, I did it by itself, things like that. But when it gets later, I just want to dump them all in the lot and let them go. Wow. Oh, fuck, I love that. So we're at 190. Is anybody else folded or out? Where, 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 you guys see anybody else? I don't think so. I didn't see anybody fold either, though. 200. 200. But is. Right. Mid. So, a, okay. Now, if somebody was asking about more Marvel fanfare, I have like 50 issues. Mm -hmm. You're interested. There's one thing I pulled out of this whole thing tonight that I didn't sell, so I just couldn't. I just decided to keep for myself. That Tomb of Dracula run, I had to keep. I, I just couldn't let it go. That's right. I remember you mentioning that one. Yeah. That and the, the Werewolf by Night stuff I have, I didn't want to get rid of it. So Comics Addiction is out. Airx in there. I'm going to do a 30-second... Run off. Yep. And we're gonna call it so we can move on, guys. Damn, well, the book that is a dude. I did the ill impulse buy, but it's a book that's been on my watch list for a minute, and it was on. Uh, I just like randomly when I was setting up this auction, I popped on the Lords of the Long Box auction, and you know, just between you and me. I bought a fucking slabbed uh, Foom number two. Hmm. Which, what? Uh, yo, Foom number two. You guys know what Foom two is? I've Let's seen see. it before. It, it's the my. It's, yeah, hold on. It's either, it's, it's either the the X Men key or the uh, the Hulk key. I think. It uh, as far as the key goes, they say it's like a prototype of Wolverine or some shit. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And it's got Hulk on the front. Because I'm a fan of Storenko, you know, and it's my all time favorite Storenko cover. Um, and watch well, this one right here. All right, we're going to call it for ARAC. Nobody else is bidding. So, ARAC, this is yours. $200. I know you bought something else earlier. I don't think I can squeeze everything in there. So, this is going to be 15 shipped. So, um, so 215 Good shit, a wreck. <clears throat> that one. It's so dope. When you yes. the cover and that guy had all the yeah the Wolverine's first appearance in the comics, but he has the regeneration and all that stuff. Um, Bubs was showing me that. Bro, but you know what's yeah. the craziest part? It's fucking signed by Starenko in green marker. Oh. I'm not even big on sign books. Like I don't really do sign, but Starenko's one of those dudes where his signature is so fly, and he's the man. So I got a fucking sign, foom, yellow label coming. I'm pretty fast. Wow. <laughs> yeah, it's good. I can't you wait. You might as well. You got 181. You're going to have the whole set before you know it. <laughs> yeah, JoJo, it is pretty rare because it's not. Those it's Foom is friends of what is it? Friends of something Marvel. Uh, what's the two O's for? Friends of God damn it. organization. Oh. I don't fucking yeah. know. But it's not. Um, you couldn't buy it in stores. You had to literally be a part of that club, like a subscription club, Friends of Marvel, and they mailed it to you. So. You couldn't buy it, so it is fairly rare because it was only like a mail-in kind of thing. Um, so, you know, it's not a ghost. You can find them, but they're not highly uh, distributed. Anyway, Old Marvel. There we go, Thunder House. Friends of Old Marvel. Oh. <clears throat> yeah, Friends of Old Marvel. So, did you want to do your... Um, 
other treasury lot before we wrap? Uh, I think I'm I'm done. I'll save it for later and just keep them. Yes. Okay. Most likely just keep them. They're all super mean. So yeah. Yeah. I'm thinking why don't we do because I think I'm I'm done. Um but I figured why don't we end on a high note and uh do one last giveaway. Huh? What one last giveaway oh, for the room. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Okay. okay, one last giveaway for the road. Got that slab I can give away. Wait, is this too many to get to it? Oh, okay. So here's what I'm gonna do. It, it's nothing, you know, <clears throat> it's nothing too crazy, guys. Um, Who's he? Who's he asking about the two seventy three? I don't know who Jimmy is, so I'm like I don't think he's talking about it. Oh, hey, go see Wood Chico. There's uh, nothing crazy, guys. But hey, who's gonna complain about getting free comics? And one of them is a banger, in my opinion. So you're gonna get. Um. A little. Scream mini series. Scream one. He thinks your name is Jimmy. His name is oh. Ken. Or are you oh, talking Ken. to me? Oh no, I'm Paul. <laughs> 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 no, I don't have. I didn't get a. You talking about your total? I'll I'll get your total. Hold on, man. Go ahead. Go ahead, Ken. Yeah. What was the total? Yeah, he'll get the total. Um, Scream mini series. Scream one. Scream two. Um, and then screen three design variant, and then this uh, ghost spider number one variant, and then the coolest book, the banger in the bunch. We're going back to the, I think seventies, with this twenty-five center dude. <coughs> The second book tonight that's featuring the Eiffel Tower, mind you, because the Avengers one did. We're talking Marvel Superheroes mm -hmm. number 15, first solo story of Medusa. To dad. So just a little lot for funsies, you know what I mean? Just a little thank you for hanging out. Uh, and just if you want to be in, type in 84 into the chat. You want in this giveaway? I'm switching up. You don't type I'm in this time. You type in 84. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. And, and we got A Rex, Zaturna. Oh, okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Oh. <laughs> I gotta uh go back straight. I don't wanna play A-Rag, dude. I might have to play Geeks first. You might win Geeks. I know that's bad luck, but screen share. Yeah, that's right, JoJo. They all come out of the woodwork when it's... <laughs> all right, Big. I'm ready, brother. We got A-Rack. Oh, fuck. I did it again. All right, whatever. Geeks and Drinks. Just take it, Marty. Uh, Sam I Am. Comics Addiction. Mag Musings, Cardstock Variant, Tony NY, Vita, The One Plug, ALD, Flicks and Comics, Ben Compton, 
Goat, Jimbo, Mr. Shark, Man Caves, Covent, Whoa. Bag of Servants, C V N T, Covent, get enough. Oh, can't get enough. Uh, bag of Sevens, House Till the End, Cardstock Variant. Hold on. Tony, Tony already got in, didn't he? Yeah, Tony and Cardstock are both in. Okay. Uh, Red May Toast. I think Bag of Sevens already got in because that's yeah, 69. Thunder House Design. X collects the one pug. One pug's in. Bang. Bang. We're cooking. We're cooking with gas. Well, hey, throw Liz in. She's, uh, I think she's the moderator that always hooks people up. Out, Liz. Good luck, everybody. All right. Last call for alcohol. Everyone's in. Yeah. Beta Ray. Sorry. He Beta just saw that one in. Even though you didn't put 84, you didn't follow the rules, Beta Ray, but I'm still going to put you in anyway. Yeah, no sore feelings tonight. I think that's the last one for sure. We okay. we know more after that. Sorry to okay. interrupt. Yeah, that's it. We're cutting you off. You've had too much tonight to drink. Randomized. Yeah. Okay. Biggie, how many times am I gonna smash this again button? This randomized button. We're gonna go five. I want to give my boy uh. Whoever the fuck I said first a chance because he's been buying a rack. I want to give him a chance. One. <laughs> and then two. Three. Four. Here we go. Here we go. Mm, mm, mm. Can't get enough. <clears throat> Can't get enough. Let me write this down. Dang. What a fucking win, dude. That was a dope prize. First Silver Age Medusa or Solo Story. Whatever the fuck. Banger, banger. All day. Boom. You got free shit. You've been 84. Yeah. You got stuffed. <laughs> and you got free shit. And let me just let you and let me I got a big announcement. Yeah, you freaking one can't get enough. You did it, man. You're the winner. You're the best. You're another butter one. <laughs> um, I got a big announcement to make right now. Right? Hold on. Big fucking announcement. Huge. And my huge motherfucking announcement is yo, check out Z Collects. After we wrap up here, do me a favor. Hop on to Z Collects because Z Collects just routinely be trying to push channels to get to. He's trying to push people that are at 400 right now. So he's trying to get – Jay Blitz is at 390. He's trying to push him 10 more subs, and he's trying to push two boys in their pops. So it looks like he successfully got hack and four-pack to 400, and he's trying to get these other two homies to 400. So Nice. That would be really cool if we just keep that positive karma shit going. You know, people get hyped when – uh, they hit these little milestones on their YouTube channel. So you want to help, you know what I'm saying, make some people in the community feel good, 
pop in, drop them some subs, let them go to bed tonight knowing that they hit 400. You dig? Do it up. Um, Class move. It. And by the way, Z Collects, can you see the name of that channel? Look at this. Hold on. Let me do this. Where, where's my manners? Let me give you the link. I don't want you to even have to search for it. I want you to just, when we're done here, hit the link and dip. Bang. Bang. Z officially linked. <laughs> yeah, and link engaged. What's he playing, a game? I think he's watching people, maybe. He might be playing the game. I think that's a game, yeah. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah, so that's our boy Z. Public service announcement for Z. He helped push me right over that 1K line. That was much appreciated. Um, thanks, man. You guys are awesome, dude. Straight up. I get to always and really enjoy myself doing these, these fucking auctions, I got to say. Got to be honest, the two five-hour energy drinks got me through it. Yeah. <laughs> so about ready to, to crash. Uh-huh. Um, what do you think, first? Any kind of everything good? Is everyone squared up and paid and all that kind of stuff? We have to. For the most part, I'm going back up. through checking. But, yeah, for the most part, I think I'm waiting on a few payments. But, yeah, I think, I think for the most part, I'm good. You want to publicly shame anyone before we go? <laughs> nah. I don't know shame. I think, yeah, I mean, if if let them know, fuck it. Yeah, it's not. I'm just being dramatic, but you know, if you just yeah, want to give them I mean, all means, you're good. I would imagine. No, I think I got everything. I'm just waiting on one more payment, but okay. But you know how to reach. Them. I think it's on its way to me. Yeah, if you know their contact info, then. I think you're good. Think we're good. Thumbs down to um, I can do this all night, guy. Thumbs down to uh, Charles in charge. Thumbs down to y'all. Um, thumbs up, <laughs> yo. Thumbs up to Man Cave, bro. Well, that was so funny. I'm, I think I'm gonna rewatch for that moment when because <laughs> I was straight up delighted. I'm like, there's no way Man Cave's fucking in here and then sure enough he popped in bro that made me fucking laugh that was so funny yeah he hung all night with us man yeah. he's up later than a motherfucker sometimes I guess so man uh, A-Rack says saving a slot for selling oh like panel shit man I'm pretty open. I like to keep him lean in me, and I'll say that. I don't like these big old six people panels. Um, you know what I'm saying? I think just the flow goes good with three to four sellers. I like I like the the thing of three sellers with one co host. This is like my ideal thing. Uh, but maybe four. So yeah, man. I don't think I don't really see an issue with that, A Rack. Um, all right. First, I think he said he was good, Biggie. Um, Always. He's good. He's good. Let me. Let me. I gotta pay the bill one more time. Um, yeah, my sponsors they pay fucking big money to run their ads, so that is my job. You got a date. All right, guys. Thank you so much. We appreciate you. I'm going to package up this stuff. One thing I you know, I meant to go to the post office today um, to, to gra grab a little stack of flat rate boxes. I know I got a little stack in there. I'm worrying that I might be short a couple boxes, but I'm, you know, so uh, I'm going to try to get everything packaged up tomorrow. It's usually my ritual of celebration Saturday night. I'll package it all up Sunday for a nice, smooth ship out on Monday. 
But if I run out of materials, you know, just know it's it's coming at you, brother. You never have to worry about that. Um, and that's it. Peace, everybody. Yo. Goodbye. Yo, thanks, yeah. everybody, for coming out. It was a good fucking time. NWO represented. Y'all some, seen some crazy bangers. You got some good deals. Y'all, I hope y'all come back to the next one. It's going to be even fucking better. You got a golden age round. You got fucking crazy lights. Appreciate the shit out of all y'all, dude. Yeah. NWO. <laughs>